Alright, Hajime Mashinchi. It's time for a bit more of this. Uh, we are in Mountaintops of the Giants. We will keep progressing through Mountaintops of the Giants. Got a number of things here. I guess I could try going for a level real quick, maybe. It's an idea. Maybe. Body Helix is always interesting. So these guys are gone, but my question is, I wonder if I could get Nefeli to move to Stormville now. Do you have anything new to say? Well, Took you for dead, all the same, light your arms, and... Okay. Again, we already got something plus ten before Altus. I don't think you'll have any special dialogue. Action Storm? Me. Okay. Beaten Morgoth, so... Theory... I would think Kenneth Height should be able to move her to Stormvale now. We'll see. Come on, come on. Having... Effective 35 and everything right now is quite nice. Really just is Dark Souls 2 too, if I'm getting my stats to around 30 by end game. Hello. Hi. Let's go ahead and poke all these guys. Thank you. Cool. Oh, oh my goodness. Alright. Thanks and stab again. I'm gonna free aim, that is a little annoying. Oh well, I- oh come on. Okay, there we go. Not that I really need to kill them, and the damage they deal is negligible at best, but... Do you have anything to say now, or... I must begin Switch post haze, means of limb grave. I might have to go and talk to... Gostock, actually. Maybe. Not entirely sure. So you're over here now. That might move some people around. Wisdom 3? Okay. Let's just rest over here and see if it changes anything. But I did give Nefeli Stormhawk Ashes, so... that do anything, or... Kenneth Hyde is still over there. So I'm wondering why and how things just are not progressing. Hmm. So they're not in the throne room. Hmm. Let's try that one more time. Just once more. See if I can make him move now. It would be kind of funny if I accidentally just made that quest unclearable by giving Nefeli a Stormhawk Ashes way earlier than I suppose they would normally think you would. It's back in Lyrnia. Using the Belfries to get to Chapel. Hmm. Oh well. And let's keep stabbing these guys. Okay. Cool. Oh my goodness. Goodness. Alright. The range is good, but it's not. I guess my question is I eventually got a great spear. Because the Mesmer Soldier Spear in the DLC is going to be a great option. One of the few great spears that can actually be infused with any kind of weapon skill. And we'll see what happens. Anything new, or...? I must beg for a true... Ah, I... I must beg for a true... That's very, very strange. Hmm... It is sadly possible that I totally borked it. I don't know. I... Hmm. It says it's after you kill Morgoth. Oh, okay, so he's left. He's la He actually has left. That's good. So is Gostock. Okay, so they should be in here now. And oh, there is the that old bit of Godric. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That lagged. So there they are. They should all be in here. Got... Gostock, Nefeli, and Kenneth. Ah, haven't seen your actually, I just saw you. It is attendance. 
Wasn't worth squat. Like it around here. Heart of countenance. Lady's trust. Loot all the corpses I like. Goods if you fancy. Now we can buy an ancient dragon smithing stone. That's fun. Uh huh. Bandit set. I think I already bought those, didn't I? Back again, Kibbutz. What are you after? Oh, okay. Hi. Nice to see you after so long. Hmm. Safe and sound, I take it is? Good. More or less. Uh, quite. I have indeed selected a new ruler. Lady Nefeli is strong and just. Worthy of the burden of Limgrave's lineage. Such is the sincere opinion of I, Kenneth Height, no less. For the time being, I share command of the castle with my lady. But I plan on returning to my fort afterwards. At which time I can fulfill my own promise by raising you to the glory Oh, goodness. I don't think he ever actually leaves. Wonderful as you imagine. Goodness. For the time being, at which time returning? Okay, okay. So when will he actually move out? She's here too. It's been some time. Hello. I must thank you for your mm -hmm. life. I told father I would be with him no longer. I remembered the vow I took when I first became a warrior so many moons ago. This land is much like the one from which I hail. In what sense? I will call upon the storm mm. to drive away the foulness that has settled on the winds. There we go. Again, I am Nefeli Lu, warrior. Some call me by the title of Lady, but I remain the same woman underneath, though I have now abandoned my former guidance. I cannot express how much you've helped and me. And ancient dragon smithing stone. There we go. Should you become a lord, I would gladly lighten your burden. So, fellow warrior, wonder if Kenneth will to summon the storm. go back to the but fort. Your guidance and your fight surely lie elsewhere. Mm. I will relent your okay. guide surely lie elsewhere. So we managed to make Nefeli the queen of Wimgrave. So we finished her quest line, which is nice. Hmm. So my question is, if I teleport back here... Oh, oh. Ouch. It's not good. I wonder how and why that's happening. Okay, okay. He's gonna, gonna wonder whether that was you or me. Okay, so he's staying there. Mm. So we got that already. Actually, did not the isolated one. Did go to West Altus, but Stone Eater. I've been there. That's that was Frenzied Flame Prescription. Mm. I think yeah. Best thing to do is just going to be go up to the mountain tops now. Okay. Hmm. Put on our giant crusher then. Okay. We need stress scourge heirloom and then. Hmm. Can I equip and crucible greaves and here it is. To get two of these. Pushing golden gravel stones, scale the ancient dragon lord, and treasure of Farmazula, settle I beyond Zen, lightly twist time, creation of a weapon capable of slaying a god. Oh, alright. Let's just see what else is in here. We got some golems. Assumably there's going to be a, a rock we can have them break as well, but. Hmm. That Roa got some of that. Okay. Hello. Hi. Hello there. And slam. And another. Knock you down. Thanks. And just bash. One. Two. That does it. That does it. That's nice. Okay. Hmm. It's interesting because over here you can see the golden imprint on the weapon much more than 
the blood. I don't think that weapons actually get blood on them from kills like they do in Bloodborne, but I might be wrong. So in Bloodborne, oh, using a weapon more will eventually start making it more blood stained too. Hmm. How many more golems are in the area? Let's see what happens. Oh my god. More of these demi humans, but. Even though this will work, not exactly the best weapon to use against them. Blood Hunt Spang would still work and be a lot faster. Well, big hammer spawn. Let's put on Starlight and. Oh, the golem just keeps on moving. Yeah, so my question would be... There's a rock somewhere. Statue somewhere that I'd like to have it break for me, but... Yeah, go ahead. Just... Waste your own time like that. Hmm. There's somebody or something here. Got a couple more. Demi humans, but I... Oh, come on. I thought I would have been able to hit with that. I, what? Okay. Come on. There we go. It was really embarrassing. Wait, what? Huh? I... Alright. I am a little confused by how... Hmm. The arc of the swing is actually kind of troublesome. Path it takes. Oh, okay. Not... Didn't manage to hit. Okay. Come on. And... Where are you going? And can I... Well, alright. The stun is useful to compensate for the fact that it does not really hit reliably all the time, but... Hmm. You actually get one of those golems to hit and kill the other if you're smart enough about it, but... The main thing is really just... How and where am I going to get... On those guys to dispatch the other. Well, how am I going to find the rock I need it to break? Hmm. It. Is it down here or up there? Okay, yep, and there is another one. Okay. Oh, it's right over this way. Okay. That's perfectly sensible. Let's be safe about this. No reason to be. Slow. Okay, come on. Thank you. Over, oh, break the statue for me. Oh, okay, and that. Use this for shelter. That's good. Come on, get over here. Get over here. Hmm. Which one is gonna come over then? I. Okay, and okay, I was wondering if it would take that tree down, it did. Getting close. How are you going to... Mm. Get over here, please. Need you to destroy this statue for me. Oh my goodness. Alright. Mm. Just to lure you over here is going to... Well, it kind of worked. Okay. Stay over here. Wait for it. How long are you gonna use your fire breath? I. Are you that? Huh? This one just stays away, I swear. Come on. I. I feel like I need to stay relatively close to it to make it keep advancing. It's annoying. I. Cool. Hmm, because it keeps backstepping. Come on. I get the impression that it really, really okay. Come on. Come on. Need to Okay. Alright. So how can I make you do it? I Thanks. Okay. <sighs> you won't advance. Okay. Come on. It's maybe that one, because it moves around a bit more, but I... 
I really just wonder how I'm supposed to do this one. I, okay. Uh, oh my, okay, alright. And... There we go. Okay, nearly avoid it, knocking it back up. And just go into the kill. Okay. And oh, we needed one more hit. Okay. Oh, alright. Got some of that back too. But. So, can I make this one come over and break that statue for me? It, the question is what kind of smithing stone I'll get from it anyway. Hello there. Hi. You are pretty mobile. I'm, oh, alright. Thanks. What? That was really stupid. Hate this, okay. And. Can't even use Giant Crusher without a Renard. Hmm. Well, that really sucked. I just. I'm not entirely sure. I'm supposed to handle that guy. That statue. And so actually luring the golem over to it is like pulling teeth. Okay. Thanks, and oh, it the halberd instead. That was not great. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Alright. And now you're dead. Hmm. No, that is often mentioned as a rune farm spot. Okay. Okay. But how? Also, Borealis, the freezing fog, should be nearby, in theory. Hello. Hello there. Let's just move in. For a couple of hits. And there we go. Knocked you down while you were waking up. And slam. There we go. Cool. And so now you're actually coming over, which should be decent for me. I think this one is a bit more aggressive, and the entire point is that if you try to lure that one over, you'll probably end up waking up that golem and having to fight two at once. Okay. Go ahead, just try to get me. I'm begging you. Advance. 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 Okay. This range does seem to be a little better. Okay. I, mm, please. Where are you going to go? coming in, or seem to have a patrol route, and that's not good. Please. Please. Okay, I... Right? How close are you going to get? You to come in and... Yeah, it seems as if got a patrol route, so I'm not even sure how it would get it to break that one. That's rather annoying. Oh, okay. Uh... Please, please. Okay. Slam and slam. Knock you down and. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh. Come on. There we go. was much less effective than anticipated. And golden seed. No golden need. Okay. Hmm. Should be a sort of grace around here, but it's just... How am I going to get something to come break that statue for me? And that golem does not seem to actually get any more clothes. Mm hmm. 
Well, all right. Worst comes to worst, I'll live. Hmm. Yep, right over here. Okay. Hmm. A telescope. Freezing lake and Yep. To go through a decent amount of that to get through. Probably means killing the dragon on the way as well, but for that I could go up and around Castle Soul. Hmm. Certainly an idea. I'm gonna try provoking that golem again and seeing if it does anything for me. We'll see. Come on, come on. Thank you. Thank you. Get over here. Mm -mm. This what do I gotta do? What do I actually have to do? To get you all the way over here. Mm -mm. Four rolls kinda does it. Okay. I just stay over here. Hopefully it will advance far enough. Might have something to do with the set of grace rests yet, honestly. I could see that. Oh, well, there we go. We broke it. Yay. Okay. Means we can take this and... Oh, three smithing stone sevens. It's actually not bad. Okay. Hmm. In that case... Just go up here. And we can work our way around to that minor urge tree in the castle. Mm -hmm. Oh, alright. Go over here. There should also be a mariner, but that's decently normal. So Borealis will appear somewhere on that way, but before that. Before any of that happens, I should go up and around. Is that telescope? Oh, we got a bit more sight. But yeah, you just just appear. We can't even see it right now. And is that one of those marionette hot air balloons? It looks like it. Let's see the church over there. We can see the forge. That's heretical rise, if I recall correctly. And then. Yep, over up there on Flame Peak, this is the arena, and that's Guardian's Garrison over there. Okay. Sea Castle Soul. Very slightly over that way, too. Okay. Hmm. Question is. Somberstones and. Still need more. Somberstone Knights. At least that one on. It's one of them on Star Scourge Greatsword. I just still cannot forget that or with that down. It so disappointing too. Oh, well, all right. Guess I can. Oh, interesting. I, all right. Surprising how resilient this one was. All right. Hmm. What if I use Radagon's Rings of Light? Oh, that was nice. Hello. How are you doing? I'm just... I'm in Mountaintops of the Giants mode right now. How are you? Mm. Last night I was on... The, I'm doing okay. Last night I was chilling on the Minecraft server, which... Honestly, you should hop on sometime. It'd be fun. I'm always trying to recruit more... More evil goons. Because Dom wants me to be the villain of the server. So I'm trying to figure out what I can actually do within the constraints set for me, which basically mean no active griefing. As in, no active destructive griefing. So I'm trying to figure out what I can do within those constraints. 
still satisfy the task set for me. But there's skeletons somewhere or is that Oh, it's one of those spirit collar snails. Okay, cool. We do good damage with Radagon rings, so Oh yeah. It takes a lot to use. I can't use this thing unless I have both Star Scrooge Heirloom and Godric's Great Rune active. Because right now my str my strength at base is 30 and you need 40 to wield this thing at all. Okay, there should be a to be a Mariner up soon. We're trying to get pretty much all quest line completion, so we were able to turn Nefeli Lu into the Lord of Limgrave, which was nice. Here we are, and cannot I will say having Sacred Void would be nice here, but and the AoE on this is fantastic. And if I had Sacred Blade, I could just put Sacred Blade on the hammer and swing pretty hard. With that bonus damage against Undead and base Holy damage, but I need reasons to actually use these Holy spells. And that's what kind of sucks about things like this, though it does kind of make a parallel between... Oh, and that's right, I could use that to get over to Radical Rise from over this way and kind of skip over the Freezing Lake. But, as I was saying, I tried using Whitney at proper death earlier, and it just was not really working. And, okay, I think this is where the Gasha Dokoro skeletons are going to show up, but... Uh, it was just painfully slow and only ever good on Undead. The big thing is just almost... and it, it's a bit like lightning damage and Dark Souls in that sense, but most... Dealing holy damage is often better to do with a weapon than a spell, for a number of reasons. Which makes me a little sad, but now we have to- oh, come on. Slam and can I- I- okay, good, we can keep you down. But, especially since Sacred Blade is the only thing that really keeps these guys from reviving. Well, of course you can just spam Rings of Light again and again to break and hit again, but... Even if the damage is really good, it's easy to get anti-undead damage modifiers from things like Shared Order and Sacred Boy. Oh, excuse me. And beyond even that, it... Almost everything that has any meaningful vul vulnerability to holy damage... I did, yeah. And... It was interesting seeing the drop down underneath, because it told me that they liked that trick so much they did it three times, because they also did it in... Oriza, Side Tomb, and either Side Tomb or Hero's Grave, and then, of course, Classic Landale Catacombs. Which, it, it is a fun gimmick, make no mistake, but it's funny that they used it so many times. And there we are. Yeah, if I had Sacred Void on this thing, it would be much, much simpler. Hmm. In that case, I know there's a Tibia Mariner somewhere around here. That's what I'm wondering about. Well, actually, I, I've i got Rings of Light for the Tibia. I do find it interesting that the Tibia Mariner does not actually count as an undead enemy for the sake of modifiers. Oh, thank you for the follow, SK Plays. We are playing Elden Ring right now on the mountaintops of the giants. How are you? Let's go and... Bring the hammer down on you, and oh, well, what does really surprise me a lot of the time is how narrow the hitbox for this thing is. Yeah, yeah. That's definitely the correct take, which is, you know, it's the take that I give on why they repeat a lot of bosses. It's not, if not everyone does every single thing, they're not going to see every single boss. But also just given how strong you can get. Being able to refight bosses and as many bosses, it's more or less what they did with Capras and Taurus Demons. I'm having fun. I like Elden Ring. With Capra and Taurus Demons over in the original Dark Souls, bringing them back as many bosses. The big thing for me with that would probably be in Dark Souls 2, how in Drangway Castle, if there were a bunch of Ruin Sentinel mini bosses in that one underground room with the King's Ring door to the throne of want nearby that you don't even need to fight you don't even need to fight those ruined sentinels but it's fun to do in order to 
You know, just see how far you progressed. When I did that, that was after I had farmed for Vanquisher Seal, which is the ring in Dark Souls 2 that gives you very, very buffed unarmed attacks and lets you just bare knuckle box a lot of things to death. Which, as a result, I did the entirety of the old Iron King DLC for Dark Souls 2 with just completely unarmed, which was a lot of fun. How do I want to knock this guy down? I guess we could try the pest threats to be fun. It was a lot of fun that way, too. I liked it. I've been getting a lot of mileage out of pest threads in this playthrough. Well, actually, not a huge amount, but I've used it on I used it on Ancient Dragon Landsix and a little bit on one of the tree spirits in Wando. Because what I was trying to do with that tree spirit was actually to snipe it down from range using frenzied bursts, but I had to stand on a railing and I ended up falling off the railing, so it was a little less pleasant than I would have liked, and I ended up having to dance with the devil, so to speak. Okay, cool. And... Crush you, crush you. It... Yeah, Sacred Blade would obviate the need for that. I'd be able to just hit them once with a huge damage bonus, but at the very same time, it... It doesn't make that much of a difference. It I do kind of like how Skeleton Resurrection works in this game, in that... Skeletons are always, if you don't have sacred, a minimum two hits to kill, but you don't really need the infusion. It just makes it a bit more convenient. And rarely ever do they throw enough skeletons at you that you really need something like Sacred Blade or Whitney a proper death, but that's the other thing, is that Whitney a proper death only works on grounded enemies, because I tried using it on one of the death birds, and it just was not working all that well. Because the death birds went airborne often enough that they would often just get out of the way of it, and their attack AoEs and all that often were frantic enough that I couldn't reasonably charge up Whitney a proper death and done, even if it would hit, which was a little aggravating, but yeah, it's... The funny thing about it is that there, there are some really sucky spells in the DLC, or at least there were, but they buffed them pretty heavily recently, those sucky spells, so... It's just... There aren't enough undead in the game, and the undead in the game aren't strong enough that you really want to use Litany. Especially since, like I said, if you want to do holy damage, you're generally better off using some kind of weapon. Or something like Sacred Order, Sacred Blade, or Shared Order. Which is... sad. So this... Can I use a script stone here? Let me see. Something still sees me, but... Let's make a script stone and see, because I know that some messages will reveal some of the spots over here. I'm not going to use these human bone shorts for almost anything else, but... I've been making very, very good use of Golden Order Seal. And, oh, well, alright. Huh. Something incredible ahead. And, mm, try item. So in that case, I suppose I'll have to use some like Rain of Stars, but actually, you just use any kind of projectile. The big thing is that we're you jumping. Most of these messages only appear when I get close. Well, there's that one over there, so... Bloodstains, so eventually, seek edge. This is where I think it goes around. Let's see. I hmm. you know that eventually there's a staircase. It still keeps going. I guess they're just falling off. Yeah, I went up. Okay, we're just going to use their bloodstains to find our way up. And then eventually... also see a bit of a snowfall. Yeah, you can just barely track it. On here. That's nice. Just gotta pay attention and get into heretical rise. Thank you. And oh, of course they're skeletons, because they're always skeletons. Hate it here. Starlight is in this playthrough probably the only sorcerer I've actually made meaningful use of, which is amusing but also sad. Oh, okay. No, not skeletons, it's just marionettes of various sorts. There we go. Cuckoo Glintstone and 
All these reminds me of the rocks in Wen's Rise. Question is, can I actually weave this rise through here now, or this would be a nice way to get to the map from the other way around, across freezing, freezing lake a little, a little easier. Yep, that did open it up. That's nice. So in that case, I suppose I could go down and maybe get this map. Well, actually, is there a falling snow marks something unseen? Yep, you go from the other side, which is what we just did. And get founding rain of stars, which is an interesting idea and option. But I here's something. It's probably above me right now. Hmm. But probably said this before, but I'm excited for not long soon. You know, a new patch brings new people, and also just. A lot of the new characters look very, very interesting kit-wise. They're... The five stars are somewhat unorthodox. And they had to be, because... One of them, Kinich, focuses on a grapple... Grapple shot is his main method of attack. And it lets him whoop around the enemy for this sort of super hexagon minigame sort of thing. Founding random stars, we got all the legendary sorcerers and incantations. Okay. I think the only legendary incantation is... Okay, Grail's Roar and Elven Stars, I think. A list of primeval sorcery said to have been discovered by an ancient astrologer. Sorcery of legendary status. Dark cloud of storms overhead. Shortly after, violent deluge of star rain and cast while in motion. Charging increases potency. This thing sucks. There's a DLC version that deals fire, which is also terrible. Now to be the founding coincidence sorcery. A glimpse of the primeval current that the astrologer saw became real and the stars of amber rained down on this land. Alright, well, good for them, I suppose. I won't be using that. I will probably be using... Oh. Whitney. No, no. Comet Azure on Godskin Duo later. In order to get them both to sleep, line them up, and beam them both at once. That is one of the best ways to kill them. Oh, and all, I definitely want to be using sleep for that. But... As I was saying... Yeah, yeah, it... The funniest thing is that you can actually use stealth in the Godskin Duo fight. And if you use stealth there, you can... Have them not detect you if you stand around the corner, throw the sleep pot from one end of the arena to the other. And then, what's really, really funny is that they'll both go to check out the side of the noise. And just both get slapped. It... It's that easy. But then, of course, you need a good way to blast them both at once, so... That does... arguably present the issue, and... Lord Contenders ever jail? That's where Vike is going to be. Guardians of Garrison is over there, I think, but... I should have put down something to actually mark the location of that map. Oh, we got dogs. Uh, it... It's an interesting area. When I did my mage playthrough, I basically avoided everything here. So, very little of this I ever saw. I ran right past Exaikis. I did actually kill Okina, which was really, really funny, because the way I did it was... Oh, I spammed parries while standing in Terra Magica and got criticals with it. With a magic-infused Misericord, which was very, very silly. Hello, Melina. A.K.A. Yorshka, almost there. Okay. I'm glad it was you mm -hmm. I traveled with. I must tender my thanks to Torrent, too. I wonder what Torrent Thank thinks. You. Torrent, mm -hmm. please continue to lend your aid. Till the end. Hmm. All right. So then... Okay, the bridge is actually further... I mean, the map is actually further over that way, so... Actually, just mark that. Place a beacon. Okay. We found this, and so you've been replaying with that halberd build, right? How has that been going for you? Seems fun. We're just gonna go right past the garrison and find myself that map and come back here later. There is that giant's prayer book here, though? So it is interesting how long they make you wait to get the map here. Oh, nice. That's fun. Because I saw you use the halberd for the intro. To be grafted side, presumably because Vagabond is the bulkiest starting class? Maybe? 
Oh, so there's a race right by the map. All right. Let's get that and then go back. And Mount Drops of the Giants East. Oh, East Arcane. That is an amusing way to decide. Though I can't blame you. Eastern Mount Tops of the Giants, remote desolate eastern summit, highest point, all the lands between, overlooking even the flame peak to the south. Alright, and that would be... Yeah, this one with the forge. Forge of the Giants, which raises the question, have the giants even got up here? Even the fire giant, I don't think would be big enough to reach this from the bottom here. They just cling to the chain from the bottom, or... Uh, giant's grave posts. It... fair. It would be a lot easier for them than for me. Hmm. Oh, and we can instantly toggle a list. Okay, I didn't even notice that. Let's... come on, get rid of this beacon and... go back... here, work our way down to Castle Soul. Get that Halig Treat medallion, though. Question is... Whether I fight Fire Giant before or after I do stuff there, because the big thing for me is I would like to fight various things as easy, early as possible most of the time, but the big thing is that I did do Moog very, very early, as in true Moog, which was a lot of fun, but the question is honestly whether I want Burn O Flame for Consecrated Snowfield, which I could see it being useful. Oh, come on. It... People have said... And frankly, since I never actually got to use Firestorm in... Demon Souls, because I use Fireball instead. That Burn O Flame is almost as good as the OG Firestorm was in Demon Souls, which... OG Firestorm in Demon Souls is incredibly busted. Comes up very, comes out very, very quickly and deals pretty ridiculous damage. It also helps that almost everything in Demon Souls is very weak to any kind of magic type, magic damage type, fire or, fire or magic. But avoiding these Gasha Dokoro is going to be very, very important. So where is that Mariner? Thank you. Go for your Ghost Flame Beam. And no, but where is the Mariner? I don't see. I... I'm not sure whether killing the Mariner will get rid of these giant skeletons. They were annoying in Mogwin, and they're worse here, because in Mogwin, they would go away if you kill the Albanoric summoning them, but over here it appears to be entirely disconnected. But honestly, as someone who's building a decent amount of arcane, I wonder what could justify all this arcane hatred. Oh, there's a death right bird here too. All right. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I, oh my goodness. Let's buff up a little then. It's not expecting all this. Come on then. Come on. Let's put up golden bell. And flame grant me not really, but I think Grail's worship. Oh my goodness. Those were should work pretty decent. Oh my. Okay. All right. Thanks. Grail's War is a really, really good one that I've been using a lot, actually. Just to- oh my goodness. Can I- oh, well, alright. Really? Okay. Should dodge that kinda, but I- okay. Um, interesting. Can I- Will the rings of light work? They will not work all that well. I, well, it- uh, I should be using an actual weapon for this. Yeah, Sacred Void would work much better here. I hate to say it. Especially since it is undead. Okay, well, that was a fun idea. I will be going to a side of grace and coming back. This down here, we just got Castle Soul, some Fulgur Blooms. Mm -hmm. I've been trying to make use of Bloody Helix, but it's not amazing. Well, we got a Mausoleum and we got some other things, so let's just rest. And there was some cut dialogue originally, apparently, and then had a Latena tell you about this location when you got close to locate the other Halo Tree Medallion. That is not what happened. So in that case, we will be using... Oh, goodness. 
sacred blade on this thing. There we go. This should be fine. Thank you. And then what I could do, I think, is put on a tree spear for shared order, too. Might need to. Oh, but that's right. I guess I could put it on a dagger, maybe. Having a single regular dagger on hand for the sake of just Ash of War spam. Well, I could do that with a Cestus, too, probably. Put a lot of these things away, so... Short sword can go, short sword can go. These falcons can go. Club. These claw great hammer, crystal spear. I don't need these anymore. I use them on Rykard already, but... I think... Single dagger could be nice to just hold on to. Well, actually, a single Cestus. Sound there is a little weird briefly. Single Cestus, if I have one. And I don't have a Cestus, so. Whitest. Can't change out the Pata. The dagger right now is going to be my widest option. Let's put Sun on here and. I didn't know I had a Watchdog's Greatsword on me. Should stop having that Watchdog's Greatsword on me. But something like Shared Order be a good option. No, Sacred Order. Sacred Order is that. Sacred Order, effective means of those who live in death. Holy Essence. And it doesn't matter what I have on there, so... Let's switch this out for the dagger. And see how much I can crush that death right bird. Should probably take down that mausoleum sooner or later, though. Let's make it Nightfall again. Which... It was almost nightfall, but not quite. Okay, so that death right bird is over there. There's gonna be another death right bird in a consecrated snowfield, and then two knights cavalrymen, but I've already killed all the bell bearing hunter encounters, so other than that, I'll be decent. Okay. Listening to the urgery is nice, but again, I I'd have to equip a talisman specifically to even cast that, so I I'm not sure. I might want to change that back to Blessing's Boon. Eventually. There we go. Okay, cool. Use these and... Hello! Where are you going? And... Hmm... Alright. Just dodge and... Dodge. Okay, thanks. And roar, roar, roar. I... Oh my goodness. Okay, I... Alright. Oh, please. You... Gotta be kidding me. Let's use... This then, and I... Oh my... Okay, I... Alright, and... Funny explosion. I, right. Wrong, wrong, wrong. I had this in the wrong number of hands. I, wait, why did... Huh? Why can't I use... Okay, this is really stupid then. Why can't I even use my... Sacred Blade? I mean, my... Sacred Order. I... It just defaulted to my... Other hand skill? That's really, really weird. Yeah, it's Sacred Blade no matter what. Unless I have... Sacred Order on there. That was... This is really, really stupid and scoffed. I hate that. It's... I wonder if it's something to do with the fact that it's a dagger, though I don't imagine that would actually matter. That really sucked. Well, the big question for me would be whether I do any bonus damage with Sacred Order if I'm two-handing. The Giant Crusher. Because I know that if you two hands something and which makes you put away the other thing in your other hand, it will have your weapons in fusion disappear. Which, Sacred Order is a special kind of buff, though, but... Let me see. Last Rites on Golden Epitaph. Golden Epitaph. Golden Epitaph. I wonder if Last Rites is a special buff. Last Rites is... It's an aura buff. Okay. Sacred Order. To be fair, that would be better than Golden Vow. But Sacred Order is a completely unique buff. So I'd do more damage, but Sacred Order would... I mean, Golden Vow would help me. Give me durability, though, so I... Oh, great, great. Okay. Thanks. Alright, and then... I guess we may as well put this one down. Maybe. I- Oh my goodness. Okay. Can I- 
Thanks. So come on, come on. Okay, there we go. And this one is rather strong. Okay, and can I... Oh, please, you... All right, and... Then we... Sacred Order, and... There we... Dodge, dodge... Okay, uh, all right, thanks. Okay, uh, please, please... Uh, Okay, come on. What? Huh? I hate this stupid thing. Maybe... Maybe that long buffer gene is not worth it. Maybe. And that's right, if I... <laughs> go back to the stick of America, it makes it daytime, makes that thing go away. Stupid. Hmm. It, the length of the buff is... The buff routine is definitely a big part of the problem. Which makes some sense, but still. Hmm. Can't use that on horseback. Well, nothing to do but... Using the sword buff first is actually probably, I mean, Sacred Order first is probably the best option. Less about the same amount of time. Hmm. Try this. And then we should be able to get our stuff going. Shouldn't be a huge problem now. All about ordering the buffs correctly. Alright, so, there you are. Let's go in with or Grail's roar and oh something is wrong. Okay, I yeah. What is oh because I don't have my rune arc equipped right now. I'm maybe stupid. Okay, uh, thanks. All right, gone and can I? Oh please, you want epic death white shriek? Uh, all right and can I? Thanks. Uh, okay, well here's our damage. That's really good damage. Yeah. I oh my goodness. Okay, come on and. Uh, it, it's really good damage. And, unless I miss entirely somehow. That was stupid. Thanks, and, okay, one more of those. One more of those should be good. I charge it, slam it, there we go, cool. So, it was decent, but took more than I would have liked. Enemy failed, and that, that is a rather nice amount of runes. Death Ritual Spear, and me when I stack buffs. Death Ritual Spear. Ritual Spear, used by priests of old, permitted to come among the death birds, guardians of the birds, for the right of death. Both sworn to their decent resurrection, spear call ritual. There's a high person that's got some a downboard of spectral spears. What that looks like. Let's test this thing out. And that that looks cool. Actually kinda surprised that none of them use any similar attack then. Hmm. Well, it magic damage just isn't all that good in this game. If you have a faith build, you've got access to every kind of damage, magic included, but just why would you use that? You've got many dragon breath attacks. It's the fact that faith has access to every single kind of damage type. At least elemental, just even without really having to spec out of Spec out of faith is just ludicrous. But you know, it's their prerogative. Let's get a level of faith, actually. You know that it makes a huge difference, and that's right, we should. Well, I. The question is whether well, I want to try using. I don't need to use Rings of Light on the Mariner, but I'll try it anyway. I need to justify the existence of that spell to myself somehow. And. Let's bring this guy down. Thank you. Come on now. Oh, okay. Break and... How many more? Take that down. Hmm. Hit. And hit. Thank you. Hmm. Go up top and... Barely missed that, it seems. Can I... There we go. Okay. So how many more? This one seems to be very, very... Brazilian, and it's a big enough weapon that it makes hitting the high up ones actually not all that bad. I, okay, 
Thank you. That one's moved, so it shouldn't move again. All that soon. And over there, I. The nice thing is that I do have functionally infinite stamina for this quote unquote fight, given that there are no enemies around. And can I, there we go. I'm gonna go that upper right to lower left angle. Is this. Okay, it should be coming down now. I'm staying out of the way so I don't get crushed. Fun. Question is, what do I actually duplicate here? I would actually like to get Scarlet Aeonia eventually. Because having that rot proc would be really, really nice for the DLC. Just rot at the start of every fight, so let's mark that. Yeah. And then the Tibia Mariner should be over here, presumably. Maybe. Hmm. Sacred Blade, again, won't deal bonus damage to the Mariner. It is interesting that they don't count as undead, but should still deal good damage with this holy buff. And there you are. Beast Eye is quivering. What is it quivering for? It... I know that the Mariner is somewhere around here, but I... I do not see it. It... I'm like, oh, you're over this way. Okay. You were hiding. Absolute mongrel. Okay. And... Wait, wait. Can I... Oh, this one is not actually a... Not actually boss level. It's just a dude. Okay. Alright, and... There we go. That was really, really nice. And... Unless we miss. Which it, which it is crazily easy to do, it seems. I, there we go, and another hit. And nice. There we go. Helping steeple and a death root. Yeah, that's real nice damage there. Hmm. I wonder if those giant skeletons are going to come back then. It's just Onyx Blade from Dark Souls 3. Black Sheep of the Helfen, Lampwood, Godzilla of the Spirit World, similar to Grace in appearance, can only be seen by those who met their death in battle. Miss Ghost Flame, Swing the Sword, Bathe its Blade and Ghost Flame, Magic Damage for Attacks, and a bitter equal bite, so Frostbite build up. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's just how Onyx Blade works. Hmm. An interesting weapon. I, oh, okay. Well, alright. How much damage will this deal to you? Not much. Okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. My question is just... Will those skeletons come back now? Now that I've... Destroyed that Tibia Mariner. Well, also what I should do is... Give that death root to Garonk. That said, it'll just be... Another spell... Oh, and now, now that we've gotten the east one, we can actually see. Farm Azula is now on the map. It's over here, I believe, is... I like how the dragons are actually illustrated. It's the little spot you get teleported to from. The three belfries, if you use one of those imbued sword keys. Yeah, so this... Consecrated Snowfield is the only thing left, but it's its own area. I'm like Mount Tops of the Giants, so you can see the name tag here. Hmm. Well, because Consecrated, in theory, would be sort of a third part of Mountain Tops. But, much to think about. This part of Kaelid gets shown when you get the Wimbrave map, but got Dragon Bear over here and, of course, East Kaelid. But Gelmir is a part of Altus. Gelmir is part of Altus, but apparently Consecrated Snowfield is not part of Mountaintops. Well, to be fair, it's at, it's not on the mountaintop. It's si it's definitively below on a plateau below it. But mm -hmm. yeah, so let's turn in that eighth death route, which makes us 
nice and close to getting that ancient dragon smithing stone for completing his quest line and therefore some extra dialogue when we fight Malekith and that yeah, black blade kindred is long dead. Here we go. Anything to say to us now? Thank you. Again, appetite might sin, more consume more, and Gronk's Beast Claw. Spirit Incantation, Rinse Rings with Shock Waves. Beast of such terrifying ferocity, his former name meant Death of the Demigods. So let's see. None of any of the other special incantations. It's also on Stone of Gronk. Hmm. It is interesting how he gives incantations that deliver Lear. Probably a little bit strong compared to their faith requirement to compensate for the fact that they are very definitively limited to endgame. Given that you need to get death root and three out of the nine or you have to be in mountaintops to get them, which is not crazy, but interesting. I wonder what enemy is going to be guarding this minor urgery, if any at all. There's a chance that it's just nothing there. Hmm. I, honestly, Discus of Light is fun to just have. Send a throne and splash, but my question is, what's down here? If I tried dropping you down here, would there be anything of no... No, it... Wait, actually, this plateau is... No, there really was just nothing here. It's kind of sad. Oh, whatever. I... Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. Mm-hmm. So that was a complete and utter waste of my time. But it's just... There isn't really a way to get, good way to get... I guess unless you came from the shack... But to get to the shack, you'd have to go around this way, so there's nothing you're really reaching by dropping down here. It, it's cool how they make it more interconnected, but it raises the question of whether teleportation was always intended to be part of the full game design, so to speak. Outside of, of course, the necessary roundtable teleportation, because... Aside from Moonlight Altar, generally speaking, if you can go through an area, you can find a way back. Even going through almost every area of... If you drop down to Nokron, you can go all the way through Deep Root Depths to Ansel, and then drop back down to the well over here from Ansel River, Maine. And just resurface in Lyurnia. And of course you can also use the teleport to go to Landell, but that actually is not... That doesn't really work, because if you haven't killed the Draconic Tree Sentinel, well, you can't exactly go back. But yeah, it... I kind of wish there was more underground in this game. The dungeons are fun, but just having huge underground areas is nice in a different way. And oh, well, there is the Bird Tree Avatar right over there. Okay. On. I let's use this then. Should all be more than usable. All right, fun. I dodge and this should be good. Yeah, we're in a good position. Thanks. I do oh, okay. Well, you're not that. Okay, I dodged exactly incorrectly there. Fun. I okay. Toss and. Good damage. Thank you. And okay. Alright. Need more of this. And damage we're dealing is very, very capable. Thanks. And just. Oh, what? Huh? Duplicate? That's insane. Alright. And is one of you a fake or. How is this working? Thanks. And. Da okay. Okay. There we go. Cool. And. What was that? No, really, what was up with that? Well, we won. And Cerulean Crystal Tier and Crimson Bubble Tier. So that, that's the other FP restoration. FP when you're dead, and that. That one kind of sucks. It's not as good as. 
Tears of Denial. Oh, whatever. Mm -hmm. It, I will say, for all of the arguably very overpowered options you have access to in this game, it honestly just makes it more interesting that they don't have Tears of Denial or anything that even really all that closely approximates it. It, their restraint with that actually impresses me. Okay, bull goat and can I? Okay, why now? Pretty soon I should be able to get get to Ashen Capital. Should be able to get Urdru's favor plus two. That'll actually be kind of hard because I'll need to kill three ulcerated tree spirits for that. And that they, okay, those are the ruins. Oh hi, Tammy Human Chief. I, okay, I, all right. And oh come on. It's interesting seeing that these guys are just normal enemies. To be fair, that was also true in Weeping Peninsula, but it it always does feel a little weird. They were only a boss in Coastal Cave, and after that they've shown up as mini-bosses and just standard enemies, but still it... I guess it just feels a little tragic for them to be this diluted, so to speak. I'm honestly just surprised that there are even demi here. Okay, cool. And... one... Two and miss entirely, of course, because of course I do. Thanks, and swing. There we are. One hands is just so good. So good. And let's keep that going. Hmm. So anything else over up on this portion, or... Yeah. The big thing for me is that... The bloody Helix, 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 whatever... It's been a fun weapon, but not really the same as a good weapon. In particular, it... You know, I could just shoot down. Well, I'll shoot those down over there, because if I shoot down those hot air balloons and rest, the marinettes they usually drop would probably despawn permanently. I don't want to deprive myself of a possible fun combat encounter. But, as I was saying... Fun spell rather than a good spell. I mean, fun weapon rather than a good weapon. In that, Bloody Helix is very, very PvP focused. In that, the dodge that you do works a lot better on fighting players than fighting enemies. Especially since it doesn't do all that much poise damage. And the full combo with Donna's Finesse can be good at breaking stance, but you need to get the whole thing off and it can be tough to actually get that off. Because I tried using it on Illusion Moog, who I actually fought after Real Moog, which was very, very funny to me. And it... I guess I just needed to know his attack string a bit more. Just know when I could safely say, okay, this is the last one. I'll dodge back and then go in for the full Buddy Helix combo. But it's just... The wrist reward does not really make a lot of sense there with that. It... I would rather be using something like God's Good Stitcher and put Piercing Fang, because that is a great epi with Impaling Thrust to great effect for stance breaking and damage before. And as good as the dodge and Bloody Hewis is for dealing with invaders and other players, it means that actually dealing damage with that Lash of War has a lot more startup than I'd like, which causes problems in PvE, because it means that it's much, much harder to get an opening in to actually use the thing. It's still fun, though. My question is... How can I... If I go down here, will there be anything of note, or... I mean, it... We survived the fall, but... Don't get the impression that anything of serious note is going to be here. I... Curiosity will kill kill me. Guess I'm a cat now. Hmm. It's just gonna be a no item ahead or something like that. And we Oh well I Oh, okay. Fine. So you can't even can't even actually get on that. Amazing. Thanks. That's another Runark in the hole. Awesome. That 
That meant a lot to me. But again, we I do have a good number of rune arcs, at least, but it's still less than ideal. Mm -hmm. We'll over get that and then see what's in Stargazer's Ruins. I do think I could take down Fire Giant today, in particular. Fire Giant is weak to slash damage, which means that I could actually reasonably do some Bloodhound Fang spam on its bum leg to knock it down and then get good damage. So this weapon is just fantastic. I probably want to put Blood Flame on it. Not for damage, but just for bleed buildup. And we build up that does not rely on stats in any sense. But it's gonna be interesting, that's for sure. Figuring out how to deal with that thing. Because when I fought Fire Giant before, I did it with Oh uh, well what I should do honestly is use a sacrificial twig. Because I fall again. Which I shouldn't, but just in case. We were down there and Go over, get that, just a tiny old jump. This goes down to... Yep, where things started here. That jump is not even possible. Amazing. Yep, this is just near that side of the race, and Millicent was over there previously, but... Let's work my way around here. Hmm. I already killed that Mariner, so hopefully... Those skeletons should not be coming back. Again, I'm surprised that it wasn't even... Not even a mini-boss. It didn't even have a boss bar. It was just sitting. Now I can get one more level of faith. So now all of my stats were 30 at base. It's fun. It... When I got everything to 30 or so in Elden... I mean, Dark Souls 2, I was about level 200... Because there were more stats, and also you just started lower. I, I didn't know that going into Dark Souls 2. So when it said, oh yeah, your stats are... If you play as Deprived, all your stats start at 6. Which meant that the only weapon I could even wield was a dagger at first. Which I didn't even start out with. I had to get in the tutorial area. That was probably part of why Dark Souls 2 is so memorable for me. I started out with it so little. But they have so many spells in that game. They almost have enough as Elden Ring, I'd say, despite being a smaller game. Though it is one of the biggest... It is the biggest and longest Souls game in the trilogy, which... You know, can be considered good or bad, subjectively, but... I had fun with it. I actually enjoyed it a good deal. I... I honestly would say that Dark Souls 2 is probably my favorite in the base trilogy. Just... And I'm not saying that just to be contrarian. It's definitely part of it, but I just also legitimately enjoy it. Hmm. Oh, and over here we have some items presumably... Oh, no, it's Corin and Golden Ask here. Okay. Summerstone not oh okay, there we go. Ah, nice to see you. Hello. I can't believe you've come all this way. Oh really? No well, gold masks? Been gripped by a terrifying thought. Mm -hmm. The rhythms and calculus of the master's finger betray a suspicion of the holism of the golden order. Starting to get heretical. We'll see what Corin does about it. I can have I can help you with your head. If the master were true to the golden order, why would he think to breach this forbidden mm, interesting. So presumably they're burning the Ur tree in their own world. Mind at ease. Mind at ease. Dispel these fearsome thoughts. I want to place my trust in To be your scribe. Oh, no. oh, right, we can offer Tonic of Forgetfulness, but he doesn't take it. What is this? It will make me forget, you say, so that I can push aside these frightful thoughts. <laughs> Would that I could. Would that I could. 
He just refuses. Triple thoughts. Interesting. Shine through you. Nothing there, but you got a couple of prayer books nearby that I can give to him. So is there going to be a grace anywhere nearby, or is otherwise he is very, very annoying to get to, though to be fair, that's in character. Given that there isn't well, actually over an Altus over on this bridge, and yeah, to get up there is a little bit annoying. Oh, there is that spirit spring, but still. Mm. Big thing is, I could, just in the moment, before I get another somber stone, and question is where I'm going to get another somber ancient dragon smithing stone to get that seal to plus ten. So, okay. The one that I got in Mogwin Palace is the only one I can get before Consecrated Snowfield. They are very sparing with those things. My question would be... Whether Gelmir Glintstone Staff or Prince of Death Staff would be better for what I'm going to be doing soon, which is... I need to use Comet Azure on some of... On the gods getting sooner or later. 58, Prince of Death... Okay, so they're basically the same at that level I'd be at, which means that I should probably be leveling Gelmir. Hmm. Much to think about. But if I level them a bit... Leveling, yeah, leveling, they're about the same, so... Gelmir... Yeah, I should farm for Gelmir eventually, and then use that to cast Comet Azure, because they're basically about the same, even with Faith being a bit higher. That is interesting to think about, though, that I could maybe try using the Sot Planner. The Sot with Faith and Intelligence at actually more like 40, probably. 40 Faith. Gelmir and Prince of Death. So Death Staff would actually be a little bit better that way, but the question is Lasat. Lasats would be meaningfully higher than either. Interesting, but the question is whether or not the somber stones to level it by then. Well I should actually, so they're cheap. Your arm strength and ends. Let's take this up. There we go, and good amount of additional. In cat ceiling, that'll get to 299 with a somber ancient dragon smithing stone. This. Wait, but. I need to go and get Wasat's out of the box then. So Wasat. Well, Wasat. Wasat. It's Azure and Wasat. Pronunciation of those names is interesting, but go over to the chest, take out with sad stack. And yeah, that's what I'd want to be using for that part of the fight. And we should use strengthen that thing a bit. And we've got lots of somber stones. And of course I'd need some tears to actually make use of the thing, but that should be more than doable. Hmm. Don't, might not want to use that yet. We'll be fine. Alright. So let's move back to mountaintops, go to Stargazer's Ruins. This spot should be a lot more. A lot easier to go through now that Oh, some of these things are dead. So let's put on, right, we don't need that anymore, so let's put on our Sorcerer's Aerom so I can actually wield that thing. The Crucible Graves. Hmm. Got some pretty standard talismans all together, but that's life. So we got you over this way. Hello. 
Come on, and... Ooh, okay. It... It's kind of funny how there are a lot of enemies that kind of have a bone wheel approach to things, so to speak. I got... The snails, you got the albinorts that roll at you. Oh, come on. I think there was one more. But it was not actually a skeleton. An enemy so nice they had to put it in thrice. But... Okay, now that the tibia is gone... I don't think... Yeah, the skeletons aren't spawning anymore, which is interesting because... The wiki just says that... The giant ghost skeletons just spawn independently of anything else. Unconnected to any other phenomenon, but clearly... I would say, clearly, they were spawning because of the tibia mariner. Now that the mariner is dead, they're not spawning. It... It's not the last time Fextra Life has been wrong. I mean, it's not the first time Fex Drive has been wrong, and they will certainly be incorrect again. Okay. Look at that. Those bats down there over by the ruins. It... I don't know if there's a boss in the ruins or not. I would hope there there is going to be a set of grace in there to maybe change out my Ashes of War if necessary, but... It is very nice how convenient the skill changing out and equipping system is in this game and I think a lot of that is necessary just because of the fact that holy damage is much better dealt with a weapon than a spell I actually did do some finagling with talismans to actually cast elven stars at one point I used it on the Stone Digger Troll in Old Aldous Tunnel, because it's equally weak to magic damage and holy damage, which is funny, because it's just... There is nothing who is weakest... that is weakest to magic damage that is not also equally weak to some other kind of elemental damage that Faith also has access to. And, of course, Faith also does just have access to magic damage through multiple Dragon Breath spells. And also, if you want to be really silly, you can use... The Wraith Calling Bell. But... Oh, so that one actually... Is... Disconnected from any enemy, it seems. So what gives? Oh, but actually, could I... Actually hit this thing? Oh! Interesting. Huh. Wait, so these count as undead? Or... Wait. Huh? Oh, alright. Fun. I... Want to try hitting this thing. I... Huh. Wait. So if I stay far away enough, in theory, it should... Oh, come on. Actually emerge and become... Hittable, I think? I... But just the fact that I can actually hit them... That's new to me. Huh. Oh, well, alright. Thanks. And can I... Swing and... Okay, that was really, really nice damage. Okay, I... Alright, and... Can I? One, two, and... Okay. Huh. So is it gonna come back now, or... I didn't even know I could kill it. It does seem as if they count as undead. But... Yeah, it seems as if... One of them is connected to the Tibia Mariner. And the other just shows up, and... You can just kill it like any normal enemy. And it's also specifically weak to holy damage and counts as undead. That... The wiki did not say a damn thing about that. Fair enough. Okay. But the reason I call them Gasha Dokoro is because that's what they're referred to in the files. And also, a Japanese yokai known as the Gasha Dokoro is what they're based on in the first place why they have that name. Okay, let's put that on. Optimize. Have as much armor as we possibly can for our quick load. Hello, hello. Let's just toss our lightning out on these bats and... Huh? Thought that would have hit. It's good. That is good against these and the knees, there we go. Good splashable projectile. 
Yeah, take that. And I think we got some of those crimson flasks back too after skeleton depleted. Decent amount of them. So then, what all is it in here? Rhymed Roa. And, oh, is this... Ah, uh, no, no, these are just ghost animals. To which I can do nothing. I wonder what's up with those things, actually. But either way... Sister, where did he... Oh! Right, right. That's... Sister of that one Spirit Ash Jellyfish. That's sad. Oh, okay. Don't think I can kill that one forever and ever. So, yep, we can summon her. Let's do that. Jellyfish, and there we go. Her spirit summon in the game. Seal is broken somewhere. Fancy spin. Here we are. In that case, let's see what's behind here. Also, okay, we still have the spirit ashes for the jellyfish. Be kind of crazy if we just remove them. Ah, promo glintstone blade and plus FP, maximum HP reduce. Old glintstone blades in blood. Slice open their hearts with these blades. Old sorcerers and deal promo glintstone with their soul, and thus did they die. That the sorceress did. That's basically Dust Crown Ring. I'm kind of surprised they put it so late in the game. What is interesting is that some cut content analysis shows that you were originally meant to be able to access mountaintops earlier, or at least consecrated snowfield early, which does shed some light on maybe why snowfield and mountaintops count as different areas via a part of Deep Root Depths, which would be quite interesting. So that poison one is different. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Alright. And another hit. And oh my goodness. Alright. And... You have a different pattern on your wings and that poison, or... Come on. Keep tossing the lightning. And there we go. Cool. Fine. So what was so important is to get walked behind here. If anything. Or is it nothing? It... What is this? Just nascent butterflies and always sadness. Some graves. Oh, presumably those might be the graves of those two sisters. Hmm. It... Yeah, presumably that would be the sister's grave. Let's use... Let's spell that out for people. Tell, don't show. And then ahead. People. And... I guess pair. 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 Pair ahead. Yeah, but I think it's... Probably intended that... Those graves are meant to be the graves of the... Sisters who became the spirit jellyfish. His name was Aurelia. Hmm. So in that case, I suppose it's only really Castle Soul left over here. It's not nothing. So the question is, would there be a way for me to get down there, if at all? There's a ridge back there, but I'm not sure it actually leads to anything. It's worth checking. Hmm. Try out some of this. I... This place does seem to be largely empty. Well, another bat is here. Alright, and how did that miss? Whatever. And just keep tossing. There we go. Good stuff, and oh, this is... Just freezing the race. Phew! I can't imagine it would be all that useful in a place that's already cold. I don't know if they were harvesting it to bring it back. Hmm. It. 
Reese's are interesting, especially considering you get to a really, really high level in this game, so it's honestly kind of hard to make a case for using Greases instead of buff spells, considering the status buff spells don't cost all that much anyway. Just get Blood Flame Blade and apply it very, very cheaply for bonus Blood Loss build-up. Mm -hmm. That, that's where they were. How much else is in here? It's just, unless you really, really want to min-max to a to an absurd degree. There's no reason to be that stingy. Well, whatever. So where do I go next? Now, Castle Soul and then this part of Mountaintops, which is really just... Oh! Freezing Lake and therefore Borealis. Other than that, not all that much. Mm. It's fun. But yeah, the bridge over here with Corn and Gold Mask is kind of annoying to get to then. Kind of surprised there's no side of grace around here. Though. Okay. But he has no interest probably because of his intention to kill Gold Mask should the heresy prove true. If he forgets about it, he cannot truly live up to his charge as a zealot. Hmm. Let's keep on moving. Down over this way. And over this way. Hmm. Get over here and then. That's where the mariner was, so we can check some of that. But... The Deathrite Bird and Consecrated Snowfield should give me Explosive Ghost Flint, which is an interesting spell, if not for the fact that, again, if you have access to things that aren't magic damage, they're going to be more effective. I do like how a lot of the magic spells are sort of tricks, in the sense that a lot of their usefulness comes from being weird kind of projectiles. I like in particular that the Loretta's spells functioned very similarly to the... Well, that was their human bone shard. The lightning arrow spell from Dark Souls 3, and that a lot of the point is being able to charge up and hold it for the sake of a roll catch. So they're not just... They're not really for targeting weaknesses. They're for doing interesting things. And nothing... You know, at the same time as nothing is really weak to magic damage, nothing really resists it either, so you're just supposed to basically have it. <clears throat> have it somewhat useful all the time, unless, I guess, you're fighting Renala, in which case you just use Rock Sling and keep her stance broken. Just stagger her purse semi-permanently that way. It... It is nice that... Even if magic doesn't get any other elemental damage types, they at least get basic physical damage. It's still not a huge consolation, but... You know, as opposed to say, well, to be fair, in earlier Souls games, you would have access to decent pyromancy just by building intelligence, no matter what you did, really. So, I guess it does make it interesting that to get fire with an in build in this game, you really need, you need to build some faith to just, I don't know, use a magma shot or something, which isn't all that much, but still. Then the, let me take a look. That way is, is that Gelmir? I think that's Gelmir, yeah. Gelmir's over there, but. Okay, and the Halig tree is down. That way you can see a couple of its boughs. Hmm. Anything else over here, or... This is... It's down a Shack of the Lofty, which... Is where we killed the Juno Hoslo before. Putting that part of the quest line. Which is what allowed me to go kill Rykard without missing anything. Which then... Sent Patches back to the cave and sent Raya on her own personal... Journey of self-discovery. So yeah, it... Castle Soul is now... My next option. 
Next place to go. And to see. Hey, look, tree from over here. That's fun. Of course, you see Ordina and Halo Tree. I have not been to Halo Tree before. That is going to be entirely new to me. When I played through the first one on my, on my mage build, my friends actually wanted to see me fight Millennia, which would just be a matter of spamming my comet, more or less. But this time, it's probably going to be a matter of spamming. Bloodhounds, finesse, maybe. Is it wood deal? Decent stance damage and probably get some staggers off too. Of course, the best way to cheese Millennia is either Rivers of Blood or Mogwin Sacred Spear, neither of which I am particularly intending to use. Well, to be fair, since they're both somber, it wouldn't be all that complicated to upgrade them, and I do need. It would be nice to use Orcane for something, but it... I don't know. I'll try Bloodhound Spang a few times. I will have Rivers of Blood before then. Because I do want to, again, kill Fire Giant before hitting up Consecrated Snowfield. But... Hmm. Hmm. Let's see what happens. That could actually be an interesting idea, actually, going to Consecrate the Snowfield before. And then I could be really silly and try using... I don't know, Hand of Millennia on Fire Giant. That said, the issue is, is that... I would need... Multiple Dexterity Increasing... Effects and Talismans to even use. And even though Dexterity Shrouding Cracked here last three minutes, it... Fire Giant fight is long. It would probably last a good deal longer than three minutes itself. So I don't think it would actually be all that useful there. Over here, we can actually work our way behind. Okay. All the way behind. So what is going to be our reward for having poked around, if any? Oh, come on. I... Ooh, that... I could try jumping on that wedge. It would probably just kill me. Well, whatever. Mm -hmm. Keep on going around and see what is in here. Or these fire blossoms, but aside from that. Oh, we got some coffins back here, so it's good we checked then. We get some runes to pick up, but. Mm -hmm. Anything else? It'd be funny if there was just a dungeon back here. I know there isn't, though. So, I just remember last time I went behind something on the moat to where the Orza side human hero's grave where I got absolutely rolled by a rune bear that was just sitting there, but yeah, that wasn't much one way or the other, but that's fine. It, this is a very cool area. I do like it a lot. It... It is nice that despite being a snow level, that's the important difference. It might be a snow level, but it's not an ice level. You don't have any issue controlling your character. So... What's that over there? I see a... Oh, just some falcons. Alright. Thank you, and... Alright, and... How did I miss? Gotta be kidding. There we go, and... Oh, come on. Alright! Come on. Du oh, please, you... Okay. Oh, well, thank you. Hmm, Stormhawk Feather. It is interesting how there are Stormhawks in various places, including even Farm Azula. It... It's interesting when people try to think of lore justifications for why there are a bunch of Banished Knights in Farm Azula. Even though, arguably, given that there's a Stormhawk there, and Godric himself has a dragon as part of his fight, to a certain extent, it's very much supposed to just be in the same way, way that Lane Dell being the final level is a callback to Lane Dell being the sort of halfway or two-thirds level. Oh, Summer Soon 8, not bad. We'll take that. Meant to be a callback kind of thing, coming back to an earlier part of the game. 
And here we got... Well, actually, the big thing is, if... If I don't need to have multi-layer Radagons or Rings of, Ring of Light equipped for anything, really, I should probably actually Blood Flame Blade on instead. It's an actual good spell. Grails is good because it makes me more defensive, too. Put on... Flaming Spear here. Black Flame. And... Hello, Kozu. How are you doing? I am working my way through the snow level. How are you doing? Have you fully recovered from the convention now? Okay. Let's so open up this funny mausoleum for later when I need to do the boss material. That's good. Take care of yourself. Don't run yourself too ragged. So wait, when is the horse gonna disappear on here? I uh, And oh we can keep riding into here. It's just You can't actually get back on the horse in here. Alright, well, whatever happens, I hope that you recover and it all ends up well in the end. It The more you dwell on things, the more you allow them to affect you. So let's put this on, and then I guess we could use Grail. Okay, and can I... Oh, that did not even hit it at all. That's tough. I... Maybe it was because of the dodge, and can I... What? What? Uh, it's a fun attack, but I... Come on, why not? Okay, I... really, really... I... Startup's just way too slow for that. I... Okay, and can I... Uh, okay, enjoy your food. And can I- oh my goodness, I- alright. Didn't know they had magic breath. Stupid. Okay, alright, and can I- Thanks, I- alright, and move in for- Slash, can I- again. There we go, and move back in for- Or not, I- oh, come on, alright, and can I- Thanks, and in for another and- I- No, come on! Well, I got the Somerstone Beast Blood and Old Thing, but- I forgot there were two of them. I forgot there were two of them. Okay. Ugh, oh, that was stupid. That was really stupid. Okay. Well, you know, it's... We got lots and lots of remarks. I... I guess I should be re-equipping two fingers to cast this one, but it... It's annoying. Okay. And yeah, stamina, stamina, stamina's good. And... Golden Vow. Flame Grant Me. Blood Flame Blade. And. I guess Grails. Sure. And just move on in. And thank you! Oh, this one is half health. Okay, I. Alright. And one. And. I. Okay, alright. No, no, what? 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 The, okay, thank you. No, no, thank you. Okay, and. One more... Okay. One more slash. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, it... We tried. We tried. Let's... Heal up real quick and... Go back through the area then. I... Okay. I think that body helix is gonna be... Best thing in here, because it's gonna be mostly human soldiers. So... Well, it... We, we wanted the end, but even if that was annoying. Golden Rune 10, and... Hmm. Let's keep on going. Anything else in here? It It is funny that Starlight is really the only sorcery that I've gotten any decent use out of. Completely non-offensive, but... Other thing maybe would have been... I could have tried using Clarity in order to spam Frenzied Flame Incantations more by getting rid of the Madness buildup from them, but it... Black Flame is just better in most cases, especially since I'm not fighting any player character type enemies that are actually weak to Madness, and I'm pretty sure that other than Gideon and just the Garrison Guardians by Guardians Garrison, nothing is meaningfully weak to 
Oh, okay, hold on. Oh, and right, these ones have the blades that the Stormbill, Stormhawks have too. Okay, come on. I, all right, and one. Oh, you're strong. I don't like that. Really don't like that. And you got fire as well. Okay, come on, come on. Okay, and toss, and another one. There we go. Cool. Torches the corpse, for a fly pinion. I saw those wolves over there. I think there's a dog. It's got wolves, but. Hmm. I'm pretty sure that even the invaders, the NPC type invaders, aren't even weak to madness either. You can only use them on Garrison Guardians and Gideon Offnir and nobody else. Oh, 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 we got slugs. Alright. That means putting Bloodhound Spang back on. Alright, cool. Thanks. Slash and can I okay. Slug moment, slug moment, I okay, well whatever. Die, die, die. This is Nascent Butterfly and right the Thaw Frost Pulse is renew. I see Cave Moss. Just frost spike gradually causing damage, putting frost spike, vulnerability to damage increases for a certain duration. So wolves over there, for calling finger vanity. What else is through here? Hmm. Got some of them, some of them, and so I cannot use that elevator right now. Fair enough. Contraption does not move. Thanks. Go up top. I think it might loop around and go up here. Eventually, we'll be able to get the Equip Show Talon here, which inflicts Death Blight, which is another status ailment, which is does nothing for us here. Hmm. Yeah, I can see a bit of a halo tree down there, which is fun. So then we can get whatever this is and fan daggers Go over this way and around. I'm just kind of surprised at how much trouble this lions gave me. And what is... Okay, you're over there and can I... Who is... What? I, okay. One, two, there we go. Okay, that guy is throwing fire pots at me. Okay, now I see. Now I see. So, that golden rune. And, oh my, okay. Was not expecting that at all. Thanks. Maybe I should have, and can I? Oh, okay, well, alright. Thanks. And can I? Dodge, dodge. Oh my goodness, my goodness. Wait, what? Huh? How did. Is that different? That was different, wasn't it? Yeah, there are multiple of these fireballs. Lunatics! I need this. Okay. Come on. What? Huh? Okay, I. What in the. What? Okay. I need to clearly. That's a way to snipe them, maybe? I. What? Huh? Okay. This is really, really obnoxious. I'm gonna need some kind of. And. Okay, cool. I. And can I. Dodge, dodge, dodge it. Okay, cool. Thanks. One, two. There we go. And. Oh, come on, you. Come on. Where are they shooting from? Where are they. Okay, dodge. Ah. Oh, this is actually horrible. Can I. Ah. Oh, need to. And. Dodge! Oh, come on, you. Okay. Please, uh, dodge, dodge. Can I. He's using so much for this. I. Okay. One, two. And then. Some kind of sniping might have worked for this, but whatever. And. Going for a stab. I. I'm breaking this. I have to. Oh. Really? Really? It took that much to break it? It... Is it based on damage number of hits, or... What it determines... Breaking bullets is like that? Well, whatever. I have to do this for, the, for my own sake. It's interesting that maybe in theory I could make them blow up each other's bullets if I got them to aim just right, but that's that's a lot of silliness in and of itself. So let's keep on going. Try to find another side of grace, hopefully. Okay, smithing stone six. Go down here. Well, we'll see. Come on. Oh, we got a painting in here. That's fun. So I guess that was our entire reward. 
sorcerer painting. And that, that's somewhere in mountaintops. You can see the rise from there, then. Have to be... Let me think. Have to be over in... Wait. The trees and the... That's the rise, but... Rise and the bridge and... Over here, maybe? Or... I... It's gotta be the rise. Probably down here in the Stargazer's Ruins. Which is going to be, again, a pain to get to. Another time. Well, alright. Fun. Always so much fun. Fun and... Oh, wow. I did not expect that dog to... Wolf to go down so easily to... Piercing. Okay, well, we'll take it. No reason to complain, but this just puts us down where it was right before. Hmm. So what's in here? This is... It goes up. Then... Somebody gonna come around and gank me. Hmm. You know that in here there are... Various XL soldiers were kind of hard to deal with, but come on, thanks and stab and okay, die. I thanks and stab and that it's decent on it's good on smaller enemies, player characters included, but it's not good on not good on bosses who it can't stun lock or. Reliably dodge out of the way of with Donna's finesse. Hmm. It. The damage is good though. Especially when I can get the entire skill off. But getting the entire skill off is easier said than done. I, okay, and. Okay, alright, and. One, two, three. I, okay, alright, and. Oh, come on. I, okay, what? Oh my goodness. Okay, heal. Heal, and. Oh my. What? Huh? Alright, I. Okay. Huh, huh. This is certainly something. Where is my... Okay. And... Alright, and... Can I... Stab, and... Mmm... Okay. And... Dodge. We went for one more stab. That... Yeah, it's really, really good for dueling. Single enemies my size, but... With everything else, it... Quickly... Shows its weaknesses. Valfrost bolises and here is a side of grace. Here is a side of grace. That's good. We're here in this church, which is also where Castle Soul is going to be. Fun. It's actually is that even openable? Might not be. Well, I yeah, don't think. Don't worry, I never do. So how much farther up will this go? Oh, presumably the elevator might be usable around here. Cool if I could break that. That, okay, smithing stone five. That's decent, I suppose, but... That... Right, that was around where we were, right? I think. Or... No, 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 no. That's just through that chapel. I'm getting all, all kinds of turned around, but... Commander Nile should be soon. Golden Rune 9, and it's over here then. We got a wolf. Hi, wolf. And go and do your thing, and one. Oh, I. Okay, alright. Oh, okay. Hmm. In that case, I'm probably best off using maybe some kind of spell, or. Big thing is, I. Alright, I. And can I. Dodge, and can I stagger, and one, two, and dodge, okay, thanks, dodge, oh my goodness, okay, I gotta run, and I can't do that, I can't do that, can't do that, okay, uh -huh. got no healing, got no healing, let's go rest in that grace real quick, and go back to take those guys down, then, I, okay, hmm, yep, 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 Church of the Eclipse, Hmm. That painting is its own thing. 
Oh, hello. I... Are you going to stay away from me, or... Yeah, I think I can get it to leave me alone if I just keep my distance. Yeah, we're decent. Okay. I could use... Golden Vow here real quick, just to make things even simpler. No real reason not to, and also, there are a bunch of them, so... Roar would be a good option here. Oh, a large quantity of enemies. Get... Roared on. I okay, there we go. And that did not kill them. Okay, I am kind of surprised. And not in a good way. I okay, and there we go. I thanks. I oh my oh my goodness. Okay. Heal. Heal. And thank you, I dodge it. Can I one, two, three, and okay, come on. I dodge it. Dodge okay, I alright, thanks. Okay. I go ahead and die, die. Okay, there we go. So what's a reward for all this trouble in here? Anything? Frostbite is crazy as always, so I... There we... Okay, and... Really? Okay, come on, I, I'll ride it. Ah, there we go, finally dead. Let's get... Whatever's up here, if anything. The answer to that is... Was there actually just nothing here? That is... Preposterously insulting. Well, we... Oh, this is... Just a stone sword key. Okay, well... It's not nothing. It's close to nothing. Let's go down to... Storegazer's Ruins real quick and... Get that painting location, presumably. Hmm. Try some of... Uh, some of that garbage. So I think it would... Have to be down over there, right? Yeah, it's the only location that really makes sense. Titled Sorcerer. It's not far down, though, I... I want to check that location before looking it up. If it's not that location, I will just look it up. But it is far away enough that it should probably have that angle, though to be fair, the paintings are not really exact sciences. It is also interesting that the paintings seem to be more some sort of spiritual photography than actual painting, given that it says it captures the moments of the last moments before death. Okay, I one, two, and can I dodge and can I one, two, three, and yeah, just it's really good for taking on smaller enemies, but Anything that cannot be staggered. I'm pretty sure that higher new game cycles also make it harder to stagger enemies like that anyway, so... Body Helix will soon outlive its usefulness for me, so to speak. Alright, cool, and can I... That did not even damage me. That's a pleasant surprise. And I... I hope this is the right location. It very well might not be. And over here we... Do we see him? This does not look to be a place. Oh, it's... Is it right here? It is... No, it's not right here. Okay. But I... I don't really see the rise. Huh. I... Really do wonder then. It does seem like this would be the spot, but... Not everything lines up. Okay, let's just keep on lightning and you. There we go. And another one. Thanks. Toss. Toss and... Yeah, but where? Where would it... Where could it be? Sorcerer painting. Okay. Thank you. Because if it's leading to... Use that part of the rise. Maybe it's higher up. I think it's maybe a bit higher up then. It's about seeing that rise through that bridge. It could be a bit higher up. But if it's if it says sorcerer, I presume it's something to do with Stargazer's ruins. 
would make sense. But up here maybe or no? Huh. I really do wonder. Maybe it's farther away, but hmm. It's like it should be around here somewhere. All about getting that camera angle to line up. Might be on the bridge, it might be. Not over here, but it'd be funny if it was on one of those planks. I is that it? It's not it. I don't think. Just track and No, that looks to be it. Let me see. I No, that was just a random piece of ice, and I am stupid. Hmm. It might be over here. I mean it's killing that. Gasha Dokoro again. Probably. We're not connected to anything. Hmm. This is interesting. But yeah, I do want to just see if I can find it on my own merits before having to actually look it up. Hmm. Where then would it be? Go around this way. It is a bit higher. But it might just be on that bridge. It really is just where. Where though? Where are the snails? So is that skeleton coming back now? It... Yeah, it does not stay dead. Okay. Oh, as in it does not stay dead in the sense it comes back eventually, so... Thank you. I oh, what? Right. Not the right amount of hands. Here we go. Can I charge and hit and... That was really, really good damage there. Come on, come back, and can I... Another hit, and... It... I'm honestly surprised that it doesn't drop any runes. Well, whatever. Okay, there you are. Okay, you were on that bridge. So we found it, and what are we gonna get? We got... Oh, the Great Hood. And that was what Esgar Priest of Blood was using. Far larger in the head, meant to cover. Barrel Shroud of Swords. For those who discover it long last the truth they saw. Increases the intelligence and faith the detriment of HP. And surely this is the moon that young Renala gazed upon. Ah, okay, that moon. That's fun. Let's go back here then. Continue through Castle Soul. This should be a good option here. And this and equip everything in the bull goat set now. So all of these, so... Hmm. Cannot open that. At least not yet. Get some light on in here, and... Okay. Should be our way through. This will be the Eclipse Hotel. Great Sun, Frigid Sun of Soul. Surrender yourself to the Eclipse. Grant life to the soulless bones. Hmm. Eclipse Hotel. Holy and physical, death flare, storied sword, and treasure of castle soul, the Pixin equips some terrain of color, one of the legendary armaments. Soul, side of the eclipse, I an mean, eclipse and sparks a dreadful awe, preventing an onlooker from averting his gaze. Maybe the ghost was stuck looking at it. Death flare, was to a sun ablaze with Prince of Death's flames. Death ailment upon foes, bring down the armament, triggering an explosion. Are you here? I swear. Okay, and can I? There we are, we can get a nice backstab off. And can I stab? And oh my goodness, okay. Can I dodge? Can I move back in for another hit? And there we go. Fun. Okay, I did not think that guy would see me. Well, alright. And is this... Again, that one can't even be opened. For whatever reason. Hmm. What else is up here? This is around where we actually entered the area, but... What is... What is your deal? This rampart over here should be its own separate thing, but and then, of course, something dropped that we cannot even get. Amazing. Over here, I think, might be more items. Somewhere around here, we get... This should be the rampart with those funny banished knights. Okay. It's actually, in that case, put on blessing, because this is going to be pretty painful. 
This part is pretty infamous. Don't turtle again. I wonder if there's a plus one version. Probably not. Okay. So let's use that and then go for the grails. Oh, they're high, and how many more? And there we go. Cool. All right, and mm, the timing on that was cannot dodge and cannot stab, and one, two, and another quick stab, and there we go. Cool. Come on. It just he goes behind you. Cerulean Amber plus one, and now we have all of them. Amber, most precious of jewels, and aged god for first elven lord, point more jewel life energy resides inside. Okay, cool. That was interesting, I suppose, but is that other XL soldier big thing is going to be going back to that one grace real quick. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's just continue a little. Let's see if I can get if I go down here. One other XL soldier in something if we dropped in this part. Wonder if it'll activate an elevator for us or what. Oh, we got rats. Okay, fun. Okay, rat, and... Oh, goodness. One, two... Uh, oh, okay. Allow me to survive. One, two... There we go. Smithing stone seven and three of them, too. Nice. And I... Oh. Can I... Charge and... Well, we... Stance broke the rat. Hmm. Let's see what else is here. Can we get an elevator to drop down now? What is this specifically? And here is... Oh, a rune arc. Not bad. Hmm. There's an elevator in another spot. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to make it work. Hmm. Six rune arcs. Not bad. But there are going to be a couple of banished knights that spawn in with... Commander Nihil, so that'll be something to deal with. And Okay, now we can get up and over and take you down. If I hadn't done it like this, it wouldn't have been a way. I'd been a little bit unluckier. And that started... Oh, what's that? Huh? I didn't know that was there, too. So we need to go down. Look for some of that, then. Oh, but... <sighs> to get up, get to the side... I'm worried. I might have to loop around again. In spite of all this. This is the last area that's sort of a pseudo-legacy dungeon type thing. So we can just jump over here to get back up top. Okay. Sort of mini dungeon, because after this it's Halo Tree and Farm Azul, which are both true legacy dungeons. Cousin Kaled. Well, and of course, you also have the case of... Oh, okay, that was there. Huh. The case of Altus, which just gets up two legacy dungeons, and, well, arguably, if you count Farm Azul as a legacy dungeon for... Well, it also depends on whether you count Waintel. Waintel Golden and Waintel Ashen separate or the same area. But you can argue that Farm Azul is a legacy dungeon for... Mountaintops, especially since... Oh. Farm Azul shows up on the map when you get Mountaintops East, but... Hmm. I... Some other dudes in here. That's... Oh, Elven Orcs, I think. Let's see. And there we go. Not Elven Orcs, but just some kind of, That's an Elven Orc. No, I, okay, come on. Alright. So. Oh my Oh my goodness. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. Come on. Come on. That was vile. Okay, cool. Alright. Can I... Hmm. I need to kill these guys then. And can I... One. Two. Uh, I need... Bloodhound Spank for this then. Come on. Die. Die. And die. Hmm. Doesn't that much help. The start of this run is... I can't tolerate that. Well, it's uh, probably... It's gonna be another shortcut to the boss that will unlock shortly, but still. Big thing is, I need to put away... 
some of these weapons so I can switch between them faster. Club can go, Ritual Spear can go, Equip Tail can go. But maybe I'd, I would have maybe liked to show off the Death Flare, or uh, whatever. Big things that you can use. Oh. They patched it, at least for the torch, but there was a torch and also a some throwing weapons that you could apply. Death War 2. And can I alright, cool, and okay, thanks. Oh, but I'm what is my Oh right, I've got too many. He switches back to Lionel Gauntlets, I'm not at heavy load. Hmm. There's somebody or something. Worried and where? Oh, it's one of those birds. Okay. Cool. Spinstone 6, and any more, any more? I thought you. Okay. Cool. Sorry, I suppose. Hmm. Should. Right, there's the elevator, and there is. Commander. Niles. Boss Fog. This is. Presumably just a way down in case you don't want to use teleports, maybe. But it isn't really all that much of a shortcut at this point. Still have to go past those dogs and maybe birds, but yeah, whatever. So Bloody Helix is going to be what we use here. That is unquestionable. But, let's put on Blessing with the Urge real quick. So it is before a fight. Thank you. And then, Physic, Physic Flask. Put this back on. Get all our buffs up. Golden Vav, when grant me. Then Grail should do it. So we'll just run in and... He'll do your thing, summon your... Summon your men and we'll just... Blast a good deal of them. Thank you, thanks. I, all right. I, oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, I. All right. Not. Not good. Not good. I. Oh my lord. Lord. Okay. Thanks. All right. And. Mm, once we get rid of you, we should be okay. And. All right. I, okay. Come on. I, okay. Die. Die. And there we go. Can I? Hmm. Mm, die. There we are. So in that case, I, die. Okay. I, mm, and. What are you gonna do? I. Okay. Cool. And dodge. Okay. Mm, I dodge and can I move in it. Crush you or what? Do okay. Hmm. This is tough. I okay. Dodge. Dodge. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Come on. Okay. Ah. One, two, three, four, and move back and dodge in for another sand break. There we go. And let's just crit. Thank you. I. Oh well. All right. I did not expect that to be. As bad as it- WHAT?! Okay. Huh. Profoundly strange. I'm just surprised I wasn't actually able to get Stance Break Critical off, though to be fair, I should probably have just used Dennis Finesse there. Okay. Huh. That was a little unexpected. I really should just be using. I. Uh, much would I. I could get God's Constitutor to plus 21, and. Quite frankly, for a big enemy like that guy, I should just be using. Piercing Thing instead. Yeah. It'll take some runes. But, hmm, my goodness, go into our chest, take out Godskin Stitcher, should be better, to an extent, it, it's hard sometimes, Godskin Stitcher, Heavy Thrusting Sword, and it's gonna be slightly better than the Epe, actually, so... What I could do, I suppose, is go in, pick up the runes, quit out real quick to get them back. It, mm, 
Go with that elevator now, which is nice. It might be longer, but it should also be completely free of enemies. Maybe. Alright. Big thing is, is that I don't think that having heavy load actually meaningfully decreases your running speed, running distance, jump distance, all that much. It's more convenient that way. Here we are, we have our free elevator ride. Up over there and got impaling thrust on there, but yeah, we probably won't. Piercing Fang will do a bit more damage, completely bypass guard, with the downside of being slightly slower. Deals a bit more stance damage too though, which might make the difference for some important breakpoints. We'll see. Nice thing is that it's got a similar moveset to Body Helix, which means that it all of its attacks are pokes. Squid Epa had a standard damage slash that sucked, frankly. Okay, cool. That'll put us outside and we can use that to upgrade this thing. Should be good. But... Let's just see what is the best for damage. It might actually be a cult. But it shouldn't change with... Upgrading should not change, which infusion is best. Presumably, but... Let's put... Thing from the Nagakiba on there. It is... Right, because I actually need to take... Take it off the Nagakiba first. Let's just see what weapons currently have. Ashes of War equipped, and take those Ashes of War off. Healing Thrust, Piercing Fang, then, right, Gravitas is on that, right, okay, and then, Charge Forth, Spinning Strikes, right, because that was on, and we got from Edgar Revenger, anything on here, or, did not mean to do that, keep that short bow, okay, cool, so let's, Take all those Ashes of War off those weapons. Yeah, yeah. Sacred Order can stay. We will undo the enhancement to reclaim our stuff. Thank you. And, no, that'll stay for now, but put most of these away. Yeah. Yeah, those for the ashes. You all fall down. So now your cube is fun, but I don't really need it. What? What's going on? Hmm. So I'm gonna try out what happened. Let's put on Piercing Fang. It's a little bit slower and a little bit more cost, but it's better and heavy, not as good. Quality is Actually, less damage here right now, but it, yeah. Maybe infusion might change that. That's actually worse. Huh. In that case, I... First, let's use a rune arc and see if that makes any difference. Let's see how this... And this, actually, it's not that much slower anyway. Huh. Oh, no, because I didn't put... The infusion on it, that's what looked like Impaling Thrust, because it was Impaling Thrust. So let's put on Impaling Thrust. And Piercing Thing, Piercing Thing, and it's not as good. This is... Hmm. Yeah, we'll see what upgrading it actually changes. Then, yeah, it is a little bit slower, but damage should be better. I think it goes a little farther, too. Let's go and... Oh! Oh! So you got impaled by a rock? I I can't believe you got hit by stealth rocks in real life. It's actually horrible. Mm, we need... One, two, three, and then eight, four. Oh, wow. 
So to just slice you open? What? Oh. Oh. So are, are you gonna go see a doctor for that? Presumably? That is... It's actually ridiculous. That... Yeah. Reasons I don't go outside. Entry one. I, I hope you get well soon. That is really, really scary. Okay. But you're gonna need stitches, right? That's frightening. Let's take... Let's level this thing up. Which increases scaling. Oh, well, okay. But if it... If it contacted bone... That... Wait, then... What do you mean by bone, then? If it wasn't contacting... If it didn't cut your skin... What do you mean by bone? Okay. So, now... I want to see what this is going to be like. Okay, she did not leave her weapon behind. Interesting. Let's just go over and test out. See what has the best. Fusion now. Now we have leveled this thing. And... It is a bit slower. Hmm. Let's just play around with this and... How is... Undo Enhancement is... Not that good then. Gain 56 in base power, but lose more than that in. Quality's what I got. Heavy Keen is not that good. Heavy is... Also not that good. What would a cult be? Cult is not as good either. So quality is going to be my best option here. Okay. It's good. Oh, oh, so you just... So a bone bruise, maybe. Okay. So basically, you, you hit the rock on the bony part of your butt. Okay. On the tailbone. Okay. That, for a second, I thought you had just gotten a really bad gash or something. I was just thinking, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is actually very similar damage. I, I worry about you. It, if you got a gash, then you hopefully would not be here right now. Hopefully you would be in the hospital getting it stitched up. Instead of being here having me listen to you talk about your gash. It... Maybe you should just stay inside. Maybe. It... If it's gonna be like this. Okay, well... Hopefully you have a better weapon now. For this fight, at least. Here, we could get some lightning negation, actually. Eh, we ball. We ball. Blood Flame Blade and... For the Grails. Oh. Ouch. So, let's put down Grails Roar and take these. Right, so I did not intend to do that. Not like that, not like that. Wait, what? I... Oh my goodness. I, okay. Come on, you, come on. He's using the wrong thing entirely. Okay, come on. What? Huh? Okay, I... Alright, I... Oh, please, please, I, Okay. Can I... Okay, good damage on that end. Where is the other one? The other one is... Okay, cool. And stab, and another. Oh my goodness. Okay, that... Hmm. You got a good poise there, but... It's not everything I... Okay. Come on, come on. And flame Grammy. Flame Grammy probably grails, or... Uh, come on. Now you're... Got that up. And how far are you gonna... Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. Cool. Hmm. It... Why did... I... I cannot imagine you had to do that. I... You don't need to sacrifice so much all the time. Thanks. And can I... 
move in it. Okay. I, mm, maybe piercing thing isn't all that good here. Maybe. Okay. Dodge and get up. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Thanks. Get up. Okay. Just. Oh, please. This guy is actually ludicrous. Can I stab it? Another. Thanks. And another. Please. Okay. What? In oh, come on. I okay. All right. And please. Uh okay. Heal. Heal. Come on, you. I all right. I move in it. Ah. Uh, I need. I need the other impaling thrust then. This is just not fast enough. Thanks. And can I. Okay. Hmm. I dodge. Can I around it. Really? Why are you so hard to stance break up? Okay. Okay, there we go. Thank you. I... He is an interesting guy. But I am... Having... Trouble with him. Hmm. Okay, well, I... Alright. Just... Don't, don't die, okay? Dodge. Can I... Cool attack. At one. Okay, thanks. I... One more should do it. I okay. Really please. Okay. There we go. Uh, veterans prosthesis. It's painful. Okay. It Wait, huh? Why is my controller not huh? Second. Troar was goofing. It started shaking and not stopping, so I had to plug it back in. And is it? What is up with this stupid controller? I swear. Give me a second. Uh, uh, not this. Come on, connect to the stupid computer. Plug in and okay. There we go. Okay. So we made that work. I heard about it. There are, there are a lot of people arguing about whether Deku ended up with Ochako or not, based on the fact, which was apparently a mistranslation of a week, that they didn't see each other all that often. Either way, oh my goodness. Okay, I need to put regular impaling thrusts on this thing. This is actually just sad. A quality impaling thrust. It, uh, uh, uh. Let's try this prosthesis. Weighted prosthetic leg and wreath with the power of lightning instead attached to the fist. Commander Nile, better at Castle Soul. Offer this prosthesis in exchange for the lives of defeated knights, held prisoner. Went on to lead these men as an army of no nation. Storm kick, thrust on the ground, bring the storm, strong attack, lightning infused, jumping attack. And what's interesting is that the original, the translation, original Japanese, they said offer this leg. Should the translation inter interpret is offer this prosthesis, but it's more he chopped off his own leg as an offering to have those men spared, which is a lot more interesting. And somehow it gives us two of these. Interesting. Okay. Huh. I just see. And try this skill, and we got that storm, and it's a fun idea. It gives you these two hook hands, basically. It's got slash and pierce on it. Hmm. But I saw a lot of people arguing, and one big thing is that they kept asking, basically, you know, Ochako's mask, who it was based on. She had a little collar, which people were saying, oh, that looks like Deku's outfit, and other people saying, probably in part just trying to rile people up, saying, oh, that's someone else's outfit, and clearly Deku ended up a nobody working a nine to five, and even his high school girlfriend left him from some other guy who had more powers than him, which was just. I mean, they were they were definitely taking taking the piss, but still. Let's put that prosthesis away. Put that in the chest. Yeah. Don't really need that. Don't really need lightning damage all that much. So this will give us the other half of the Halo Tree Medallion. Fair. I I never read it, so... This is all stuff through multiple layers of mediation. And that's just... It's just so much faster than 
Piercing Fang. Cost less. And the speed is really important here. I wonder what the fight would have been like if I just used Impaling Thrust as normal. The big thing is that Impaling Thrust deals slightly more. I mean, Piercing Fang de deals slightly more stance damage. 33 versus 36, which is not all that much of a difference. And also, just Piercing Fang is takes about twice as long. I... In practice, it became almost unusable, which is crazy, honestly. And down here, or... Hmm. Castle Soul Rooftop. This will let me go to Consecrated Snowfield if and when I feel like it. Should be later. Hail Tree Secret Medallion left, and that... Lord Mikola, forgive me. Sun has not been swallowed. Our prayers were lacking. Comrade remains soulless. Set my eyes upon it now, your divine Halo Tree. Hmm. So they could not create an eclipse, which presumably is part of getting Godwin alive, quote unquote. Hidden path, split medallion, secret medallion, God the Bear, the land of Nicholas Halo Tree. Wonder if. Oh, Gideon will have anything to say about that now. Maybe. Hello, Sir Gideon. Anything to say now that we got both hands in the down? Back on her feet. But her foster father still like to thank you. Still like to thank you. Sorry. But the time you had to wait. Hate that guy. They're reunited. Other secret medallion. We found the Albanoric woman. I'm glad to see my council has borne fruit. But the honor of the deed is yours Sure. I I don't care about MHA spoilers. Nicholas Haley Tree. Oh well, he is not. Hmm. Okay, the demigods for more. Mikko at the unalloyed. The swordswoman, Winter Princess Ronnie, Ward of Blood, Mo, Great Rune, three remaining. Found Mo already. No known way to me. Pull the work together. All right. So in that case, we'll keep going. So now, the only thing really left would be stuff around this peak. Flame Peak is over here with the boss. There's another dungeon. Really? That sounds a bit preposterous to me. I wonder what you might be referring to. Let's put on Crucible Greaves and it's Star Scourge to weird this even wield this thing. Let's rest and switch out our stuff. Hmm. Ashes of War and then just Lion's Claw and then a Colt should be my best option. Oh, oh, you mean it like that. Okay. Well, it... Then, simp is literally... It is only ever a negative term. There, There is no positive context for it. It is only ever a negative. What he, what he is is a good friend. Okay. And it's 75, and... Still doing the most damage with... A cult, okay. Interesting. So, Borealis should show up here shortly so we can buff up it. No! Why would I do that? Why would I ever do that? With the example you give. Okay. Let's put on Star Scourge again and. Pretty soon, in theory, Borealis should show up. Well, we're gonna compromise with me, and I'll try to compromise with you. So, Borealis should be here relatively soon. If that's there, it should be a place. Come on, dragon. Come on, Borealis. I think I hear it. Where are you coming from? And I... There you are! Okay, cool. 
Right over that way then. Hello, hello, I. Come on, come on, and there we go. We can hit. There we are, nice. And can I mm, take that and just see how well I can use the lion's claw on you? I. Mm, can I. I. Alright, alright. Mm, annoying. Can I hit the head? I, oh, I need to hit other parts of the body then, presumably. I, not, okay, nice. Oh, the damage is really, really good there. And just. Mm, oh, thanks. No, no thanks. I let's just put on flame Grammy one more time. Should be good. I and a hard one too. Well, not really a hard one, but the big thing is that he's specifically weak to strike damage. Most rangs are not. Okay, cool. And can I gotta try to knock you down, knock your poise down, and can I? Well, I okay. Ah, all right. Thanks. How soon is your poise going to? Re Hover I, come on, come on, and can I get the leg or one and another can hit and ah uh, okay one more one more and can I there we go we got you knocked down and one more hit to the head should do it I can oh my goodness what in the what in the goddamn please please let me what I couldn't even get the this is so stupid I what 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 I okay. What do you mean by bone? What do you mean by bonus? Okay. I. That went really badly, honestly. I want to try that again. Okay. <sighs> I want to finish it off with the big hammer hit to the head. The nice thing is that there was that ice ride hatchet that I got earlier. That was described as a gift from Castle Soul. We got it near Karia Manor. Gift from Castle Soul from the north in the north. Known as Freezing Fog, said to be a skill of a dragon, and when you go over here you meet Well, they're softer. This one is entirely frozen through. They have flesh, and this one is basically all ice. Okay. Okay. Couldn't you say the same about humans, then? To be fair, you hate humans. Okay. And... Thank you, Golden Vow, and... Should be a location around here. Blizzard at summons is gonna... Be something I gotta put up with. Come on, get over here. Get over here. Should be around this way, and there we are. Thank you. Thank you, Borealis. I will do it like this then. And can I? Thanks. I, wait, what? There we go. Discussing? Okay. Disgusting. And we can do it like that. So can I actually hit the... I might not be able to hit the head? There we... Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, well, we have the wrong... Please, please was annoying and can I hit the oh I can't hit the head or if I do I have the wrong amount of stuff equipped and, oh my goodness Wait, how am I constantly have the wrong what in the hell what the hell the big thing is that I just why was I constantly losing was it the horse that was forcing me to hold it in the wrong number of hands I'm just Confused. I should have taken that initial kill. Didn't need to be silly about it. Whatever. It. We, we have rune arcs. Oh, but that's right, because I forgot to equip. Change out the talisman. This is why things are so annoying here. To change out my talisman. So I can actually even use this thing. Right, right, that was the problem. That was the problem all along. Should be over here, and... Right. It... It's very, very silly. Say that much. There you are, okay. You just kind of manifest. And can I? It's like that, and... Oh, right, because it's in... Multiple hands. I hate this goddamn game. Okay. Let's ride in, and... 
Please, please. What the? What the? What the hell? What the hell? It's bullshit. Can't even see that goddamn thing. I probably be better off with spell drake for this. The breath is the bigger problem here. I just the way that two-handing on horseback and the way that this all works is aggravating. Oh right, because I need to is this again too. Stupid. Alright, alright. No more or less where I need to go, but Okay. Use this. Honestly, I could be using Barrier of Gold for this instead of Flame Brand Me. It's probably a better idea, honestly. Whatever, we'll try this stupid thing one more time and hope that it works better. It just... Handedness. The fact that it lets you block with the seal when there's literally no reason to ever do that is ridiculous. I, oh my goodness, I... What, what the, okay, welcome back. Good to have you here. Okay, come on, you. Okay. Right, I needed flask, flask. I forgot to use the physic flask. Okay. So where is my... My runes are here. Come on, come on. Okay, alright. Thanks, alright. Heal. Then we... Ah, oh, come on. I hate you so much. And can I... What? Huh? What? That doesn't make any sense. It... Why do they have to make a voice message then? I actually hate this game. Well, I... This is actually a stupid, crappy spell. It We need to focus on things that give me more defense. I... I really don't understand either. Yours is... Confuses me. Uh, it this one it's been sucky which one the the rabbit secular one let's see and can use grail that barrier should help it's a body buff Okay, so, around here should be... Hello, hello then. Alright. Let's use this and can I... Thanks and can I... Wait, what? Huh? Huh? Okay. Thanks. Thanks and... Is that it? You can't really afford to do anything that requires actual execution barrier, really. Flying boy? Wait, what? What flying boy? I, and can I, wait, what? Huh? Oh, Kid Icarus. It, uh, okay. It, well, the, the new Kirby game, Kirby, any Kirby game other than the new one has no execution barrier. It's not supposed to have an execution barrier. Okay. It's just, how did you get all that nerve damage in the first place? Well, if it's, is it damage or just pain? Okay. This damage would imply an injury. Okay. Thanks. Well, it... The big thing is that it limits what you can do. Okay, well, alright. Good thing we have some defense, but... Just die, die. Finally, stupid, stupid... Ah, infuriating. Okay. Got a dragon heart and new draconic power available at the Cathedral of Dragon Communion. Let's just go and buy Borealis's Fog then. It. The big thing is, is that Forgotten Land 
as much as I hate to say it, might kind of be above your pay grade then. Well, depending on the difficulty mode. Borealis is Mist, Superior Incantation, Power of Borealis, the Freezing Fog, Spew Icy Breath from above, Sensoration, can be cast while jumping. Once towards the mountain tops long ago, until they were defeated by the Fire Giants and chased from the peak. It... What, what kind of injury? Hmm. There we go, we ate another dragon heart. So the last one should be, in the base game, should be... Theodoric's Magma. Yeah... And then there's also going to be Ghost Flame Breath in the DLC, but that's its own thing. That was pretty aggravating, I will say. The big thing now is that now I need to... Well, I guess I'm actually running to issues with having not enough spell slots. Well, actually what I could do is just... Well, I also don't even have good protective buffs other than barrier of gold right now mm. I guess I can put flame Grammy back on but I need to focus on defensive options actually getting to the point where I need to do that oh huh now that's unpleasant it I think you deserve a break. Now I've got two rune arcs left. Did you just slip and fall on some stairs and basically break your arm? It. Oh, 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 so it's. Oh, ouch. Get it removed or something. Yes, yes. Mm. It was a joke, by the way. I don't think you could remove that. Hmm. Hmm. Level up and get a bit more equipable. That's not bad. Robustness and can I now? Yep, I can have this equipped now with. Have bull goat equipped now. Along with this, but it, it does look kind of silly though. Well, whatever. Silly said anyway. So I suppose we can keep moving now. Good old freezing lake. Probably work around the edge of it. Then work around the edge and then explore in the middle. That would be a decent way to ensure we see everything in. Ah, oh, spirit jellyfish. Hello. Thank you. Good enough damage. And. Mm. Your thumb got stuck in your own head? Oh my goodness. That. That's horrible. It... Is the world trying to kill you? It might be. Okay, well... These are the first jellyfish I've seen that actually try to stay floating. One... Two... Okay. <clears throat> How much more? Oh, we got another. For yourself, maybe. Presumably not for other people. It... You know, I did Beto's Hangout a couple days ago. And that was basically her entire backstory. Okay. So you're in good company, maybe. Here we can... Okay, we can find another dungeon. And this is going to be... 
Ah, oh, Spirit Color Cave. Interesting. Let's touch that grace. Part of it, yeah. It, at least in that hangout. Okay. Hmm. It's having a general spell loadout for the general use. But having to switch out defensive buffs is a little more annoying. Hmm. Okay, so you're no longer denying people's allegations of you being Asian then. So does that so you're so you're Chinese now? How is that? One oh don't have a use of that. Let's take that up. What do you mean? Oh oh okay. Because the world is always trying to kill you. Hmm. Oh, the, the dawn greaves. Slightly better. That sounds Italian. Well, yeah, but your arm that's because the world is constantly trying to kill you. That that's true in the first place. I there we go. Thank you. One two when I went to Italy, I did remember seeing very conspicuously how a lot of... All the tourist signs were in Italian, English, and Chinese specifically. What did you get from your dad? Being Chinese? There you are, okay. Hello. And can I... One. And can I... Two, and can I... Oh my goodness, I... Okay, all right, and can I... What? Okay, thank you, I... Ugh, don't kill me. Oh, please, I, all right. Come on, come on, I, Okay. I need two, I need two. Please, please. I... Death is not a being that can have any kind of intentionality to it. It's a phenomenon. Okay, there we are, and can I... There we go, cool. Hmm. It's... it's... Pay me. Pay me and we'll stop being boring. I need incentives. But as I was saying... Uh, well, you can, you can make an argument. There are multiple arguments you can make. On one hand, you could say that you're... Soul Eater is not real life. I know you wish it was, but it's not. Okay. Should activate maybe Grace over here? Hmm. Come on. Come on. But as I was saying... As I was saying... You could argue that you're really unlucky because near-death experiences keep happening to you. But you could also argue that you're actually very lucky because you keep on surviving them. It, it's a matter of personal, personal interpretation and taste. It's all about framing. We should get, yep, first church of America, which means... Does she have a bunch of near-death experiences too? Oh, but pfft, I'm stupid. I forgot. I should have. I should have used pestilence on that dragon anyway. For pfft, I'm stupid. Pestilence should have. Well, actually, I, I want to use the hammer anyway because it's weakest to strike damage. That's fine. I didn't lose that much. Okay. Even still, though, this is Smithing Stone Seven. Three of them. Okay. But it's just... Why is she the lucky one and not you, then? Yeah, don't tell me that you actually did die. It... Why does... Does the entire world just want you all dead or something? That's... Kind of scary. Hmm. Let's 
keep on going. Oh, really? That? That's that's crazy. I, let's chug this and do some of this then. I can't believe there are multiple of these. Crayfish, I, okay, and there we go, and can I take you out? And it, if you have permanent nerve damage that prevents you from even playing basic video games, I, I think you have reason to complain. Hmm. It, if you can't even work or play, because your body just won't let you, I think you have reason to complain. Well, then kill them. Just beat them with clubs. Hurt them physically and emotionally. That, okay. How many? One, and can I? Two, and nice, the trade was good, and we can go for the final hit. Thank you, cool. Okay. It... If you got a literal diagnosis from a doctor, you could you can say that. It's a thing you can talk about. If you literally got a diagnosis, it... You can't let... You can't let stupid people control your life. Just... I would rather you engage in hilarious, hilarious. It doesn't. It really doesn't. It. Stop accepting defeat before the battle's even happened. You owe it to yourself. Alright, and probably actually. One tap, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, there we go. Well, then don't feel like you have to make make yourself small because other people don't immediately believe you. It, well, you don't need to. You shouldn't. You have nothing to apologize for except the cruelty you do to yourself by not standing up for yourself. Oh, there was another one. Okay. And another lightning bolt. Okay. It... Do you care more about stupid people who don't take you seriously or your own physical health problems? If you can tell me honestly, without any shred of reservation, that you would prefer to suffer in silence so that strangers don't give you glares, then go ahead and live your life that way. But that's a very, very sad way to live. It, well, you should. You should care about your own literal pain and suffering. It... Then what? <sighs> this should be seppuku. It's gonna be maybe useful for some. It's a truck blood loss, so can I? There we go, and yep, we got seppuku. Proven technique used by swordsmen from the land of reeds. Punch blood in your stomach, stain with blood, increases increase attack power, improves the ability to inflict blood loss. Swords and thrusting poems, small colossal weapons accepted, because the colossal weapon would be bigger than your torso. Can't really stab yourself with something bigger than your torso. Okay. Small and colossal, though. I should be surprised that small doesn't work. Huh. I let's just kill these remaining jellyfish just for fun. Well, that, that did do enough damage. So even if it turned red, it didn't actually see me, huh? Hmm. Well, all right, we can defeat the remaining. Jellyfish just for posterity. It'd be funny if there was a big jellyfish boss that showed up if you killed all the jellyfish in here. There was a sort of a 2D D maker. More of a fan game than a D make, I suppose. The original Metroid Prime in 2D. 
for PC that I played some years back, and it had a secret boss that showed up that was just a souped-up version of some of the sort of Goomba-level enemies in the game, which was very amusing to me. Alright, we can kill more jellyfish. I... It's interesting that you can farm glove warts from them if you feel so inclined, but I don't use spirit ashes, so... It... I think... If you want to say that, you are free to say that, but... You don't need to make light of your own problems. When your problems are still far in excess of what any person should have to put up with. Such as? What in particular do you think you'd be looking for? And, yep, fully charged. Lightning Spear will take them down easy. Oh, we got a few more. Yeah, but that Spirit Caller's Cave is what interests me. It is kind of crazy how many Rune Arbs just blew through today. That is not good. And, we charge. There we go. It... If you're fine putting up with it, I respect that. But you should not ever feel pressured to minimize your own problems at the behest of somebody else. Oh, okay. Cancer? Fair. It? Oh. It? Are any of them skin cancers? Because honestly, it makes me wonder how much I try. Frankly, I... There's some selfishness in that, too. If you stand up for yourself, the less I have to hear about you not standing up for yourself. Interesting. That's actually surprising to me. It... These guys might respond. Maybe. What? That was a joke. See what? And you tell me to not take everything literally, I swear. It... Like I said, you, you literally prefer me being mean to you than nice. That was a joke. Come on, let's... Keep on moving. Spirit Caller's Cave should... Well, it... <sighs> okay. This is what I put up with on a daily basis. So I think that Spirit Caller's Cave should be... Kill all those jellyfish now, so... Those crayfish over there are crazy, too. But it is nice that I can bypass that if you go over the invisible bridge to Heretical Rise. Not really. I was making a storage system. If you want to see more, you can watch the bot. It's going to be on YouTube shortly. So I should put in Lightning Blade. Oh, right, I can increase the amount replenished. Okay, let's put in... The Lightning Blade, Electrify Armament. Electrify the Armaments. Right, it was right here behind those other Dragon Cult incantations. Got our light, and let's just see. Okay. Ah, be wary of hole. Interesting. Okay, and I cannot teleport in here, so I'm moving. I know that I think there's an invisible moisture vault somewhere in here, and I... Ah, uh, okay, so it's all spirit collar snails, so one, one, and that. Yep, you kill the snail, and it gets rid of the spirit enemies. Arterial leaf, five arterial leaves. Okay. So then I went down that hole... Wonder what would happen. Hmm. Is it gonna loop around over here? Cause of that tree trunk or Oh nice! 
As in physical, or did you hack it in? This is necessary item ahead. No trap ahead. What is this then? Golden rune. Rune arc. There we go. And a hero's rune. Finally. Okay. I have on an equipment. Okay, we got physical back. Main thing is killing that snail as quickly as possible is going to be what I need to do. Let's keep on moving. And then... A pirate? I suppose. So what would happen if I went down that hole? This is... We got more snails then, but... Get down here. Okay, I could jump up that. Piracy? And, okay, we got... Oh, we got Inaba, guys. Inaba Disciples. Okay, and... Oh, okay. I... Alright, and now they're gone. Uh, Inaba, Disciple of Okina. Name refers to rabbits. Grave Glovewort, thank you. Freezing Grace. I can detect sarcasm when I hear it. Or when I read it. Hmm. I wonder if this is going to lead back to where that hole is. Can I... Thank you, and that wolf's gone. This is an interesting cave. Grave Glovewort, and... I think there might have been a wizard wall in here, and a lyra head. Wait, huh? So, oh, the ledge, the ledge before. Okay. Well, it... It's the cheapest way. On the cheap or on the free. That's what my dad liked to say when he was younger. Well, younger is more like eight, ten months ago, the last time I heard that. And he was talking about... He wasn't just talking about stealing, he was talking about dumpster diving for food. Which is apparently called freeganism. Don't ask me. So... Okay. Have fun. It... You should not have let people delay your... Delay your medication? You... You... It does not matter what is going on. Y you need to prioritize that. Please. So is this... Okay, this just skips that part of the dungeon. Okay. Interesting. Well, it just... Prioritize your own health. If you die, you can't take care of anybody. Oh, that... Okay, that was... That was what was going on. I thought for a second that it was because... Of other people. Where are the snails? Okay, okay. Just... Please, please, don't... There we go, and how many of those are gonna die now? Not all of them, so... Presumably there are more snails somewhere. At least one more snail. Oh my goodness, what, what the... Okay, come on. Heal and... Can I just... Oh, what? We got grabbed by the snail. Come on, you... What? Please, I... Okay. Roll, roll, and... Come on, I... What? And heal, heal. I need that, and... Please, just... Snail, snail, I... Oh, come on, I... All right, and... Where's the snail? Where's the snail? I... One... Two and there we go. Then they're gone. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Just if you want me to stop calling you a doormat, stop being a doormat. So we got their armor. Yeah, it was it's very rare too. White well, breed, special banded iron plates, Inaba had disciples, the great swordsman Okina, Rabbit, and Old Man. Pursued not only the master of Bandan, proper dance one honorably through hard fought combat. Might read as seek death, and for the Inaba, I desire nothing more than to die by the sword. Huh. Alright. So we can go and check. A bit closer to the start, then. Any more items in here, or... It's cool getting that armor, though. But it... We have enough equip that I can focus on wearing heavy stuff a lot of the time. Which is nice. Hmm... Anything else over here, or... I know, but part of support is tough love and holding you accountable. If I didn't give you a little push, you wouldn't feel the pressure. Illusory walls, that. Anything in spirit. Nothing in spirit. Color cave. If it works, literally whatever works. That we can get. Bull goat and other bull goat. Let's put on our 
Two fingers arrow him to cast her health buff. In the interest of surviving. Now to be fair, actually having some kind of other drag talisman might work better there. Maybe. Okay. Yeah, it. Yeah, just please take care of yourself. And oh, oh, this is interesting. This is, it's queerly the snail. It's the snail. I, oh my goodness. Okay, I, all right. Feeding one by one. Okay, well, all right. Huh. This is not quite what I expected. Okay. Huh. Okay, and dodge. So I can just fight this guy normally then. And I, oh, what? Okay. Thanks, and can I dodge and not hit? Thanks. It actually was not quite a snail. Apparently. And can I... One and... Mmm. Okay. One more, one more. And can I... Thanks. Move back in for a... Okay, alright. Weird. Okay. Slash and... Oh my goodness. Okay. Cool. And can I... Move back in to take you out. And is the snail coming? The snail should be coming, right? Let's get Golden Vow back up. And then Flame Grammy. Now this is new to me. Huh. Okay. I dodge and can I roar? Oh, we get some healing from message appraisal. Fun. I okay. Oh, please. You're, okay. I should have had sleep in here, but I, this is not the time. Okay. Dodge and can I, Okay. Thanks and can I, Oh my goodness. Okay. Take and can I move back in for another hit and can I noble? Okay. Thanks. I, all right. And can I? So, okay, cool. I, that, oh my goodness. Okay, fun. Not really fun. I, okay. At least their damage is not all that high. One and... Oh, please. Uh, all right. One and... Two. There we go. So, how much more? Put our buffs back on. and Golden Vow and... Ah, oh, there's the snail. Okay, cool. So, hi. One, two. I thought it would summon Crucible Knights. Well, whatever. That was a very amusing boss. Okay. Thoughts in Swan Cloth and Black Flame Ritual. Huh. Interesting cave. And that circle of Black Flame Pillars around Caster, Superior Black Flame Incantation, Charge increases size of the circle. Well, my queen, what the Apostles said that she was an Empyrean chosen by the fingers. Attacks, double skin sewn together, Sacred Cloth, successive attacks to HP. Cradles, newborn Apostles swallowed in this cloth, grow to become the death of the gods. Okay. Hmm. So in that case, we should go back to that church. And work our way around here. And Vike is over that way. And that's Guardian's Garrison, too. So then over here, this is where, of course, Okina will invade. Hmm. It. This is an interesting place. That's for sure. I wonder if Melon will have anything to say here. Yes, she does. Spoken Echoes. Linger here. Spoken Echoes of Queen Marika. Linger here as well. Nice. Shall I share them with you? Sure. In Marika's own words. Hark, brave warriors. Hark, my Lord Godfrey. We commend your deeds. Guidance hath delivered you through each ordeal. To the place ye stand. Put the giants to the sword and confine the flame atop the mount. Let a new epoch begin. An epoch glistening with life. Brandish the Elden Ring for the age of the Erd Tree. Hmm. Alright. Got that. And also, there was, right before I forget, I should go to Lindell's throne room. Queen's bedchamber, we got some dog, which will only come after more got. More additional lore dialogue. Got the America Radagon stuff. There we go, cool. Couldn't do that before, had to wait till after. Okay. Let us be shattered, both mine other self. 
What is interesting is that we have some ambiguity about whether Radagon and Merica were always two sides of the same coin, so to speak, or whether they ever had an independent existence. Because it's suitably vague. Alright, so we'll work our way up around here. That ever jail with a vike in it could be fun to try to deal with. Question is, what kind of dragon cult incantations I could use? Lightning Spear would be my best option, but that would take a lot to use. That would also take a lot to use. Hmm. Trifine, Dragon Bolt, Blessing. Hmm. Oh, all right. Yeah, I just was not expecting. I was expecting, expecting another chase around, like in Roads and Catacombs, where the snail would summon a bunch of enemies and I would have to kill the snail while avoiding the enemies. But that one was just fighting fighting enemies somewhat normally that got summoned. It was a surprise to me. Come on. And surprisingly strong for dogs. But there is just jump point that I don't really need and hmm, how else? Golden Ruin and oh there you are. Okay, cool. Thanks. Take you down and there we go. We got Flashbacks killed everything in the area, and that group of coffins was small, but I suppose it makes sense, because there aren't going to be a lot of people up here to bury, and time that wrong. Do you find it interesting how jump attacks can be timed too early, like this? Because it's not just a matter of, oh, uh, plunging at a certain time. Hello, dogs. Thanks. And can I... There we go. And, oh my goodness. Okay, alright. Can I... That took way too long to make work. And... Mm, can I... Heal again? I... Dodge. And can I... Charge that up. And another... There we go. Cool. Dad. I... It would not have cost me anything to use Golden Val there. And it would have made me a bit safer, so... Let's go prioritize safety. Sure. I just... The sheer power of those dogs for a very little reason will never not be funny to me. Hmm. Come on. There we go. And kill. Thanks. Let's go over and go up to that ever jail. Should be good. Thank you, and this is where Vike is going to be. Can take him down. Lord Contenders Ever Jail. Let's enter it. He'll use his specific Dragon Bolt, so. Let's use this for just defenses. And then. Well, actually, we could use Blessing Their Urge Tree. Honestly, two fingers would be to have here for the additional damage, so. There we are, and Golden Vow. Then we can Grails were on Wake Up and then use Lightning. Hello, Vike. Round Table Knight Vike. And we gotcha. Go and use your Dragon Bolt Blessing. Or not, I, okay. Ooh. And there we go, which means Lightning Damn Negation has gone down pretty significantly. And just keep on tossing lightning at you until you stop. And no more of that. Okay. So we need one more bit and then we can hmm, toss again. And, oh, like, not not like that. I, okay, there we go. And now you're done. Oh, that was very simple. Flex Dragon Bolt, Fingerprint Helm, Fingerprint Armor, Gauntlets and Greaves. Fun. Okay. That's over. Hmm. Guess I could work my way down to the area around that rise, just to see what's there. But then we have Road of River by the Garrison, and then the few remaining things on this part of the mountaintop. Hmm. Okay. 
Cure for crit set. Iron Helm, Singed, and Blistered Black Fingers. Vike, not at the round table hold. No other Tarnished was closer to the throne of the Olden Warden than Vike without announcement. Vike traveled far below the capital, was scorched by the Flame of Frenzy. Did he make his choice or his maiden, or did some other force allure him with suggestion? Red White need to bolster both the caster's body, their armament held in the right hand, and chance with the lightning defending attacks increases maximum equipment load. Lightning demonstration will be reduced. And like the dragon spear was the one land six level the most. Wow. How sad. Let's put on this and just break the rocks around here just for fun. It this is still the heaviest weapon in the entire game. Red fragments, starlight. Hmm. That's that that. They're about the same speed, actually. The jumping heavy and the jumping light attack. Makes sense, because you got to jump one way or the other. Hmm. We went down around this way, so working our way up over here it would be decent, but it's just a question of what is there. Over there. Hmm. Come on, come on. Have you, we got you. Uh, spirits ring down over that way. A number of hot air balloons with marionettes on them as well. Hmm. Come on. And then, get up. It's sad. These will break it normally as well. It's interesting how they're snow covered rocks now. The main thing is, I think I could get some blasts back from them. Probably like destroy the entire group, which would be kind of nice. It, and that's the last ever jail in the game. There are, if I recall correctly, some equivalents in the DLC that are not quite the same thing. Okay. And that. So we only got... We got blue. I don't think we got any. Red back. Just didn't take any meaningful damage there. Here a flask. Those ones have just come back. Okay. My question is then, how much damage would... Oh, hello. Oh, goodness. Not great. Charge heavier with this thing, dude. Stupid dog. I, okay. Alright, I cannot... Charge up the heavy, and can we dodge or not? Okay. Thanks, and slam it. Oh, wow. One hit. One hit stance break. Not that heavy, then. Here we go. Pretty good. I just... These dogs are hateful to me. They don't need to exist. Can I slam? There we go. Cool. Some more of that. Got more of you. Hello. And when are you going to stop? When are you going to stop? There you're going to stop. It... It is interesting how the primary effect that building arcane has had for me, especially since now, I don't really want to use bloody helix that much more. At least in PvE situations. Well, PvE situations, not named invader, is helping me do damage with this giant crusher by way of the Cold Infusion, which is really, really good. The Cold Infusion on Giant Crusher is arguably... Once you max out its physical AR, and especially since weapon buffs are... On a slow weapon, weapon buffs are not going to do much of any good. It's not really a loss. But it... As in, the AR you get from... Your arcane is presumably more than the AR you would get from running... Any kind of weapon buff. Hmm. We'll see. So what is this over here? Explosive Grain Bolt, that's alright. Uh -huh. Move over this way. Keep on going. So this... Okay, this does not go all the way down to the lake. Bit of an overlook. Is there any item here? No, it's just terrain for the sake of having terrain. It, what is interesting is that... Is that a... Christi? No, it's just another marionette, but... There are going to be some combat challenges in Notlon and Genshin next version that are going to be 
similar to the local legends, but in more of an Everjail sort of sense, like in Elden Ring's Everjails, in that it sends you to a sort of extra-dimensional location for a fight that you can't really run away from or have anything interfere with. And some of them are going to be very specific kinds of challenges. One of them, for example, is going to be a parrying-oriented challenge, from what I've heard. Which is interesting and exciting. So there were the various events where you had a parry ability. The first one with Iridori Festival, and the second one, which is the rerun that introduced the Ayaka outfit. Which I picked up without actually having Ayaka, as one does. Oh my goodness, I didn't think that would... I thought that would kill. But, mm, big thing is that they've had it twice, and every time they've had it, it's been really, really fun. So I'm excited to see what it's going to be like as a repeatable challenge. Oh, there I slammed down, and okay, the strong jumping will do it. That's good. Go over and break that. Come on. Break the hot air balloon, wherever it is. I might actually need to use a bow to hit it. Maybe. No, I think this should be fine. Let's just see. There we go, and any kind of rune. Golden rune 12. Okay, so that's bigger than the rune we would get from the smaller hot air balloons from Olyurini, if I recall correctly. But it is interesting to have them here. Especially since this area is connected to the astrologers. There we go, we got another. Golden Rune 12. It, mm -hmm. The fact that the smithing stone cost and the rune cost for upgrading normal weapons is so much more than the cost for summer weapons is really, really funny to me. Because it's exactly the opposite of how it ran in previous Souls games where Twinkling Titanite was generally much more annoying. Well, Twinkling Titanite or Demon Titanite or Petrified Dragon Bones or whatever they called it in each one was always much more annoying to get than other okay so i do need to use a bow for this one so let's take that golem bow and actually use it oh well yes we've got our eye not like that not like that just snipe it and should be good thank you and there we go cool that's all good and gone get rid of this so we're no longer in heavy load and see what else is around here Presumably not much, but we take out Guardian's garrison soon and get another prayer book, the Giant's Prayer Book. Well, is Chief Guardian Arganthi fight her? Here's the question of what she's going to be weak to and whether she will be. She's a bit like a fire prelate, if I recall correctly, which means should be able to be poise locked, presumably. Thank you. Alright. Get that and... Hmm. It depends on... <sighs> Bloody Helix is amazing for taking down other players and invading NPCs, but it's just not way too slow and unwieldy for anything else, really. That's the thing. Let's go up and see what else is around here. Final Rise should be the Albanoric Rise and... Consecrated Snowfield will give us a nice talisman that I'll probably use to fight the godskins with a laser. Heretical Rise, we got Fanning Rain of Stars from there already, and we got a bit more of you, and miss, we missed, we missed. Okay, fun. These guys should be a little weaker, yeah. Flying ones are a little weaker, because gotta be lighter in order to actually fly. Cuckoo Glintstone, we got an old thing, and now it's time for the garrison, then. it It's going to be fun to actually go around, because we could not get on top over here. From down over this way, this is going to be the giant conquering hero's grave. Which will give us various good items. Good spell. I think that's where flame protect me is, which is going to be the fire resistance incantation. But the question is, Chief Guardian Arganthi, Guardian Arganthi, is weak to, weak to lightning, okay. Huh. That means I can just spam 
Lightning Spear on her, which is a good idea as usual. Let's put in our Godskin Stitcher and use this on them. Because it's better than, arguably a bit more practical than Body Helix, sadly. What are these? Frozen Thorn Sorcerers? Frozen to death? Maybe. Maybe. Did I get those guys? I definitely got those guys. Let's call them again anyway. Stupid, stupid dogs. I hate these dogs. Oh, interesting. That did not one tap. Well, that works decently, so. Go over, take down the Thorn Sorcerers, take down Organ V. See how well that all works. Hmm. Try some of this, and. Hmm. Much like normal hit do. And, okay. Strong attack should probably. One tap. Yep, it does. At least when it's running, which might be more in different damage. Oh my goodness. Not being able to hit was crazy. So the running attack does more, it seems, which makes sense. We've got momentum on our side, but the train here is weird. Thank you. And, oh, what? Okay. So I suppose that Ashes of War would be just fine to spam here. Hmm. So then we got a prelay, we got sorts of these guys, and stab, and stab again, and kill, kill, kill. We used to get stun locked, and hello, oh, Thorn Sorcerer, and there we go, thank you. Let's get a bit of that healing on here, and where is my. That's Star Shrews, that's. Okay, I guess. Can I? I oh, and this is one of the ones with a, a hammer, okay. I dodge it. Can I? Mm. Thanks. Oh, come on. You really, really, I hate you so much. Thanks. Alright. Mm. I. And dodge it. Oh, my. Okay. Interesting. Not great. Mm. I. Dodge. And. Okay. Oh, my goodness. This is scary. Can I? Dodge it. Okay. Dodge it. Dodge it. Move in for- oh my goodness. Uh, what? Huh? Okay. Yo- WHAT?! Oh my goodness. I need to use... I should have actually just used Golden Vow for that. There was no reason not to. That was really stupid and embarrassing. It's just... If I've got these buffs... What was really nice about... Oh... Tears of Denial in Dark Souls 3 is that it was truly fire and forget. You know, if you cast it once, it would stay active until it got triggered. But for this, it's... All the buffs in here, you know, with all the wards can help, but you have to recast them. And it that does complicate some things. Okay. I, you know... We can keep this equipped. That's fine. Have that on and buff up in preparation for all this stupid garbage. I just... It really, really irks me. This should be a one-tap now. Yep, okay, cool. Question is, how much this is going to do to the prelate? Where is the prelate? Oh, right over here. Okay. Let's just take all these guys down first. And... Make it no longer a problem here. Thank you, and... Now he's coming. Now he's coming. Okay. Fun. And dodge. Uh, stop. Okay, cool. Thank you. I... Move in for... Stop it! Oh, okay. Cool. And, oh my goodness. You... Okay. Alright, heal. Stupid up. Dodge. Dodge it. Okay. Cannot... Stab it. Okay. Ah. Uh, but I... Okay. Mm hmm Like a stance break is... Some trouble there. I one. Can I? What are you gonna do? I okay. Dodge. Got move in for. Come on, you. Okay. And we got the poise break, but just. Why are these guys so, so crazy? Anything good? You dropped literally nothing. Okay. I should not have expected anything else. Thanks and done. This is. Just a stone sword key. Okay. Cool. And... 
Stab, stab, and it's critical. My question is how I'm gonna get in here. Hmm. I did not kill you. Huh. And can I Okay, we hit. But again, and hmm. this is actually rather painful. Uh, so what's all around here other than the gate in here, which well, I can just step in there. Okay. I think it would be good to clear everything out around it first anyway. Okay, so the garrison, we've already gone over that chain over here to the Giant's Grave Post, which is where we see. All these are various, these impaling spears with, I suppose they're all really the Briars of Sin, but it's very interesting that there isn't a lot of specification on what exactly Briars of Sin really are. Oh, all right. Get that back. Right, and... Got that from Vike and forgot to level. That's whatever. It's whatever. Oh, then an... Oh, my goodness. That's a lot of you. We should... Bless ourselves again. And put on some buffs. Alright, okay. Hmm. I just... There's a lot more around here than I would have expected. Thank you. And then impaling thrust on those fire monks should be pretty useful. Thank you, and... One. Two, and... Okay, nice, we actually hit. Both of them with that one thrust, and can I... Oh my goodness, okay, cool, and can I... Oh my... Okay. Stab, and again, we kill. Okay, cool. Fire monk armor. Oh, that's new. Interesting. Protects face, said to depict the corrupt ancient god of the flame, taboos, transport, and lasting obsessions by virtue of the fear that they inspire. Okay. I hear a scarab somewhere around here. Question is what it's going to hold on to and give me. So, oh, it's up there. So probably some kind of projectile would be the best way to knock it down. Yeah, so what is over here then, that edge? See it after I kill. One remaining monk and where is it? Is it up here? It's up here somewhere. I hear it. Okay, it's over there. So use our lightning to kill it and oh, well, we need it a bit more. That is going to be oh, prelate charge ash of war. Armor in the ground, create a surge of flame, surge and hold against the charge, and that's on the Prelates Inferno Krajir, among other things, so... Hello, hello. One, two, and... Oh, we actually trained it. Okay. Well, that's death for you. Cool. And die. And... Oh, well... Oh, all right, right. And die. You actually barely survived it. Oh, come on, you... Okay. Come on. I... Okay. Thanks. And we need healing badly. All right, then. Smoldering Butterfly, and we can go up inside, get the prayer book from behind Argon So that all works out. Sing the Urge Me. Thank you. And then, who and what else is in here? Guardians, Garrison, and got more of these Guardians, so one, two. Hello there, I Flame Guardian. Well, alright. Thanks. Very, very dead. Those, these guys were like tarnished, which means you can actually affect them with madness if you care to. Anything around here? Oh, dog, dog. This, the hitbox of this one seems to be a bit better. Also, we're getting flashback, which is good. No item ahead. Golden Rune 10. And okay, I can't use that right. We want to go around the other way just to see quick where that was. Maybe, well, I can do that after going through the garrison. These are all Guardians of the Flame, so... Oh, and there was a there's a ladder here. Okay. What will this get me, then? Inside. Hmm. It's down to what? Is this going to be up top correctly, or... Got another Flame Guardian. Hello! And, oh my goodness, that torch bowl is... Vile. Okay. Mm hmm. I could have gone about that a bit more sensibly. Well, whatever. 
Hello, Flame Guardian Eye. Thank you, and just one. And before you use any kind of incantation, we will simply kill you. Nice. This is... Smithing Stone 7, and only one of them. Huh, well, whatever. That was our reward for coming up here, I suppose, but... What of up top over here? Does that lead to anything? That does not really look like it leads to anything meaningful. Let's go back down, then, and... It really does seem like it was only a smithing stone as a reward for a trouble. Well, whatever. That's fine. Cool. The thrusts are very, very good for taking these things out. This is a smoldering butterfly. And is that... Second, I thought that might be one of those skeletal slimes, but it was not. So, then... Where to? I... Probably do well to have a bit of light in here. Hmm. So in that case... Probably need to go up that ladder then, wouldn't we? Maybe. It's the only place I can really think of going around, but we need to get to the top to... Take on Chief Guardian Argenthi, who is the boss of this little area. Leader of the Fire Monks, or at least Chief of the Guardians, which... Who knows what difference that makes. So actually, I... Maybe if I try jumping around to that ledge, maybe. But I... This does not seem to lead to much of anything. Can I... Mm -hmm. In that case, I just... I'm not sure where to go next. Maybe around the side, maybe? It's an idea. The big thing is, all the fire monks here are dead now, which means I don't have to worry about much in the way of interference. Let's go around the side and see if that gets us to where we need to go. Thank you, thank you. Get the feeling that this will be something at least. But it does not appear to be anything. Well, now we're over here, so... Weird. Weird. Maybe if I got down there, maybe? Can get there, but that's not anything. No item ahead, yeah. So it's just a matter of... Where is the ladder that I was unable to find that should lead me up to? Chief Guardian Argenthi. That's what really, really grinds my gears. It... I don't imagine there was an illusory wall somewhere, but... It's just a matter of finding her. This is not it. Not it. But, there are no ladders and no other staircases hmm. to get on top through here, but presumably it would have to be some kind of doorway down here that I just didn't see. But I... I feel like an illusory wall might be the way I had. Nothing is saying anything here. Hmm. I don't know if we've tried to go out, but is this... Is there something in this entryway that I didn't see? It... No, no. It... There can't be anything then, can there? Maybe there are ladders on the outside. I could see that happening. But... Let's just look. I... It doesn't seem like it. Hmm. So how then do I get up top? That's close enough to the actual dungeon area that it gets you stuck, but... It... This is just confusing. Guardians, garrison... How do I get inside? Hmm. That would be... Prayer Book Argenthi. Pair of strays. Towered or the left of the entrance to the platform. Platform around the tower. Broken section of the walls. Jump through onto a wooden platform outside. Okay. That's how that works. Okay. Huh. I, in that case, either way, I should have a... Fire. Flame Drake plus two, which I got from Caleb in instead. Let's put Blessing on right now. 
should be a decent idea. Golden Fountain Corrales should be the only thing I actually need, but yeah, I can get up top and yeah, look around the outside wall to find my way in, presumably. This is it's an interesting place. This is actually... What's interesting is that presumably you're supposed to sort of remember Fort Laid over in Mount Gelmir, which had a similar way to get another flame drake. No, the fire scorpion charm was... You got a, a similar way by jumping off a broken wall and that also had a bunch of fire monks so assumably that was your sort of clue and there we go this is how we're supposed to do it that's nothing okay like we sleep i would not happen to agree any more flame guardians or ah big skull fun this is more strays hello and just die die Die, and what's in here is nothing, really. Okay. Oh, there is... Oh, Organthy's right there. Okay. Cool, I... Oh, my goodness. That was unpleasant. I... You're not gonna come down here, are you? Well, that came as a surprise to me. Not expecting that quick of a... Oh, wait, what? Okay. So she fell. All right. <laughs> Wonder where. It, I suppose I'll take it. That tricksome shield, the white stone, depicting a malformed one-eyed god, barrel of a fire and pokes through the open mouth. It's worshipped by the giants, evil deity, believed to have been slain by Queen Merica. Flame spit, right the shield, launch a fireball from the barrel. Fireball explodes on impact. Huh. It is interesting that their god is explicitly dead. God slain, I suppose. See that a couple of times. Let's go in here and... Hmm. It's a bit Bloodborne-like that... Well, to be fair, in Bloodborne you can see Nightmare slain three times. Once in the DLC, once in... Actually... Once in the DLC would be... No, four times, because it's Orphan of Koss, Mergo's Wet Nurse, the Amygdala in Nightmare of... Nightmare Frontier, and then the Moon Presence. So in theory, you can see the Nightmare Slain message up to four times in a single playthrough, in theory. Either way, we can get some good incantations now. Well, decent incantations at least from the Giant's Prayer Book up top over here. And give it to Corin and Gold Mask. That'll be fun. And then maybe some things on that platform right outside. We'll see. Just these Thorn Sorcerers who are now very, very dead. Always giants. I don't know why. Giant's prayer book and that bound secrets of the fire giants. It seems to be bound with their beard hair. By the prelates who monitor the giant's flame. When cleric falling mutations, giants swim take the and flame fall upon them. Both of which could be pretty decent. I think flame fall upon them might be a better option than well. Giant swim takes take the requires two memory slots. It, it's not as splashable, but if I could use it to prepare for a boss battle, it might be better. Maybe. Well, that was amusing how Argenthi met her end. Smoldering butterfly, and, and we need to go back to Corn and Gold Mask over here, or we could go to the Church of Vows, but it's more fun to have Corin take them all, I think. At least right now. Especially since when I get his bell bearing, I could give it to the maidens and just see them sell every prayer book spell in the game. I do find it rather interesting that there are three, only three, spell scrolls for sorceries. But there are eight or so, seven, six, seven, eight, something like that. So it's two fingers, dragon coal. 
Two Fingers, Dragon Pole, Golden Order, Incipia, Assassin's Prayer Book, and then Ancient Dragons and Giants, and then, oh, Fire Monk. So what was the other? Is it seven or eight? There must be one I'm forgetting, I think. Right, and then, right, God Slayers, God Slayer. I'm doing all right, how are you? We are working our way through. It's, we got past Guardian's Garrison, so we're going over to the final area here, which also includes this little part of the John Conquering Hero's Grave. Good to hear you're doing well, so we can give another prayer book to Corin. Michael Thoughts, and but I could, but give a prayer book. Work of heresy, no age from the Earth Tree. Of your hands, oh yeah. Innocence straight in my hands. Are you gonna go to Consecrated Snowfield then? Just mere hints, so we can take these, and that is... These are pretty expensive. Giants want to take the Retro from the Power of the Fire Giants, Massive Ball, Raging Fire, and it's just better flame sling, basically. And it's so much more faith rack. No record of the incantation in common prayer books, only a select few prelates know of its existence. Did he ever f oh okay. Did you ever fight Millennia on your first playthrough? No record, potency, balls of fire to explode, ball of fire, several balls of fire at once. Interesting. That I might put that in place of Black Flame, though. It's kind of a shotgun. Interesting. So we can change some of that out. Oh, oh, oh and we got some trolls over here. Yeah, because it's all giants. Bubble up and tank. We could get... More mind might be a good idea. Mind you. I think... Shouldn't much... Oh, oh okay, fair. Oh, so this has been your no summon playthrough. Interesting. How different has it been for you? Because I've been going no summons throughout. Just managing aggro is maybe I'll, I might not call it fun, but I find it to be pretty essential. But hmm. giants, John conquering heroes grave should be down there. We can reach that. Pretty easily, and then... So this is actually... We get our final Sacred Deer. Yeah, that... It's what I've been doing. Whatever works, you know. So let's try... Some of these. I want to test these out on that troll over there. Let's put in... Giant Swim Tank V. And then try... Flame Fall Upon them as well. It... But you have to have a good amount of defense to be able to make those trades, though. It's not... It's good, but it's not entirely brain dead. You need some level of skill. Fun. And there we go. That could be quite good. We'll see. It's not as splashable, but it's... Could be fun. See how these work against some of these giants. Yeah, I. Yeah. He was painful for me too. And can I? Nine hundred. Oh my goodness. Oh, so they roll like the fire giant. That's fun. I. And interesting. That's not that much better. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Oh, so these ones are kind of yeti like in pursuit. Interesting. Can I? And boom. Okay. Interesting. So. Can I? Mm, oh, all right. And they've got incantations too. All right, all right then. Because I know there was that one stone digger troll in East in Old Alter's Tunnel who used a few giant slim incantations, but I did not expect. Because when I went through here on my mage build, I just ran past every single one of those trolls. I did not deal with any of that. Yeah, yeah. But what really surprised me was the rolling attack, because that's a very, very fire giant. It was kind of fun. Hmm. Then, right, we should put on... Keep what we got. Actually, I want to see how much damage Black Flame does in comparison. So that Pest Threads is usually a good option, too. Just to have on there, but... I don't know. I'm not going to be running into too many things. Let's use... Right... Starlight is always on there for the sake of it. Hmm. Let's have Black Flame real quick to see what it, which is better. 
<clears throat> Luck from would be a good boss killer, but got other incants for that too now. Come on, and that that it's about as good anyway. That's sad. Thank you, I will try my best. I uh, yeah, that it's about as good. It's kinda sad. Hmm. Come on, come on. Use your fire. I just... The fact that even on these relatively weak enemies, Black Flame is still better just makes me sad. Suppose it is what it is. So then, working my way down to... Giant Conquering Hero's Grave. Crows and the dogs are all just so vile. I hate them so much. That's actually... Oh, interesting. What are you doing, then? They're not fighting anything right now. Presumably get a stance break for pretty good damage, but... And can I... Oh, my goodness. Okay, can I... Another... And there we go. We can break stance and go for a big hit on the head. And, oh, come on. Can I... There we go. And one... Two... Killed. Oh, not killed. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, they drop Arteria leaves. That would be pretty nice if I ever use them for anything. But yet, you have all these dead fire giants. It's crazy how big they are. Another dog. Okay, cool. Oh, hi there. Hello. I dodge. Do oh, my goodness. Okay, you're kidding. You've got to be kidding me. They'd be stupid dogs. Okay, can I charge fully and... What? Huh? Okay. Whatever you... Okay. Dodge and... Charge up. There we go. Okay. Let's kill that dog. Can I kill. There we are. And Caleb, they would often ride around so much that I couldn't even get the critical on them, which sucked. Oh, there there you are? Okay. I hate you so much. Can I... Mm. And, alright, can I charge up it? Not hit? I, okay. Annoying. And, there... What? Okay. Charge it. Really, really, I okay. Come on. Okay. There we okay, interesting. I, oh, okay, there we go. Did that bleed too? I might have bled. Hmm. And immediately just like that. We got a few more from that too. Oh good. Hmm. I am um, I know that this is late in the game, but that I don't have the privilege of being over leveled like I used to be, but still a lot tougher than I expected. Oh, Finger Creeper over there. Okay. Well, I... That seems to be time for Black Flame. Slashing deals more damage, but this will keep them immobile. Thank you, and... Alright. Cool. That should... Oh, well, the... That's gone. Alright, I... Okay. Thanks. Somber Snooping Stone... Seven. Isn't that the same kind they dropped over in Gelmir? Might have been. Oh, okay, cool. And while you do that, we'll just slash you out. Cool, cool. Nice, well that... So, did... What's the damage than I expected? So it, not me. And how many more, how many more? Thank you. Mm hmm, Sombra Stone 7, and... Then... Mm -hmm. Terry Weave. <clears throat> how much, how much is over here? Got more finger creepers down there, which actually, that... I could just lob fire at them from up here, and... It's just like demon souls. Okay. Thank you. And we can... Wait and toss another once the fire is gone, and... Oh, weird. And can you climb up, or... I don't think you can climb up there. Annoying. Can I? This make me fall off. I okay. Well, all right. I huh? Well, now it's now it's dead. That was pretty scuffed. Okay. It the the amount of angle adjustment that I can do is leaves a bit to be desired. Okay. My moving and where are you? Where are you? Go over and take down 
get the way over to the giant conquering hero's grave, presumably, which should give us a spell that increases my fire resistance. Should give me flame protect me, which... It's interesting that there's no equivalent to... It's basically the equivalent to... Lord's Divine Fortification, Golden Lightning Fortification, and Barrier of Gold, which all affect allies in addition to the player, or that fire is the kind of thing that you can only protect yourself from, interestingly enough. I wonder why they made that decision specifically. I presume maybe just to reflect how fire is sort of a dark damage of Elden Ring, and that it's dangerous, opposed to the worst holiness, and just very potent when used correctly as well. I can see that. One, two. So immobilizing it with fire. It's less about the damage and more about the immobilization than charge is good, but it can't do everything. Over on this little segment. Mm -mm. It's just it really makes me wonder why there are finger creepers here. It's kind of weird. Mm -hmm. Oh, and here we have another sword grave. That's fun. So what then? Gonna be over here. I think I should be able to use Bloodhound Spang to take them to take that troll down, but the troll warrior. That said, the trolls like Theodore spot in the war again. Yeah, champions battle trolls betray. Far vanquish the era the urgery begins. Hmm. Alright. One, two, and three. There we go. And where is? Is it gonna fall off? It's not gonna fall off. Okay. Well, alright. Okay. You can just wail on him until he dies. There we go. And oh my goodness, he just fell through. Alright. Suit yourself. Yeah, but exactly. Theodorix, Great One Theodorix, who was originally a troll warrior turned into a magma worm by Dragon Communion. For something. It's worrisome. It should be fine. One, and another finger creeper. And of course, you're coming over, I swear. And can I. Oh my goodness. Thank you. And can I charge up Black Flame? And there we go. Cool. And there we go. Nice. I can just one, two, cut you up a couple more times, and hmm. I want to sweep back through here. This looks like a giant corpse. I think a lot of these, yeah, a lot of these are giant corpses which are on the map, which is crazy. The giant corpse being part of the geography is very macabre. Okay, and oh my goodness, I just jumped over me. That's funny. They die, die, die. So what is over here? Some kind of... Somber Smith Stone 7. Hmm. I need... Somber Stone 9 is an ancient, more ancient dragon once an upgrade. Certain seals, certain... Staves. So I'd be using it on Wasat Staff, which also makes things easier. For the actual fight against Godskin Duo, because I don't have to worry about farming or leveling stuff like Gelmir. Oh, hello. That was unexpected. You gonna come over here, or... Don't think I'd make this jump. It's funny. Alright. Go ahead. Suit yourself. I will simply toss another and... Right, so the fire... Can it only catch fire one time? It seems like that, actually. Huh. Or, no, not just one time, but there's a very, very long cooldown. Huh. It's not well down here. That is... Yep, definitely death. Amazing. Somberstone 7 and... I think that's the one they drop. The big finger creepers drop on Gelmir too. So it's always, I think, Somberstone 7's. Regardless of where that finger creeper is. So, anything else over up top here or just a nice view? Well, other than, of course, the giant conquering hero's grave. Okay, you can see down into Snowfield. We can't really see a halo tree. 
can see that Wandering Mausoleum, which is the only Wandering Mausoleum that has any offensive capabilities that actually shoots at you, if I recall correctly. So I... Hmm. Anything else? This is decent. We're going to keep on looking. Yeah, this should be... Should just be able to unlock this and return to the other segment from another side of the race, hopefully, and then teleport back here. Because if I miss it, the race will respawn all those giants. I mean, all those trolls, all those finger creepers, and I do not want to do that. Hmm. But, again, there should be a. I like how that light streams if you do it while moving. Should be an oyster wall in here somewhere. But that really, really spins. Giant Conquering Hero's Grave. Alright, we will be back here shortly. <clears throat> Such a big area. Yeah, we've gone through here, so it's just... There's that other church over there, which would... Have to fight Okina there, which shouldn't be all that much trouble, but still... Should buff on the approach. That would give me rivers of blood. That would give me rivers of blood. Which is one of the weapons that is very, very strong against Melania. Also just a strong weapon in general. I honestly might like to use it against her. As for a katana versus katana duel between, between true samurai. Hmm. Go up and... I think there are other finger creepers in here, maybe. None of those guys can do anything right now. <laughs> Alright, getting flame protect me for fire giant fight would be almost crucial. It'd be almost impossible to win without it, really. <laughs> but, peer around. Okay, so there were no more finger creepers over there, it seems. Let's go around this little side ledge. It's a bit precarious. Order two. I guess I could just go to the church right now and crap. Bloody Helix is very, very good on Okina. It is Rivers of Blood it gets pretty much hard countered by Let's put on Golden Vow. Why not? Where's the blood gets nearly hard countered by Dot Dennis Finesse. It's not perfect, but it's very, very strong against it. Well, Alright, let's go over and kill this big hairy troll. Thank you. One and two and three. Thank you. Got that down. This should be a one tap. Alright, and one. Two and is that Yep, there we go. We got it. Cool. Thank you. And what did you drop? You dropped... Oh, just another Arteria leaf. Okay. Fair. Not amazing, not horrible. It... If I was using maybe some of the perfumes, that might work a bit better, but... I don't use the perfumes, because you have spells that just do the job better. And is this... Did I already kill those dogs? I did kill those dogs, didn't I? Yeah. So why did I not kill that? Why didn't I kill that troll then? That's the real question. Oh, we got another. That can't be another death right bird, can it? Can't be. Huh. I do hear another troll somewhere yelling at me. So let's get that up. Golden vow. And flame grant me, and we can. Well, I could probably just use normal attacks on this crow. Presumably, let's switch and let's try to get a couple of hits in, and one, two, and oh my goodness, alright, oh wait, how did, huh? Oh, you got knocked off balance, okay, cool, alright, can I, there we go, kinda, alright, mm, interesting, and not in a good way, I, okay, and come on, and move in for a kill, and can I, slash, and die, okay, that was trouble. 
so who is fighting what? Oh, the crow is fighting that troll. They can, they can fight. I'll let them fight. I think the thing is, though, is warming stones. I would presume that... I would prefer to kill the troll before the crow. I mean, the crow... The crow. Oh, come on. Prefer to kill the crow before the troll, because the crow is a lot more annoying. But... question is, is one of them going to kill the other? I think that left to their own devices. The troll is going to die to that crow. So I should intervene if I want to make a difference. Oh, okay. High finger creeper. Enjoy that. And we got more of them. It's just the fact that there's so many on the mountaintops is... To be fair... They don't really have... Well, it... Here's the question of what determines where they show up and why. It... Very, very weird. It, they do have some lore in the DLC, but beyond that, it hard to say you know, what specifically makes them show up, because it's not as if they... Well, the trolls show up a lot of places, but a lot of that is also because some of them are enslaved or otherwise affiliated with the Golden Order, but Finger Creepers are just... Their deal is unknown to me. Hmm. Like that one... Sonic song. Let's... We got multiple crows here, so... All these crows are fighting one troll. So we focus on... Taking down... The crows... With the help of that troll, and then kill the troll. Okay. I... Fire should be good here. And it... Oh, okay, hello. I... Oh, alright. Thanks. Okay. Interesting. I, okay, and burn, burn, and this good stuff. Cool. More of that, but tossing fire at the crows is going to be pretty useful for me. Oh, oh, and can I... Oh, I did not mean to hit the troll. I meant to hit that crow, but now I'm in a state. Not good. Not good. I need more flame around me. It just... These crows being as crazy as they are is... Well, it's crazy. And just toss another, and that's death for that crow. Let's toss another fireball. Okay, cool, and another. Thank you. I, oh, nice. Knocked off balance, which means one more attack, and should be good. And now we have you. Okay, cool, all right. Now we can one, and... Two, and okay, well, alright. And stance break, which means we can hit the head for big damage. Cool. Thank you. Oh, goodness. That was. Oh, and beast blood from the crow. It's interesting that it dropped beast blood, because it's. Well, because it might not have hair, which. I wonder what word they used for beast in that. The original Japanese, then. Ah, if you're going to be on the ground, I can make this work. Oh, well, jumping alerted you. Not good. Fine, I. Alright, and. Another, another, and. Okay, fine. Not really. And there we go. Stance break, so. Get a critical. Or not. I. How can I. Well, I. Okay. I can just hit the head. Mm -hmm. It. The number of trolls here is actually kind of surprising. It... It does add a layer of tragedy to it, honestly. It's just... Well, presumably they're here because, right, they betrayed their kin, the, their greater kin, the fire giants, and now sort of inhabit the mountaintops alone, kind of like the Knights of Zamor. Other enemies of the giants. It is kind of funny that the giants seem to have made a number of enemies. One, two, there we go. Okay. Somber stone and right. Okina will invade when we get close to that. We should equip what we'll need in advance then. 
Thank you. Well, that did not hit. And me and the slug breeze fire. It, they were in Wingrave and they're here too. Honestly, it makes less sense for them to be in Wingrave than being here. Flame of Ruin slumber, slumbering on top of the mountaintops. Yeah, it's sort of a... You got fire and you got ice in here. Both elements in the same place. I wonder if I actually want to kill that one there. My question is... I think there's going to be another dungeon around here, presumably. Seems like it should be. We can avoid those guys for now. Come back and get them on the way. Mm -hmm. Well, fire is also on Rivers of Blood, so... Could be good to have that equipped anyway. Well, it no time like the present. Let's go fight that guy. Okay. Blessing of the Erdtree. And then, Golden Vow, Flame Grant Me, and he should show up soon. Let's use this, and yep, yeah, Body Finger Okina. Hello there, hi. And just like this, we can take you out, and like that, roll, and can I? Can you get in close and try to go in for you? Okay, nice, and can I? So, oh my goodness, I, oh, oh my, okay. Hmm. Going for Okay, and can I? One, two, three, and another stab. And there we go. Easy enough. Fun. Rivers of Blood and the Okina Mask. Fun. That has died. Wood Mask depicts an old man bearing his teeth. First of the silver cane. Old man, the great swordsman, the land of reeds. This is dexterity, lowers focus. More we sharpen his mind, more the absurdities of the world came to stroke relief. Okina renounced it all, rose to a higher point only himself. His katana and his mastery. For long, became a demon of a swordsman. First weapon, filled countless men, Mo, the Lord of Blood, first felt Okina's sword and madness upon his flesh. Had a proposal offer Okina the life of a demon whose thirst would never go unsated. Horse power, a blade of curse of blood, repeated interweaving successive attacks, additional input for further successive attacks, and that is a very, very strong weapon. Very, very strong. Hmm. And just. Mmm. It's a bit like Mortal Draw from Sekiro. Well, probably a bit more like Bestow and Ninjutsu. I want this thing leveled. It would be a fun thing to use on Melania if Bloodhound Spank does not work on first attempt. We can use our flats at Church of Repose, increase the amount, and there we go. And now it's maximum. We have maxed out. Max out our flask. How exciting. Can we level? Can we? Yeah, we can get a level, so. Hmm. I think Dex would be a good option, but. I do feel like leveling this thing a bit. That's tragic. He should be back. He should be back. Presumably. But I got. The fun sword, the red sword, the blood sword. I might use it on some things. It's quite strong. Depending on who's vulnerable. Right, your arms. And then let's strengthen this. A lot of somber stones, so. Not much is lost. Thank you, thank you, and. Yeah. Just do that. Hello. How are you? That doesn't have crazy AR, but it's fast. It's got decent arcane scaling. Well, it we got a cool sword, so I'm gonna go to the back over to. Actually, what did you realize? That Italy really does deserve a nuclear bomb. It's not very nice of you, though. Let me just see. How this does against that crow real quick. Oh! Oh. That's not good. What what caused that? Golden Vow. Flame grant me, and let's just see how well this does against that crow. Alright, and cool. Thank you, I Oh my goodness. You've gotta be kidding me. Please. Okay. 
One, two, three, four, and... Oh my goodness, that is really, really strong. Okay. One, two, three, four, and... Oh my lord! Wow. Well, to be fair, it's just we have a weapon instead of a... Oh, I... Yeah. It... I... You're always getting yourself in situations, I swear. It's scary. It's a cool, cool way to find. Okay, so I... Okay, I... Oh my goodness. Can I heal? Heal. And... The fire giant fights like this, actually. I... Mm, well, we can just keep on slashing. It's not as safe as stance breaks, though. Yeah, I... I figured. Can I? One, two... There we go. Good. Another Arterio Leaf, but... Big thing is going to be going down to... John Conklin Cures Grave. Have some very, very nice weapons now. Number of them. It's just... Casually. Plus eight rivers of blood. Shark conquering. Conquering hero's grave. Boss is... Oh, ancient hero of Zamor. So actually, it's weak to fire. And lightning. Lightning would probably actually be the best option there. Presumably. Well, I... Because it wouldn't dodge the lightning. Okay. What are the enemies in here? Giant conquering hero's grave. It's got fire monks, imps, watchdogs, prelates, trolls. Oh, goodness. That's a lot. Okay. Illusory wall. Giant conquering hero's grave. Way stairs turn right, it was a roll stone archer on the left. It's just a rune. That's alright. Mm -hmm. Take that then. It's, it's real good. Oh, pretty good. Let's see what's in here. There's another stone sword key to get something. Is this gonna be Flame Grant me or mm -hmm. anybody in here or Ah Flame Protect Me is right here. Nice. Greatly increases fire damage negation, most ancient. Fire within greatly increases fire damage negation, which is... It's crazy that Flash Sweat is basically locked to the end of the game, though to be fair, it is that good. Having Flash Sweat early in other Souls games is honestly kind of surprising in retrospect. Used during the war against the Giants long ago, during which it protected the champions of the Erd Tree. Alright. Cool. Hmm. No, not yet. Later, hopefully. We'll see. So then, who and what should I put on here? That's the question. Number of things, but probably use Barrier Gold instead, because that Hero of Zamora is going to have magic on it. Magic damage. Actually, I... Hmm. Barrier Gold. Alright. Let's see who's in here. Shouldn't be too complicated, hopefully. Oh, hello there, hello. Should probably use Starlight then. Well, that did not make that guy detect me, which is good. Hello. One, two, critical. Nice. But he's got one tiny bit of health left then. Okay, there we go. All right. Hmm. It's gonna be that Oystery Wall. Looks a little different, too. So then, in that case... Is there... Oh, it's just this golden rune over here. But there's also an overlook. Interesting. So are there going to be more of those... Sh shadow Shrouded enemies, or...? The beach, light pink, gi giant 3DS playing Minecraft. I think it's only funny if you want it to be funny. It's only funny if you find it embarrassing. I don't think you need to find it embarrassing. Shame is... Shame holds you back. Well, sometimes. There, there are reasons for shame sometimes, though. But... Then... The Dawn Greaves. Well, it... I think... Okay. 
fair. I just be proud of yourself. You should be over this way. Up over here will be the one that stuns them, so I can slam, slam, and can I? Oh my. Okay. Well, all right. Can I slam it? Okay. Interesting. Can I? Mm, mm, mm. Should have used barrier gold for this then. Okay. Can I? Oh my goodness. Slam it. Can I? Dodge. Oh my goodness. I, okay. All right. Thank you. Heal. Fair. I. Okay, and can we... There we... Oh, my goodness. Okay, and can I hit again? And, there we go. Stupid watchdog. Hit this thing. And is that... Okay, and there's another fire trap. These things are surprisingly hard to kill sometimes. It... Well, well you have to understand that in her case... It's not because she's successful at life. In her case, it's the exact opposite. To the extent that you can even really describe successful at life as something monotonic. It... Well, she did it because... She was an incredibly abject person. It... You, you should not feel bad in any... Okay. It... To the extent that it's funny, it's funny that she felt like she had to speed run life like that when nobody was really watching, so to speak. I... Oh, goodness. Bone arrow, bone arrow, and can I... Over there, I... Okay. Well, thank you. That should... Take it down, right? It didn't work. Okay, we didn't aim high enough. Can I shoot and will that? Oh, it. Oh, it never goes down. Only. Oh, it does go up and down. But some of them. Interesting. Guess who needs to make more bow and arrows? Me. Okay. Uh, uh, bow and arrow. Let's make a bunch of these. Got lots of thin beast bones. All right. Fletch should be good. We got a lot of these. Cool. That costs about the same. Yeah. But I think there's a there's a certain extent where I think you can ask whether it's what she want, what she really wanted, or what she felt she was supposed to do or had to do or something like that. Oh, okay, well, alright, let's Thanks. Cool. That works too. Thank you. And even if piercing is theoretically more effective... Okay. But... Even, even still. Even still. It... It's interesting. Okay. I'll take your word for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A lot of people do. Mm -mm. For better or worse, it's very, very normal. So, okay, there we go. We got another fire monk. Hello, hello, and... How did that hit me? And can I... Oh, the stance break didn't work because it was falling? Weird. Did that stance refresh when it was on the ground? Or falling to the ground? It's really, really weird. Freezing grease. What's through here? Hmm... But I do think that flame protector would be a good option. Here. Get some light. Oh, really? That's insane. So will this actually do that? I, oh, well, I did not mean to do it like that. I'll use this to fall down on top of that and then lift it up again with me on it. Oh, that... I mean, the big thing is that if... If she's really racist, it honestly, ra again, it raised the question of how much of her dreams are really her own. Because I think and there, there's a good chance that she feels like she needs to be quote-unquote traditional and that it influences a big part of her life. Yeah, exactly. That it's less about something she wants to do more about something she feels she has to do. 
I... Wait. Where is... Presumably there are going to be more imps, so I should put this back on. Where is... Where is Glove Wart? Oh, hello! Hi! I... Alright, I... Mm. Interesting. Cranial Vessel Candle Sands? Well, what do you mean, you don't care? What I meant is that... I didn't really tell you to have sympathy for... For her. It was... To an extent, it was kind of the opposite. I was literally saying... I don't think she really has any real desires of her own. Which the Birok most hallowed monk put the giant's flame. Turned over the lazy arrogance with which the monks created the flame. Birok severed his own head as a lesson to the others, intending it be used as a candle sand. Faith yet smolders from within the cranial vessel. Search of faith that the flames of his faith are buried in the cranial vessel. Is it aloft, rain and fireballs in all directions, repeated inputs, raise it aloft, continuing the attack. Hmm. Okay. Well, it... Having sympathy for people, even unpleasant people, arguably especially unpleasant people, is, I would say, important, but I'm not insisting you do that here. So, it's gonna go down. Is our hero of Zamora going to be past you? Or... So that's just an empty column. Try down. So what then is... Wait, huh? Oh, probably have to raise this up to go down again. Let me see. Is there gonna be anything, or? Yep, all right, there we go. Oh, and it makes, makes light appear. Well, that's cool. Before any of that, so I need to pull the lever and then go down the side. So it won't automatically move. Do that, and we roll in, roll in. And yep, that's why it has a bit of a delay. Yep. So we can get inside here more easily. Fun. And... Hmm. Anything else inside? Or I... Oh, goodness. And of course we got more of you. Okay. Fun. Let's put on... Golden Vow for more damage. And let's see how well this works. Hello. Hi. That... Now it sees me, and it's- oh, it's completely a shade. Okay, get in here. Thank you, and we can slam, and slam again. We can- there we go, easy enough. Rick, you down. Lovely, okay. So my question is then, how to get back up here? There'd be a way, or- presumably I can't. Yep, there's no lever, which means- as long as I'm down here, I'm stuck. Oh, and okay, I didn't even really notice, but yeah, all of those are trolls, because they're troll heroes from the war against the giants. That's fun. Let's get the other lesser burial watchdogs over here, too. The light. Fun. Not really. I... Burial gold might be good here. Oh, whatever. I it shouldn't be Nestor if we can... Get it to, and there we, there we go, one, and another, two, and we go for one final smack. There we go, cool. And let's do some of that, do some of this. Don't have that many mana flasks, so that means dungeon. Using healing instead of healing flasks, instead of trying to use something like... Healing spells would be a bad idea. Hmm. Keep on moving. We have Glove War, and... Question is, what's going to lower the gate? Hmm. Starlight. Then we climb back up. And see how this works. Hmm. <clears throat> come on, come on. Come on. goes up really, really far. So then, this is... Snake, snake. Yeah, because it's a long ladder. Do I have a... way down in here, or... I guess it was just these glove warts. It's fine, I guess. But... there's really no reason to... come here if there's no... reward... for that, so... 
I will simply go up the other ladder and presumably find the way to that ancient hero of Zamora. Alright. Should hopefully above that last gate and I can buff up suitably for the for the fight. Hmm. Especially since there's no quick way to the end of the dungeon in this one. That's tough. I... Oh, great. Awesome. This is exactly what I wanted to see. What a UX might actually be decent here. Well, not risking it. Okay. Fun. Let's just see, could I actually get a back set on this guy? Probably not. And yeah, you can't get a back set on him. Okay, alright, and dodge. Oh my goodness, thanks. I dodge, dodge. I oh my goodness, thank you. Mm -hmm. I stab and I okay, and mm, okay. Interesting, interesting. I thanks, thanks. Okay, stab again, and there we go. We got our critical off, which means a kill. Okay, now this impaling for us is such a good Ash of War here. Giant Seal. Oh, yep. Near the end of the game. Sacred Seal, when I got the Fire Giants, it braids red hair, beaded by fire, wielded by Fire Monks and Prelates, enhances Giant Swing incantations. And that, in theory, for casting Giant Swing and certain Fire Monk. Oh, great, great Grave, Grave Glove Warden. We so sure to become Legend, Comfort for Oak Spirits, Scores, Adapts, Especially Lord Specialman. Okay, well, alright. Fair enough. Got one of those in. Mog went into. Well, alright, we can. Edgelord. It's funny. So that. Wait, huh? Wait, so. Where's the way down to that portcullis then? Where is the. Huh? How am I supposed to open that then? Now I'm just confused. Huh. There's that game that clearly has something to do with. Weak foe ahead? Well, I don't know. I don't know about that one. Hmm. There's something in... Oh, but... How am I going to get up top? That's... Interesting and different. Huh. Huh. This is legitimately kind of confusing here. Didn't say anything about any other illusory walls. Pump sword and jumping ahead. But other than that, I just where I was. Do I have to go the other way or this is legitimately quite weird. So now that that's down actually, I wonder. Hmm. What else I might be able to find here, I doesn't seem like anything. It's gotta be a switch somewhere that opens things up. But other than that, I really, really wonder. It's tough sometimes. It really is tough sometimes. Hmm. I suppose we will never know, maybe, unless I look it up on the wiki. And be a switcher. This is just confusing. How do I go down then? Through that gate. That's not here. Do I need to? Oh, well, I. Yeah, it was that simple. Okay. Thanks. And okay, so that troll is over there, which means we need to bring this up to make it visible. Fun. Okay. Got all this crap in here, so let's make it happen. Get over here. Anyone or anything else, or so presumably I think that actually opens that door, so we need to actually need to kill that guy to bring it down. Can make some sense. Alright, keep on running. I should have done this before probably. Will this be... I, okay, well, alright. Dodge! Okay, thanks. 
Not interesting. Get in here. This troll is very normal, which is interesting. Okay, I, all right. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay, that took longer than I expected. It, weird hitbox shenanigans. Can I, okay, dodge. Can I, can I, thanks. And there we go. Got oh, that stance break off. That was dangerous and narrow. One, two, and oh goodness, we need another hit. Cool, and can I, blood loss or, there we go. Heavy doors opened. How exciting. Okay. And, ooh, that's troublesome. Oh. And that is, yeah, scary. I should have taken more on my way through here. Well, whatever. Go scoreboard nine. Skinny sort required ahead. So then, this one is kind of long. It, I wouldn't say a slug, but it's a bit of a, bit of an endeavor. Hmm. I think yeah, Golden Valley of Lightning should carry the day. Shouldn't be in too much trouble. Let's get a little bit of this. Golden Val. Lightning Spear should be good. Okay. We don't have bear or gold, but this should be okay. We won't dodge, so... Thanks! Alright. Oh my goodness. Alright. Oh, wow. Okay. Just keep tossing. You won't dodge. You won't dodge. Should be phase transition soon, so... Yeah, good for me. Ah, uh, okay, well. Alright, that was some trouble. Not expect that level of strength there, so... Do oh my goodness. Dodge. and got one. Oh my... Oh my goodness. Alright. Oh, and mm, heal up. Okay. Dodge, 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 oh my goodness, okay. I dodge, ooh, it's more ice storm. That was surprising to me, and oh my goodness, I, all right. Mm -mm. Out of the way of that, and one. Mm -mm. I'm gonna use this to make it work as frightening. I, okay, can I? Slash, oh, what, okay. I dodge, okay. Slash, oh, what, no, 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 okay. Heal, heal. Probably would've killed me, I, can I? Slash and move in for one more dive. There we go. That running out of FP there. Her, her sword, master armor, bracelets, and leg wraps. Cool. Got a bit of root resin, but next order of business is going to point peak. Hail this heroes and wars against the giants. Knights of Zamor, long before Cad and binding freezing winds that have been the mortal enemies of the fire giant since time immemorial. A mass, not their face. Above and wielded, the version of winter stalled after an icy wind and with a powerful frost effect. Doesn't have intelligence scaling at base or magic damage on it. Zamora Ice Storm, punch the curved sword in the ground, and power and wish the freezing storm that batters the surroundings. Alright, cool. There should be one more dungeon that has the final death route in here. I believe I can fly. Over here. Oh, this is actually Flame Peak. Huh. That's connected, it seems. This height is part of that statement. Hmm. Can I get a level? No. Okay. Interesting, then. So up around here, around this area, this is going to lead to... Fire Giants Arena, but that will come shortly. But I think this might be a better approach as opposed to the side one here. We could actually summon Alexander for the fight, which would be fun. But, uh, main thing is more crows, more giants, at least one more dungeon in here, so it's probably around in this Pit, I would presume. Just check. Giants. No, taps of the giants. Yeah, it's. Oh no. Huh. That final death root then will be in where? Death root. Is it going to be in Snowfield? It's kind of crazy. 
That mountain tops. Okay, after hidden path to the halo tree. Okay, that's where that final one is. So yeah. Hmm. So we can do that. We could actually do that right now if we really felt like it. To be fair, I do have a number of a couple of regular ancient dragon smithing stones already. So, and over here we can get this, which is Ash of War Trolls Roar. Ash of Roar, Trolls Roar. Have the affinity, distance, intense roar, powerful shockwave, blows back surrounding foes, strong attack to slam it down. That's fun. That was very amusing, honestly. Getting that there through, that, through those means. Let's just put on some boosts. And, right, we don't have Flame Grammy right now. Oh well. I, huh. Interesting. So where would I be able to hit it from? Oh, that was pain. Alright, alright then. Uh, what? Huh? How'd that kill me? That was really stupid. Oh my goodness. I... That was more than a little embarrassing, and now we have... Not that many left. Hmm, okay. Alright, um. Uh, okay. Okay. That was... Embarrassing and unpleasant. Oh, and there were... I didn't know there were... Finger creepers around here. Okay. I... Let's go and hop up. Maybe they got eaten. I don't know. So, we go up here and we get our funny little runes and go back down and try not to do that again. That was really unpleasant. Okay. 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 The only things left would be whatever's up and around here. I... a bunch of giant corpses, but it's... Can't imagine me much other than the standard crows and mm -mm. don't have black flames protection, so I should put flame Grammy back on. It's funny that I wasn't even able to use it on Heroes of more because I had too little FP to actually use it. But yeah, for dungeons, for dungeons, I need more. I need to distribute more towards FP. Otherwise, running out is a very real possibility. Got multiple Arteria leaves. Not that it makes much of a difference in the way I play this game. How am I going to get that crow? Hmm. I... This is something, for sure. Alright, alright then. So jumping is going to alert it. Just if we can walk our way up, it should not. Oh, come on. Come on. It's gonna... That's good. I could have used Flame Grammy or something like that, but we'll be fine, I hope. Thank you, and... Can I... Cool. There we are. Okay, cool. So, now you're flailing around, but I probably just use that as an opportunity to hit you normally. Okay, cool. Damage was pretty decent. Just normally. Okay. So, over here is... This. Come on, come on. Please. You've gotta be kidding me. Hmm. Got a couple more crows, so the question is can I fight one without alerting the other? That's the worry. How do I do this? Hit this one. The other one might not be alerted. That's not gonna happen. I'm just gonna have to do it. And one, and one, two. There we go, so we can hopefully get a crit in on you, or not, or not, or not, and die. Thanks, alright, and can I charge it? Well, we can hit with one, one, oh my lord, my lord, okay. Should've used buffs for that, but I, okay, whatever. Come on, I, there we go, kinda. Slash, 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 oh, come on, I, die, die. Thanks, now you're dead, now you're dead, I... Should have used some buffs, whatever, right, okay. Slam it, roll, okay, can I, that didn't even hit me, roll or no roll. 
dying. Okay. Stupid, stupid. Okay. It. Those crows really are crazy. This. Oh, we got an ancient dragon smithing stone just sitting there. That's fun. In that, the mouth of that giant skull, which is bigger than anything we ever actually encounter. Makes me think about the fell god of the giants, actually. That might have some connection there. But, should be, I think, a way to get to. Now, this is another way into the fire giant fight. But, I think Alexander's summoning sign is going to be on the other side. Okay. Hmm. But, big thing is that Flame Grammy might actually be better there because... Is that his summon sign? I think it is, actually. Flame Grammy might be a bit better here because... The fire attacks are actually... Decently avoidable. So the faster I can burst it down, the better. But we already fought those guys. They can deal with their own business right now while we clear out some other things. That goes around that giant skull. Okay, I... What do I... Oh, oh my goodness. It's the biggest finger creeper I've ever seen. Oh my lord, I... Okay. Uh, Alright, can I... Burn you and can I... Mm, one. Oh my goodness, you... Are you not affected by fire in the same way? It's ridiculous. I, okay. Dodge. Mm, and it just goes through. That's ridiculous. I, okay. Come on. All right. No, oh, I, my lord. Okay. I should have used some kind of... Some kind of buff, but I just didn't see it coming. Can I... Okay. Fun or not. Can I... Bob that ends. Mm. Toss. Let's try to whoop around with you. Come on, you. I, okay. What? What? This thing is... Re what? Huh? Okay. I guess this is one way to make the area exist. I, okay. Thanks. I, okay, interesting. Probably just should use more hits normally, but I... Mm. Slash. There we go. That was... Farcical. Did it drop anything, or...? I hope that thing doesn't respawn. It probably does. I guess it was just guarding these three arterial leaves, which is... ...comical. Or is this... ...Beast Blood... ...Smithing Stone 7, just, just one of them, though. This is... Okay, another side of Grace right over here. That's nice. That'll be a quick way to that fight, then. This would be... Foot of the Forge, yeah. yeah. So that was where I rested at. That was my checkpoint for the fight back when I did this with my mage build. And then, zoomably. Okay, come on, come on. Anything through here or nothing in here? Alright, be wary of up. But, oh, it's a gigantic... Gigantic scarab. Where is... Where'd it go? I can't have just disappeared, right? I hope. But the question is, of course, where is it now? Oh, it's over that way, okay. Hmm. I think I could use Black Flame, maybe, but depending on how much HP it's got, I think... Oh, come on, you... And where'd it go? I have to avoid getting seen. The stealth pretty. Meaning for it to actually sneak up on it. And actually get a hit off. How much damage is it going to take then? From this charge lightning spear. I Okay, cool. And just boom. There we go. So what do you drop? Somerstone 8 and just one of them. That's okay. It's passable. But I could. He could go from here to here. He could whoop around that way. And I think whooping around is actually going to be... The better way to get there in the end, so... School's up there, and I... Do not think I can actually get inside it. It doesn't look like it. I... Wait, let me see. 
Either way, there isn't anything inside, so it doesn't really matter one way or the other. And you can get on the back of the giant, right? Yeah, you can. Again, not much of a point to it, but you can. So we are this area and whatever's in here. Hopefully there should be a bit more treasure. They were really nice to be another runic, but we'll see. Hmm. Other thing is that if you... If you're with Alexander for the fight, of course you can't ride Torrent, which is... There's just a big old guy over there and... Oh, that crow. Where'd that crow come from? Oh, it just... Oh, that's hilarious. It just squashes. Squashes it. That's how that happens. Okay, well, I have no interest in fighting that guy right now. I think I will move over this way and see what else there is to see here. Before I go over the forge, but I'm not going to be burning the urge for today. I'm certainly not going to be sacrificing Melina. Not getting Frame of Frenzy ending either, so. Gonna have to get that needle. An alloy golden needle. Hello there, hi. Interesting. Just sneak up. Decent amount of things over here. Oh, we got even bigger giants. Small giants, we got big giants, we got all kinds of giants. Okay. And just move up and fully charge that end. There we go. And oh, right there is that, that the walking mausoleum. Or what is using magic? Oh, there's a troll tossing big magic bombs. We're lucky it could kill off a few dogs for us. I think that's probably possible, but it's one of those guys right over Celia, actually. So it's interesting seeing him again. Or a guy like him again. Definitely can't get up here. Just more arteria leaves for no real reason. Okay. Hmm. So what is all around here? Just a bunch of giant giants corpses couple fire slugs to get smoldering butterflies for if you feel like it anything else down here or maybe another spell or an ash of war trolls roar being on top of that head was pretty cool actually i liked that but oh my goodness we are not an ambush but in an unpleasant spot. Hmm. Just gotta try this then and which way are you going? Now I Okay, I oh my goodness. Okay. Well we could probably get them to hit each other, maybe, or probably not actually. Thanks. I oh my goodness. Okay. Can I? Thanks and oh my lord, okay. Thanks. Hmm. Should probably I could just be using... Oh, my lord. Okay. Fine. Got one more seed here, but I've already gotten maximum uses, so it means really nothing to me. You're coming over, so let's give ourselves some additional buffs for this fight. Oh, oh I... Oh, interesting. And, oh, you couldn't go because of the tree. That's funny. And just... Dodge, and there we go, cool. Can't believe we actually got out of the way of that. Alright, and can I... Well, alright, and... Heal, heal before that hits me. And, oh my goodness, well... And of course it didn't kill that guy. Fun, not really. Okay. But we could just... Toss one single lightning spear to end this. Yeah, okay. Cool. If it works, it works. It really? Okay. This actually makes me wish I had very gold right now. Put on a couple more buffs. Flame Grammy needs to come back now. There you go. I could also use. Oh, that's right. I don't have the right charm for that. Oh, because I've still got strength, right? Okay. And now you're doing that thing again. So let's just. One, two, and. Can I. Three, and. Wait, what? Huh? I, wait, really? Okay. Come on. Wait, huh? Okay. Come on, you... Okay. You're not... Annoying. 
Why is your... So... What? Okay. Stupid. I, what? That doesn't even make any sense. Okay. I... Probably need to use Pestilence for this. Spellbrain... Spelldrake would be good here, too. That was just infuriating. I think Pestilence would work, but I just... How many rune orbs? How many? And then just put Barrier of Gold back on. Yeah. I think that'll be necessary. Barrier of Gold, and honestly, I'll use Flame Protect Me. Especially since it lasts longer than Flame Brand Me Strength. So I'll be a bit freer, so to speak. Okay. Just fight without having to worry about refreshing buff duration. Let's see what else is over here. And I, oh my goodness, I hate you. I, what in the really? Okay, die and die. Okay, cool. I should probably actually have two fingers. Arrow one would be good here. A big thing is it's a dog that some of them should kill. I think where is that dog? I. I guess not. Okay. Fun, I guess. I, oh, come on. What? How did that... How did that go over and... Whatever. What? Huh? I... This is really stupid. Come on. Die and... Die... Okay. Die. Die. What did you eat? What was your... Excellent food stuff for today? Oh. Great and mighty Italian. Well, presumably it was good. Good leftover pizza, right? I hope. Mm -hmm. Pest threads. I'm gonna have to use pest threads here. Oh, that sounds really good. That's nice. That. Golden Vow and. Barrier Gold. And we actually should probably use this then. Spam pest threads. I. Just. Rune arcs have become increasingly hard to come by. It's not good. But I- Oh, do these- Are these not respawning? These might not be respawning. Come on, I- Alright, and can I- Spawn, okay, deal wins. And this is surprisingly good. Yeah, and since we got barrier gold, those magic bots don't do much to me, if anything. And there we are, and- Oh, come on, you- Okay. Well, now it's dead. Cool. Fun. Uh, it- yeah, it seems like these giants, the magic pot giants, don't respawn. Which is very, very useful for me. Because they have a sort of... This pocket that they're all in, which is not great. Hmm. Come on, Black Flame. Let's go over and catch you. There was a giant finger creeper. You're one of the sides of grace. That was just crazy, crazy. Thank you. Some of this, and Somberstone 7, and oh, no, there you are. Presumably this would be you. So it's not that they don't respawn, it's that their spawning is separate somehow. Interesting. Big thing is, we stand under Yui's pest threads, and thanks. Oh, and, wow, okay. Not expecting that much stance break. Well, not stance break, but some poise issues for him. I, mm, but that did not actually target him in any meaningful sense. But we need targeting to make that work. And, oh, come on. you Okay. Please. All right. We can aim for the head while we're standing underneath. We can do pretty nice damage for cheap. And there we go. Nice. Dead. Okay. Clone, I suppose. We got another Arteria leaf. Mm -mm. This is... It's something... That does not seem to be anything. That over there is, this is just where we fight, Fire Giant. It's the arena over there, but we will. We'll do that in a bit. I think that'll be the last thing I do here today, honestly. It, it may be Hidden Path to the Haywood Tree. I think I could fit that in, but I... And of course there's another troll right over there. How are they showing up? I don't even see them. Golden Vow and... Pest threads, okay, cool. And dodge, and dodge, okay, cannot. Pest threads, and cannot. 
That's threads. That's threads. And, oh my goodness. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's a decent, but you need to get close in order to make it really work. And another, and there we go. Cool. It. I cannot afford to disavow cheese. It. I'm too weak to fight fair. So, some of this down here. How am I gonna get over to fight me? Bomb tossing giant. It's just, well, not giant. These are all trolls who are lesser giants who betrayed the big giants to usurp the peak. But, even still, I. Give me. Let's take Blessing as well, just in case. Shouldn't need Barrow, because nobody's throwing stuff at me anymore. Now we just pass the ends it up, presumably. Hello, and are you... Can I find you, or... I... Okay. I... I suppose. It's one way to see it. And we need another use, and can I... Mm -hmm. Another one, and... One more, one more, and... Mm, you're very far away. It's not good. Now you're dead, now you're dead. Okay. Cool. That means... Of course it dropped another Arteria leaf. Another thing I'm not in particular need of. Hmm. So we're up over here, and the only things left would be in this little area over this way, but... Is there gonna be a painting or something, or... What even is all this? It, I guess it's really just, if you really want and need Arteria Weaves, feel free to explore around here and get more Arteria Weaves, but it's just, again, Arteria Weaves are literally just, you can use them to make basically worse flame grant me strength, and I am getting to a point where even normal flame grant me strength is kind of suboptimal, because of the fact that it takes up a body buff slot, which I should probably be using for something defense instead. It It is what it is. So, let's... Sure, let's go with Blessing. It's basically for free right now. Now, and... Best threads. I should always have. Always have my buffs active. Really no reason not to. Thanks, and... Oh my goodness. Okay. Fine. And just like that, and oh goodness, we should toss again and continue spitting. There we go, cool. Fun. And for that, another arterial weave, and more just sitting here because it's just I've got 127 arterial leaves. I haven't used a single one. It it's interesting. I think some of it is also sort of an environmental storytelling thing, because arterial leaves are basically plants with blood flowing through them. And a, as you can see, there are a lot of giant's carcasses here, so in theory, presumably, the reason there are so many here is because they were basically watered with the blood of giants, or I guess blooded with the blood of giants. That is three grace mimics. Oh, that's actually, that's funny. Yeah. Imagine cartoon character playing Elden Ring gets invaded. Invader puts down a Grace Mimic. They manage to rest at it anyway. Oh, and another giant finger creeper. Amazing. I bet I could actually use the... Oh my goodness. Luckily, I, I'm in an okay position here, but I... Come on. Okay. Torrent, do not die, Torrent. Please. You find a spot to hit this thing from. Hmm. It... I don't know how good Pestilence would be here. Blessing. Golden Vow and... Hmm. Black Flame could be okay, but... I think Black Flame and just scraping around it with... Like this with a Torrent could be good. Depending on how much my range allows me to do. And I can... Okay, I can... Okay, it doesn't have good turning speed. That's good. I need to make use of that. Turning radius rather bad. I, okay. Hmm. Can I? Oh my goodness. Okay. And can I? Mm, mm, I. All right. 
As we stay behind it, we are okay, mostly. And oh my goodness, okay. Thanks, thanks. Hmm. Just all right. All right then, maybe. Toss that in. Did that not hit? That did not hit. My question is just, if I manage to use pass the reds on it, how much damage would we actually manage to deal? I, okay. Dodge? Okay. Well, okay. Mm -mm. Can I? You know, I okay. Interesting. I, oh, that was really, really good. Mm -mm. Got a lot of space in it, so. Well, that was very, very useful there. Common pest reds W. It it's honestly kind of crazy how good that spell is for really no reason at all. Mm -hmm. Either way, we're almost done in here, which means we can go fight Fire Giant in a hot minute. <sighs> Hi Kozu, how are you? How are you doing? Good to see you again. Mm -hmm. Medical Rise and Castle Soul down. Is that Castle Soul even? Is that? That's not. That's Guardian's Garrison. So we're seeing the north part from the south part. That's. You don't have to apologize. What did you get her? That's fun. Hope she has fun. Is it younger? Younger, right? Yeah, did you get. Come on. Did you get her a skateboard? Yeah, exactly. The classic apologizing for apologizing. It. Oh, that's cute. Poster of. Who, what, where, when, why? What kind of poster was it? Pickles. Oh, that's cool. That's good taste. I. Uh, what kind of olives? I like all kinds of olives, but I like green the best. Oh, Kurumi poster. That's cute. Let's see. Is there anything else over here after it came all this way? Hmm. What else is in here? Keep on looking and. Some more finger creepers and more arterial leaves. Yeah, yeah. I hope she likes them. Arterial leaf and is this all? This might be all. We can work our way around a little, but... Oh, that's cute. What did she get you? This is... Ah, this long passageway with a bunch of finger creepers. I hope we get something good. I hope we get something good. Okay, well, they're all dead now, so... This is... some more of them. Um, how many... how many finger creepers? I swear. Come on, I... okay, alright. Just don't knock me... don't knock me off the... Don't knock me off the mountain, please. That's Somberson 7, and... Oh, okay. What is your favorite kind of chips? Sure. Graphic tea? Hmm... Yeah, just don't, please don't die. Try not to die. Up or likely death, and ooh, that's frightening. Should jump down presumably soon, so. Let's just toss a black flame at you. Ah, okay. Well, yeah, I'm happy that you put on your medication then. So is it, mmm, is this not gonna be flammable unless it's on the ground? Catching these things on fire is, Weird and tough. That was nice of them. That is a really, really good message. I didn't even think about looking up. I, oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, so we got tears in here. Okay. Chili Doritos. Yeah, yeah. That, ah, Crimson Whirl Bubble Tear. So that, that's the end of that. So, oh, we can drop down here. And that's Crimson Whirl Bubble Tear. Damage received into HP. Physical damage cannot be converted. Grief will quickly expire. What? Oh, I didn't see that. Who? Who are you talking about? Oh, oh. Oh, that server. Oh, there you go. Well, nice. Hopefully that allows you to recover. Okay, so we're going to start this fight. Gotta take on the fire giant who was also in Dawncraft, which is funny. Level up and probably strength. Okay, cool. I. Okay, Electro Armament would be good here. Actually, Pest Threads would be really good for phase two. 
Pestilogs would be incredible for phase two. Probably not phase one, though, because I wouldn't be able to approach his body. But it's just Flame Brand Strike probably Flame Protect me. Now, I think we could put Blood Flame Blade on just for the bleed. Got enough HP that the bleed is good. What is it? What's going on? I... If you're talking about Falsetto for Singy or something, I'd say I can go a couple scales higher than my normal voice. But is... Alexander is not here. Huh. That's about what I can muster. Alexander not being here is interesting. I should probably approach from the other side. It... They're basically cat noises. It's part of why I don't really do them all that often. It's, it's uncanny. Well, it... I did... A lot of singing in college and a little bit in high school. They had me singing tenor one, which is a good deal higher than my actual vocal range. Which meant that I had to get pretty good at falsetto. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed it, I suppose. If you enjoyed it. Which, who knows? Who knows? I... That's a good setup. Let's put on... Bull Goat again for maximum res. I could have been doing that already. I probably would have survived a bunch of hits. Dang it. Okay. Let's... Blessing. Golden Vow. And then... Flame Grammy and there's our Fire Giant. Wait, did I... I messed up. I messed up. Okay. Gotta see... When is it going to actually see me and hit me? Yeah, just... If you can help it, please try to not die. I think we would all appreciate that. For a number of reasons. Some of them even altruistic. It... You should get a refund. They should get you a new body or something. So the big thing is, with this first time... If we can, I should maybe try to do this first go... That, you have an interesting definition of fun. So I think I should take that. I don't think that's a good idea. I, I think, okay, Italian, Italian. Just for the sake of argument, what do you think about chiropractors? Do you trust chiropractors? Do you think they're legitimate? This is important. I'm waiting for your answer. What do you think about chiropractors? Yeah? What is it? No? I don't do... Well, where, where would I even be in VC? Good, don't. They're quacks. Yeah, it... Chiropractors? Chiropractors are quacks. They should not be trusted. They don't even have scientific theories. It's all made up garbage. Never go to a chiropractor. Okay. Well, let's... Gotta get around and can I... Okay, and... Jump over that. We can go in for the roar on you, presumably. And can I... Alright. Roar and... Boom. Gotta hit his race is the thing. So I... Oh, come on. Let's roll over and can I? Should be able to wear this if I. I'm smart and can I? Oh, it's that one. It's that one. Okay. This brace and can I? Break. There we go. Nice. So. Slash and to move in. Can I? Mm, just out of the way. I, oh, come on. Of course you're rolling. Rolling. Okay. It. It's probably good to have a med visit list. So there you're going. You're burning out over there. Okay, let's see if I can get a crit hit. One and mm, just dodge. Okay, cool. It it's your prerogative in the end. One and can I slash and mm, we got what a loss good and can I oh my goodness I oh my oh wow okay well 
That didn't do all that much damage, though, which is cool. Uh, thanks. Slash, and can I even get a crit in on you? Or Ah, we got it, we got it. What do you mean you found me? So that's... There's that phase. Good stuff. Well, I hope it's a pretty rainbow. So everyone be quiet for a second and watch this guy tear his leg off. It's not June anymore. Maybe you just got hungry. Yeah. He is sacrificing his own leg to the fell god of the fire giants to empower himself to try to take me down. Unfortunately, unfortunately, that won't do much for him. See, this arguably a dotted eye. It. Zealotry gets people to do pretty crazy things. Let's get this going, and oh my goodness, this is tough. Golden Vow and Flame Protect Me. Okay, well, alright. And now you're back, and that's not great for me. Let's see how close I can get. And Pass Threads would probably be amazing here. Thanks, I, oh my goodness. Can I, Pass Threads, Pass Threads, ooh, well, I, mm. Sounds kind of fatui, actually, but the nice thing is we can do pretty well for ourselves. And, okay, yeah, this is great. I, oh my goodness. Luckily, the damage is negligible. It's actually hilarious. I, okay. Can I, mm, come on, come on. I, so far away that... Uh, dodge. Oh my goodness. We rolled through that? That's insane. Okay, can I... Toss. Oh my goodness. I, okay. Teal. Keep this going up. Dodge. Okay, nice. Can I... Thanks, thanks, uh, okay. And just continue. Pass threading you and, oh, come on, all right. Heal, heal. And another, just a couple more. Oh, we got the stance break even, well. That was simple. That, first try fire giant. Okay, I'll take it. So, there are a number of things to do here now. Fire giant hewn the urge tree and with by the finger reader, survivor of the warrior and the giants. Upon realizing flames of their forge would never die, Queen Merica marked him with a curse. Trifling giant, mayest thou tend thy flame for eternity. The funny thing is, in my mage, in my pure mage run, this was probably the hardest boss for me. No kidding. Either way, either way, I will... If I go over there to the forge, that gets me to the final dungeon of the game. I do not want to go there right now. For a number of reasons. But in that case, I think I can go over here to the lift and go down to Consecrated Snowfield over there. Which will complete the game at, but before I do that, actually... I'd like to exchange the remembrance that guy dropped for a very, very nice spell, Burn O' Flame. Which is very similar to Firestorm from earlier Souls games, but very specifically, Demon Souls is Firestorm, because that was the strongest Firestorm, and Burning Flame is really, really good. Has, has spurned you, remain still. Is he consulting the greater will? Can offer their guidance. Now, tens of thousands of moons must first pass. Me, but do ever manage the way, my oh my. The impenetrable thorns forbid the domain of mere men. First cardinal sin. The fingers? Power of Rune of Death, too. I actually did not say that. Death's in death. On its creation. Unthinkable. Well, it's the only way we can burn the tree down. Never put it, nor would the greater will. Nor would the greater will. Hmm. She is believing here we are. It's the only thing we can do. Dormant Severn went to the greater will. Life in ruins, impossible ones transport beyond the ken of the fingers. Cardinal sin must be cardinal forever. 
How to burn the thorns, find kindling. Quick forge of giants, has peak and burn the urge ring. Kindling required to reignite the flame, a sacrifice of one who envisions the flame. And that would be Melina. Lead you to the rune of death. Hmm. Find kindling, okay. Or we can use the frenzied flame. But now we can now we can actually buy Oh, the veteran set from Nile now. Veteran Gemma of Soul, command spirits defend his long past master. Master. Could not die, nor did he have anywhere to fade away. The tragic Oh, we can get Morgoth's cloak, or Margit, that we fought him as Morgoth, the king of Wayndell. His other alias, Ragged Fur, worn about. As some of you may or may not know, I think I've mentioned this before, but there's this gal who does a lot of fan art of her own self-insert tarnished character with Morgoth. It's really, really good, too. Countless champions during the Shattering, a horde of those who harbor ambitions for the Urge or for Lordship. And just buy our funny equipment, not that we really need any of it. Then we can receive some of our boss items. So Fire Giant can be the Red Braid. Sorry about that. Flam Red Hair of the Fire Giant. Every giant is red of hair. Radagant was said to have despised his own red locks. Perhaps that was a curse of their kind. Flame Dance. I... The back's not that hot. I actually aired out my room overnight. Uh, so I'm not sure whether it's an issue with the connection or the computer. I can just send you. Giant's Flame, Rod Range, Series of Agile Swings, Flame Point Pillars, Barred from the Power of a Fell God, still they were defeated. Failure to release them from their solitary curse, serve as Keepers of the Flame for Eternity. That's really, really good and has very low requirements, too. Blasphemous, and we can get... Blasphemous Blade, which is arguably one of the best weapons in the game. Countless heroes devoured, writhe upon surface of the blade. Share the same blood, bound together as family, so much be restored upon defeating enemy, takers flames. Raise it off, set a blaze with blasphemous flames, fire up a forward blast, steal HP from those they touch. Okay, okay, and just checking. Searing spirits, troll delo delayed explosions, terrible power, sacred sword, manifest from the rancor of heroes who met a violent end, as in the ones who Rykard, combined with the snake eight. Audience, welcome by the Maw of the Great Serpent. Within the Serpent's Vows became the Lord's Kin. We have the Omen King, so we can make Priestless Omen. Never was love it, he did. Hmm. That shifting hue. Oh, this has got a bit of arcane scaling, too. Morgoth Omen King. Cursed blood that Morgoth can seal away, reformed into this blade. And that, in theory, well, Bloodhound's Fang is a better stance break skill. First blood slice, brace, charge forward, downward diagonal slice, buddy trail followed by a burst of flame, initial input for a follow-up attack. That could be good. This is Curseborn Baron, Urtree's Lower Line, race that chases down foes, when babies born of royalty, do not have horns excites. Kept underground, unbeknownst to anyone imprisoned for eternity. Mortal fetish is fastened in secret. I think I'll take this actually. It that could be a fun option to use. My question is, what level of how much stance damage Curse Blood Slice would do. Because in theory, this could be a decent alternative. Given how many things it scales with to Bloodhound's Fang. I could finally, you know, switch some things around. But let me just check. Got this. Oh, we need a Summer Snowing Stone 1 first. It's funny because it's got Dex Healing, Strength, and Arcane. This has B and C. Generally speaking, weapons that gain power from multiple attributes are going to wind up stronger in the end, given that they require more investment to work. So let's buy a somber stone. We have plenty of all of these. So we can chill for now. Don't have that many more things we really need to upgrade. Hello there. Anything else to talk to? Or it's the unlocated demigods, and we have almost located them all. And then he'll give us... We got... A cookbook to make bewitching branches, which can be used to make enemies fight for us from one of them. We also got a law of... Not regression. Law of causality, which causes an explosion if we get hit a bunch, which is an interesting idea, but it's not amazing, amazing. But the big things that we're going to get are going to be holy resistance buffs, which we can get from... Oh, going through a few more Halo Tree-type areas... 
We are doing very, very well for ourselves. And this... I could have actually used that on the giant, but we'll be okay. That is... Hmm. I think it might actually have lower damage, but what it does have is a really good crit modifier. Interesting. I... If that gets meaningfully better, I might go for it. But I just want to see how much stance damage. First blood slice. That would deal. Only 14 stance damage, so it is not for breaking stance. That's sad. By the way, we can level up a couple of times, and then I think... He went down easy. Go over to roll the lift, and that will take me down to consecrated snowfield. So there are a couple things I can deal with. That'd be fun. Mm -hmm. Figure some of this out. First, we should try one of those spells. Oh, talk to Melina. Oh well. Right next race after me. Think not of the kindred. Mm -hmm. I shall see to that. All I ask of you is to make the journey to the snowy mountain tops of the giants, far above the clouds. Familiarity. I know. I'm asking you to commit a cardinal sin, but it must be done to reach the path beyond. Creative that destruction. Is the path I wish to travel. What is your mind? All right. Said again. Cannot accept. No one is deaf. We will accept the frenzied flame and then cleanse ourselves of it. There we go. A bit more of that, and yeah, we are rather strong. Hmm. Let's just put on Bruno Flame over here. Let's see how well that does. This thing is. You know, the fact that you need to kill Fire Giant is why it's so low requirement, but it's. It's reasonably fast, too. And charging it makes it even better. It's so good. So now we can raise the Hoist the Secret Medallion and go to the Consecrated Snowfield through the Hidden Path to the Halo Tree. All right. So we can go through a little bit of the area. A little bit of the snowfield. So I think that the snowfield will take all of next session. And then session after that can be Farm Azula, maybe even a Halo Tree, but Waydale Ashen Capital is does not take a long time. It's not supposed to. This goes up but stops a bit earlier. Hidden Path to the Hill does have secret boss fight. That'll be fun. Here we are, still deep underground. The Hidden Path to the Hill Tree. So. Ooh, interesting. Let me just check. Edges of this, and oh, okay. So that would drop us down to our deaths. Here we are. Not a good amount of this. I wonder if there's going to be anything to pick up around here, or probably not. But here we have the the knight's side. This is. We aren't even in the hidden path yet. This should be the hidden path. Number of vulgar militiamen in here. In Beth the Halo Tree. Oh, the outlet is there. I should definitely try to find the map once I get out of here. And then maybe I could find and fight Great Worm Theodorix. Possibly. I think there isn't a single grace in here yet. So it would mean having to go up the elevator again. Mm. Well, Alright. Gonna be a stray mimic tour in here somewhere. Beast Eye Quivers! Alright, and oh, okay, and Death and Death here of all places. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Hi, Van. And we can cut you down and slash again. That was more trouble than I might have liked it. What is that guy? What is that guy? Is that a tree spirit or it's wobbling in a weird kind of way? I don't like that. Come on, show me what. Oh, it's a. Oh, it's just a land octopus. Okay, cool. Let's actually try the Ape there. It should be fine. I do not imagine that it should be all that troublesome in here. I, mm, oh, alright. And can I... Sab, one... I, okay, interesting. I'm just gonna fall off and die, or what? This is rather strange. I Oh, and of course you... Again, you... Oh, come on. Really? Really? I, okay, please. You, I hate you so much. I, what? Really? It's genuinely infuriating. Oh, stupid. Okay. Let me see where. Kill those guys first. Well, it. We don't really need remarks right now. Let me just see. And. Mr. Mountaintop's Hermit Merchant, Side Waynedale, Imprisoned, and. Hmm. This. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Alright. Well, it. There, there were a decent amount just scattered around, but that was still rather unpleasant. And yeah, now we're at heavy load because we don't have the rune arc boosting my carry capacity. Not just... Oh, come on. It's just getting grabbed, getting grabbed, and then... It... Just the damage these guys do. It's more than it has to be. Okay, just go ahead and do that, then. I don't even care anymore. Okay, hi. I, okay, die, die. Can I, oh my goodness. I, what? Huh? Huh? I, what? Huh? God damn! The worst part is just there's no way to meaningfully isolate the octopus. If I stole the rune arc up, I bet that a single jumping heavy would take them out. Maybe jumping. Well, maybe not. Probably not. But I just this is irritating. I. Dodge. That's pretty generous dodge shot, but just the fact that I have to do that. So aggravating. Cool. And can we. One, two, and can I. Okay. Interesting. One, two. There we go. Now you're dead. Okay. Let's get the helix back on. See how all this works. I. Right. Dodge and can I. Stop. And. Now we get our critical. One. Okay, cool. And just back stab again. And break you down. Well, that didn't quite work. Well, okay. Hmm. Oh, but that's right. It, what else thing is better against it anyway? It's weak as the slashing. Really stupid. Okay, I. That was demoralizing. Freezing grease. But this is where. Oh, hello. Hi, and. Come on. Uh, I can't believe it missed. Okay. We have Glove War. In the end, oh, he's, I should be able to use all my spells right now. But still, here we are. And that's the grace for Hidden Path of the Halo Tree. It's funny that, to the extent this even is a dungeon, it was at the end of the dungeon that you found the grace. Let's go back through and find that stray mimic deer. A couple more things in the snowfield before I chill out. Hmm. How are hear more of you? It's not good. Oh, another octopus. Great. Thanks, and that's not even one hit to death. Amazing. Can I I okay. There we go, okay. 
So, of course, Finesse is going to be a really good option, and we can just chain stagger. Awesome. So there's an illusory wall in here somewhere. Dung. Warming stone, and... Strip of white flesh. Somewhere here, there is a... An illusory wall that leads to... A boss fight with a mimic tier. And also the final death route, which would also be quite nice. But the question is, where is it? Oh, but... I didn't expect jumping. I that would kill me. That would definitely kill me. I need to find the Ulysses Ball somewhere then. Is it going to be around one of these spots, or...? It's definitely not it. For one, we hit it and it didn't disappear. Hmm. So then, which way and where? It... Praise the Tarnished. It Ulysses Ball in Hidden Path to the Halo Tree. Is that thing gonna be? Oh, and now we got more ice. Great. Awesome. Come on. Stuff right. And does that loop back around into the hill tree path or wait. Wait. Huh? Let me see. It's not it. But Booster Ball and Hidden Path to the Halo Tree. Hidden path to the halo tree. His invisible floor at the broken railing. South into the open arch. Right turn into the hallway. Okay. So that's how you do that. There's an invisible floor that you do need to drop down onto. And though there were blood stains there, it wasn't because you can't go through there. It's because people just died anyway. Okay. Well, we have found our way to Mikko's halo tree. On the line of the halo tree. Not the halo tree itself, at least not yet. Let's drop down and find our way into the arch in the south. Here we are, here we are. Okay. Fun. Oh, and it's just this glove wart or grave glove wart. I. Wait. Ah, oh, there we go. This is. Excuse me, this is. Oh, the silver scarab. Okay, so I can farm for Gelmir staff now if I really want to. Question is, so if I go over there, presumably, this should be also a way through? Seems like it. Okay, cool. Navigating around here is trouble. One, two, and. Thanks. Oh, come on, you die, die, and. One, two, and. Oh, my goodness. Okay, alright. Can I. Roll and. Uh, heal, heal, heal. Just, what is up with these vulgar motion being so strong? A kukri and sacramental bud. The question is just, how do I get over there then? What's the what's the pathway? Hidden path to the halo tree. That surely there should be a map or something. Secret catacombs. Inside alcove. Solid landing. Ish of war. Wave of gold or hoarfrost stomp. Ah, uh, okay. Hmm. Grave, glove wart, silver scarab, straight across. Then, down straight there, okay. Hmm. Down that way. Which isn't bloodstains, another doorway in the distance. Slides downward slightly. Back over the corpse, safely jump down, okay. Huh. It's annoying. Now I will try this. Run down this path. And... Okay. There we go. Hello. Enjoy death. And drop down there and find the last of it, hopefully. And oh my goodness, of course there are more of you in here. I hate my stupid chungus life. Then Grave Glove War ends. Should be another one. Somewhere, I think. Right? Wait, was there another or how many are there? There might have been another somewhere. I think were these the sacramental buds, or were they anywhere? It's under the impression that there was another location to go into. 
my they're not there or if wait no definitely not there it's not actually a pathway it this certainly is a place uh -huh. and then we turn around jump down and fight some octopuses here i believe yeah i see them okay and a hero's rune, not bad, but just being out of rune arcs is painful. Completely out. One, two, and. Okay, and. Oh my goodness. One, two, and. Okay, we cut that off as well, which is nice. Got both of them off, which is. Okay, and. Get the critical. Another hit. And charge with another critical in the meantime. There we go, and one more. I think we actually got blood loss from that, too. And now it's dead. Alright. Old thing. Solar Scarab is nice, though. To do some farming. Fix so many scarabs, treasures, and precious things. And says item discovery. Alright. We can pull this. Fight that stray mimic here. Somewhere a heavy door has opened. Nice. And oh, hello. More, more of you guys. Okay. Die, die, die. Oh my goodness. Die, 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 die. Mm -mm. And death root is in here. There's a good amount of death root in here, so I want it. Oh my goodness. Slash, slash. Okay, can I. Where are you going? Uh, how many. How many motion men? How many motion men are in here? Okay. Okay, I'm out. Okay, I'm out. And die. Four or so. Um, Helm Kukri. Root resin. Hmm. Okay. So let's fodder clone. And then buff up before that, but fights in there. So in that case, should be something else in here, presumably, or well, we'll see. Oh, we got a, an elevator. Huh. Let's see where and what that takes me to. Where are we going now? And this is... Ah, Spell Drake plus two. That's nice. It goes back around to... Ah, back around to the exit. Okay. The exit of the area with that side of grace. Interesting. Okay. Nothing there. Let's just send this up and see if there's anything behind. I don't think there would be. If I died my own mimic tier, I would be... I'd cry. Bloody Helix is my dueling weapon. Always useful. And I can't use that even with... Even with the Talisman equipped, so... Mmm, mmm, okay. Turtle, turtle. On the wall. Who's the highest stamina regenerating of them all? Flame protect me. Grails and... Right, right, use this. Okay. Then we go through. Grail roar and... Hello there, hi. And just like... That and... Well, that did not quite work. That took longer than I expected. Okay. And we could... Hit. Nice. Good. And... Mm -mm. I... Thanks. And finesse. And... There we go. And... Mm -mm. I... Thanks. Die. Die. Mm hmm. Okay. Move in and can I stab, 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 and there we go. Nice. Simple enough. The enemy was not as good at abusing that as me. Blackfoot Monk Amon. Here's our final death route. How exciting. Got that. And then Blackfoot Monk Amon. Swore fealty to the gods laying black flame, so became the first fire monk to turn traitor. So it's better said he fled from the giant swim out of cowardice. And that is the maximum Spelldrake Talisman. I think, let me just check my other talismans real quick. So we got Halo Drake plus two. Where did I get that? Lightning would be in farm Azula. Halo Drake plus two. Halo Drake Talisman, and that would be in... Oh, it's in Mogwin Palace. That's why we have it. But now, 
The plus three variant, variant is basically, it has a different name, the Golden Braid. Dragon, Shield, Shield Talisman, Sailor Drake, Fire Drake Tal, Flame Drake, Flame Dragon. Plus two, apparently, and a plus three in DLC two, okay. Oh, and Pearl Drake, probably. Halo Tree, maybe? We'll see. Well, let's return to the entrance, give the last one to Garong, and poke around a little bit in the snowfield. Oh, no, that actually sends you over there. That's fun. Why? Because it sends you by the grace. So then, I'll up that faith. And then, go back to Garong real quick. Give him that last death root, and I think could take that final, that final piece of the map, and then maybe kill something. Maybe. All right. So that's the end of his quest line. Well, technically. Got an ancient dragon smithing stone as our reward. And... He just disappears. Wow. He actually drops that smithing stone if you kill him too. So you actually don't need all death root if you just want the rewards, but... He shows up again. Suffice it to say. And killing him will not stop that. Killing him here will not stop that. Let's go over, find our... Oh, hello. Some ghosts. Or rhymed aroma. Path of Gentle Lights, Promise Path to the Halo Tree. Hmm. We need to get this, though. Put that down and orient ourselves to that and... Surprise, that didn't kill me. What is that? Oh, it's a rune bear. Because of course it is. I hate my strongest life. So, oh, and so, how do you get to go that far? I swear. I, uh, this is a pretty long path. I think those are kite and cell swords, maybe. So we get that map, I can explore at my own base. And just, wait, what? Oh, we got giant dragonkin soldier. Awesome. Just what I like to see. But this is actually farther than I expected. Either way, this is going to be the very end of... Wait. How? How? So this, this is not a grace. I hate you. Map should be around over here. I can see that light. Oh, there's a grace over here. I think Albinoric is around the area. Just rest real quick. No way to dispel. No way to dispel this now. Inner Consecrated Snowfield, early day. Oh, but it's right by... Right by... Uh, that tree. So is that... I don't think that's the Maru tree for the area. That's not. But we can get rid of that. And pick up our map. Oh, wait, did I... Okay, it just takes time for it to disappear even on the world map. So then, we got our map. Consecrated snowfield, map found. Means a complete map. 
route through this land, cross east to west by a frozen river, leads to Nicholas Halo Tree. The path taken by those unchosen, though it is a trial all the same. And here we are. The entirety of the lands between. It, it's kind of crazy to think about. Hmm. That said, it, yeah. A bit more over there. That's Ordina, a liturgical town. Hmm. There are actually a number of dungeons in here. Pretty big number. But this itself is the Halig Tree. Where we'll find and fight Melania eventually, and that is... One of the things that I never did, it's honestly kind of funny how massive the footprint of the mountain is compared to comparably how small the actual playable area of Mount Tops is, even if you include Snowfield. Oh, but... Oh, that's interesting that there was sort of a name tag marker that did not show up that's still folded into Mountain Tops of the Giants like this. Hmm. Wardina is right there, and honestly, I don't have a sorceries, and I can't use a duelist rune blade. I I know there's a rune arc somewhere in here. I think I'm gonna try to pick it up. That will be the last thing I do. Pick up that rune arc. One is in consecrated snowfield, just on a cliff next to Albanoric Rise. Which would be over here. Let's just reach that. Pick that up and try to get stronger. It it's tough sometimes. All but Norik Rise will also have a very useful again, a very useful talisman. The it's the Graven Mass Talisman. Well, it's either Graven Mass or Graven School. It's the bigger one, and it will allow me to. Nice things now I can navigate using the map. It's just imagine if Frozen Outskirts and Dark Souls 2 was like this. So much nicer. Three Mikkels Lilies. And then. I. Oh my goodness. What are. Oh, we got more of the. Dudes over there, so. Main thing is, if I go and use that rune arc, I had better. Had better. Oh, well. It's to a cave somewhere. That. Going over. That way, then? Maybe. Starlight? That actually. That might actually make things harder to see. But I think. It's gonna be a cave through here. What are all these? Oh, Red Wolf of Radagon. Or I think, maybe? I, oh my goodness. Wow, I, all right. Thank you. I, mm -hmm. Stab, stab, stab. Oh my goodness. Thanks, thanks. St stab. Ah, come on, come on. You, what, what? I, oh, please. Why are these wolves so tough? Okay. Stupid, stupid wolf. Okay. I, hmm. And can I jump in and can we... Oh, really? I thought I'd be able to make that work, but I... Oh, please, you... Come on. So dying to a wolf would be embarrassing. And there we go. We finally brought the bottle us. <sighs> Maybe I should save that rune arc for a time when I really need it. That sounds like an idea. What is... Coming up. Oh, just a one of these. Okay. I cannot use any bludgeoning damage weapon right now. That's not good. Right, because I need Giant Crusher for that. I. Let's just use Burn of Wayne. Test that out. And, okay, come on. And. What? Well, oh, please. That did work pretty well. Huh. Just gotta wait for her. shots to rain down. But it. Damage is really, really good. Thank you, and. Depends on how many pillars hit. And that's where things get annoying. Thanks. 
Okay, well, all right. Sit on a cliff nearby. So it should be this one, I think, this cliff. Let's just pick this up. So we have a rune arc in a back pocket when we need it. And oh my goodness, how many? Really? Okay. Great. I... Oh, well, this is a good option. Very good option. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. Big enough enemy. Come on. One. Two. Three. Four. Okay. It. It's just too good. Honestly. Set a quiff nearby. Albinoric Rise. You could drop down onto. But I. Oh, I'm still on that cliff. Okay. The Rune Arc should theoretically be around here. And I think that will be. That will be it for today. We got through everything in mountaintops. We got two of the snowfield and. Oh, wait. Is this. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Cool. But I. Hmm. Whether I use it or not is the question. Uh, well, well. No, that's not true. I'm definitely awake. I'm thirsty and I need to go to the bathroom. That doesn't happen when I'm sleeping. So I think, uh, again, that'll be all for today. We got to the place. Consecrated Snowfield is next, and it is about the size of what we went through. About half the size, kinda. It's got a lot of dungeons, though. It... It would be easier for me to discuss the things that don't bore you, honestly. Okay. Do you have anything new to say, or... Nothing new to say. For more, and we haven't been to the Halo Tree yet, so... Hmm. We don't get his stuff from that yet, but we can eventually totally exhaust his dialogue. And so if the only people in the hold now are him, Enya, and then Roderica and Hiroka. And that's all. Well, I'm glad you liked it. I will be... Well, I'm a gambler. There we go. Fun. We can... Tint ourselves in a bit. So yeah, Sanaragan, and see you next time. It'll probably be... I don't know how much longer it'll take, because if Snowfield takes us long, Halo Tree might have to be its own stream. Oh, we'll see. So yeah, Sayonaragan.